isn't it? It's like we've done this before, isn't it? Uh, no, for me this morning, no. I feel like I've never done this before, to be honest. It seems ages and ages and ages. Well, you've been off on your travels, haven't you? That's why. Yeah. Did you have a nice time? It was hectic. We got... Uh, sorry, people. We went to um, New York for five days, five nights, and uh, it was warm and wet. Warm and wet? That's unusual for this time of year for New York, very. from what I know. Yeah, very. And it was it was rammed, so it was incredibly hectic. And we got the twin ten year olds oh, with us. Oh gosh, yes, that's, that's so. It was magical in lots yeah. of ways, and in other ways, I wished I could use some magic to sort of sprinkle around and say, "Get out of my way!" Get out of my way! <laughs> oh, well, it's lovely to have you on show. Thank you, Linda Bromwell, everybody. Good morning. Um, and I'm ultra excited about today because. It's been a long time coming. We've got the return of Resin Road. We have. I love Resin Road. Yes. And if those of you, if you've never done um, any any form of resin, I guarantee if you stay with us, you're going to be absolutely hooked. Totally. Um, it, it is an incredible product. It really and truly is. Um, we've got some Monkeys. beautiful moulds. We've got like a, a, um, a dog a pug sort of dog, we've got cat, we've got um, a wolf, we've got alphabets, we've got bracelet moulds, we've got oh. all sorts of little sort of gemstone moulds, which gives you a lot of scope mm. then. Um, it's very much a um, medium where you can let your creativity really fly. Oh, which I think is music to everybody's ears, isn't mm -hmm. it? Now, have these moulds been on before or are they new? They're new. Brand new. So yeah. all the, the doggies and the cats. Yeah, yeah, they're new. Um, the, the alphabet. Yeah. They're new mm -hmm. as well. Yes, yeah, as far as I can remember. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. I'm really excited about this. It's happening at 12 o'clock today. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you now, that's going to be a bit of a lounge hour. A bit. Well, it is a lounge hour. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a lounge hour. So what that means is... You know, because we want it to be quite demo heavy. So what we're going to do is kind of let Linda do her thing. If you've got any questions, you can message in, obviously. And you can, it'll be locked and loaded on the website. So you can kind of shop as we go. That's so right. I'm not yeah. constantly interrupting Linda uh, and, uh, and bringing products to air. So you can literally shop um, as, as, we're, as we're creating, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. But also, what else have we got in today's show? I have to show you this beautiful necklace. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. Coming up, bang on nine o'clock. So you can't get it now. You can't, usually with our early bird, you can pre-order during the eight o'clock hour. This is happening bang on nine o'clock. It's a stunning sterling silver parve set. Little butterfly. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is stunning. I, I mean, mean, who doesn't love a butterfly? Exactly. They're so beautiful, aren't yeah. they? And delicate and yeah. precious. Yeah, that's happening at nine o'clock. We've also got the earrings, which hang on. If I oh, sorry. Um, I'll just reach I'll just reach across and show you. So these are um, the matching earrings. I don't know if you can actually see that there. It's nice that they're studs as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I love those. I mean, what a lovely little Christmas gift. Yeah. Um, brand new, bang on nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Um, and your eight o'clock hour, we are going to do last of stock. Literally, we've got single figure quantities of, uh, of, of, of most of these strands. Um, last of stock, jade And we've got some of the most beautiful carts, I have to tell you. Um, it's a shame that they're limited in quantity. Every single item is going lower than what you will see on the website. So if you um, go all the W's at jurymaker.com, click on watch live, scroll down. There is everything. There's literally ones, twos in terms of quantity. So do expect them to be sellouts. Every item is going lower than the price that you're actually seeing on the website. So, um, yeah, if you check out now, of course, you will get that amazing, amazing early bird deal. So and I've got I've got beautiful uh, pink jadeite, black jadeite. There we go. Sell out straight away. Um, we've got cuts of type A jadeite that we seldom ever see. Don't worry. We will still take it lower, even though it says sold out. Um, your high goos. You've got your beautiful columns. Look, you've got the little teddy bear. Um, number 14, here it is. Here it is. It is absolutely beautiful. Now, when we bring this to air, it's always incredibly popular. It's stunning, absolutely stunning. You've got the most amazing translucency and, of course, that natural Olmec blue colour. So you can shop ahead and guarantee yours. Also, in the nine o'clock hour, um, you have some amazing pearls. 
was Linda's lovely mm, bits. do. Um, we've got rice beads, we've got black jadeite. Can I show you these? Oh! And those are amazing, aren't they? Never seen those before. Uh, number 28 on the website for those of you that are wanting to get hold of these. Aren't they beautiful? They're stunning. Love that cut. That's what I mean. Some of these cuts we don't ever see. I've also got to show you this strand. Wow. Look at that for jadeite. That's Absolutely a beauty. Absolutely beautiful. Um, honestly, there's loads and loads and loads on there. There's carvings, there's archer rings, there's bangles. Um, yeah, it's honestly, it's, it, it's completely jam-packed today full of absolute stunners. Okay, so without further ado, I think we need to get cracking because it's also the Jewelry Maker, um, jewelry maker Christmas Party. So there's going to be lots of games. You've got L on a shelf again. So you can count the little... Um, my, Willow was very impressed, Linda, <laughs> that I'm an elf. Really? Yeah, very. Oh, okay. I think I've gone up in cool ranks because, oh, okay. I'm now an, uh, because I've been yeah. made into a little It's important elf. to be cool when you're a parent it, it, to young it children. It is. She even told her friends at school, my mummy's an elf. There you go. Um, so make sure you're counting L on the shelf because one of you will receive a jewellery maker um, goodie bag. We've got past the parcels. But first, it's the Wall of Fame. Starting us off this snowy Sunday morning. Yeah. It, was a bit, it was a bit precarious walking across the, uh, the oh, car park this morning. Well, yeah, I know. Well, Elle very kindly spotted me arrive this morning and came out and helped me with all my uh, bags. She was sort of doing a donkey thing this morning. Yeah, I'm used to it. I'm a mother of two. Yeah, exactly. I'm very yeah. used to it. Yeah. Um, starting us off this morning, number 162. Wow. This is from Alison. Hello to you, Alison. Wow, they're incredible. Oh, just beautiful. Getting into the festive swing. Hello, jewelry maker crew and fellow waffers. This year, I've challenged myself to see what I can uh, make um, make use of in the house for Christmas creations. So I've been sea beading round beer can widgets. Wow. Ah, very clever. And also empty sea bead tubes. The tubes are easy to send in the post. Um, as you can see, I've popped jewelry maker chain inside. What a lovely idea. So you're using actually as, a, 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 as packaging, I suppose. Uh, but they can also fit um, a rolled up note or money. Mm. Amazing. Better than having it stuck to you at the inside of a Christmas card, isn't it? Like, like, like Dave always says. Um, out of this uh, lot, only the widget isn't a jewelry maker product. Ah, oh, amazing. Good luck to all my fellow offers. Alison, that's stunning. Very, very clever. I think we should sell widgets. What is a widget? It's that thing on the beer can, isn't it? On the oh, can. on the top. Yeah. Oh, I see. And if yeah. we sold them, it would mean we'd have the beer as well, wouldn't it? We'd have to drink the beer. Well, that's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> we'd manage, though, yeah, wouldn't we? Yeah. I'm um, for it. <laughs> it's a challenge that I think we're probably the best girls to, to, have, to, a go at to that. have a go at. Yeah. Um, number 163 is from lovely Nikki. Good morning to you, Nikki. <gasps> oh, my word, Nikki. That is stunning. Oh, my... I mean, you are such yeah, a I've talent. got a thing about peacocks. My daughter's married name is Peacock. So um, I sort of home in on them. Oh, that is goodness. absolutely... That's an heirloom, isn't it? It is totally an heirloom. A fantastic... Imagine decoration. those on the tree. Um, uh, Nikki says, hi, this is my entry to the Wall of Fame. My mum loves peacocks, so I've made her this for Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone in front and behind the camera. You're all amazing. Good luck to all my fellow offers. Lots of love. Nikki, you're amazing. That's absolutely, absolutely. incredible. It is. It's stunning. I mean, it's just got, it's got the peacock pose. It's yeah. got the colours. It's got the texture. It's almost alive, isn't it? Gorgeous. I'm three-dimensional. Uh, number 164 is from Lynn. Good morning to you, Lynn. Oh, my word. Look at that photography as well. Stunning jewellery. Beautiful photography. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. Please try and attach my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a silver-plated slider bracelet using 4 millimeter Oregon sunstone bought from Jewellery Maker some months ago. It's a very simple make, but took all afternoon as I was so distracted and mesmerised uh, by the adventurescence in these stones. Many thanks to the fabulous JM team for bringing us such wonderful treasures. Best wishes and good luck to all. Ah, oh, how lovely, Lynn. That's absolutely beautiful. And I get that. I get being mesmerized yeah, by them. I think I was on the show when when we launched the Oregon Sunstone and I absolutely agree with you Lynn it's just to use that word again magical mm, otherworldly yeah isn't totally. it number 165 is from Jane good morning Jane 
Oh, wow. wow. Again, I love the festive makes. Merry Christmas to all at Jewelry Maker. This is my latest entry to the Wall of Fame. Some beaded decorations inspired by JM guest designer Mark Smith from over the years. Best of luck to all fellow entrants in the draw. And to you, Jane. We'll keep everything crossed. That's lovely. Lovely choice of festive colours as well. Beautiful. I'm so in awe of your talent. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think that's... Is, either that's two pieces or it's, it's multi-sided. If that makes sense, I can see there's a different colour. Yeah. Um, gorgeous. Last but by no means least, number 166 is from Julia. Good morning, Julia. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. That's wow. a great street piece if ever I saw one, isn't Hold it? Hold on. I'm, I'm intrigued now, Julia. Um, hi, all at Jewelry Maker. Here's my entry for my best make of the year. The quality of these carved aventurine rounds are exquisite and complement the haigu that was gifted me from a lovely lady whom I adored and sadly passed away. I'm ever so sorry, Julia. Um, thank you, Jewelry Maker, for always supplying such great quality products in which we can trust and enabling me to create this piece of jewelry which will, uh, will always remind me of my wonderful friend. Love to you all um, and fellow talented and supportive Jewelry Maker family. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry for your loss, Julia, mm -hmm. but what an absolutely incredible piece. If ever there was um, a sort of estate piece of jewellery, yeah. that's it, isn't it? So Tiffany esque. Absolutely. Well, you could imagine that being on Bonhams, couldn't you? Oh, or, easily. Or, or, or Sotheby's. Easily. Amazing. Easily. Um, yes, and of course, if, you look, if you've been following us on social media, we've been asking for your, your favourite or best make of the year. Um, send them in to the studio so that we can actually show them off as well. Julia, that is really incredible. Um, OK, without further ado, remember everything is available on the website. Shall we get cracking with the last of stock, Jedi Hour? Um, I'm going to start with... Uh, is it in the order uh, 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 on the... Sh yeah. It's the bottom, I think. That way? So the small, that one? <laughs> because Kinga said it went that way. Let's do it that way. Let's start with that one. I love the archer rings. Now, archer rings are so much more challenging to create than even a bangle, and that's saying something because, you know, if you scale anything down, anything, it's a bit like those amazing carvings that we had with Dave yesterday. Scale anything down to sort of something that's almost, I don't know, millimetres thick, um, then the chance and the likelihood of it actually fracturing um, is, is quite significant. Now, archer rings, literally archers used to wear them to mm -hmm. prevent any blistering on their hands. Um, I mean, this is uber rare. As you can see, you've got the most amazing translucency on this. To what is that price? What on earth? Um, okay, last of stock, remember. Shall we do a bangle? The black bangle. So it comes beautifully boxed, solid, Type A black jadeite. There is one available, one available. We are talking extreme rarity. When it comes to black jadeite, you want it to have that intensity of color. This is the very one that I'm holding in the studio that you'll be getting. Um, and you want it to feel physically like silk. Believe me, it absolutely does. The quality of our black jadeite, I truly think is absolutely exemplary. It doesn't get any better than what's on your screens right now. You've got amazing translucency. We are over allocated. I can already see, um, yeah, and loads of sellouts that Ross is saying. It's gone. Well done. Well done, London. That's on its way to you. Um, shall we do the lavender jadeite ring? It's already sold out, but we're going to crash the price. Sold. Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, you're not going to be paying 799 today. Look how beautiful that is. I love the archer rings. I love lavender. The lavender jadeite. I just think it's exquisite. So, so beautiful. The luster on that. Look at that, sold out. Um, Gorgeous, if you were with us yesterday, beautiful. you'd have heard the rarity. Um, uh, these? Wow. A long strand. I've never seen anything like that before. Look at the length of the strand there. Wow. That's got to be what, half a, half a, yeah, 50 centimetres, half a metre. Wow. And it's that hint of pink. It's a very, don't expect this to be like a chartreuse or a Barbie pink. This is a really beautiful, soft, subtle, a little soupçon. A, a, a little soupçon of pink. It's like cherry blossom pink, isn't it? You know, the, um, is it cherry blossom I'm thinking of or apple blossom? Apple blossom pink, I think. 
Yes. Yeah, that really delicate, yeah. really, really delicate whisper. It, it is, it, it it is, is literally yeah. a whisper of pink, whisper. isn't it? Yeah. Um, Beautiful. In that gorgeous kind of Marquise rice bead shape, really elegant, great for sort of drawing the eye, I suppose, towards maybe, I don't know, a focal piece, a tassel or something like that. Great in tassels. The fact that we are at 79.99, let's not forget that this is type A and it's completely and utterly natural. Again, we're over allocated, expect sell out, sell out, sell out. So if you see something that you absolutely love, uh, please don't hesitate. Um, let's bring you black jade out ring. Love this. I think Absolutely with the bangle, the oh. ring just, oof, yes. Yeah, it's piece de resistance. Totally. What's, what's with me and the French lady? I don't know, no, no. Did you watch I, the match last I night? Can't, I, can't know. That, yeah. <laughs> I can't even speak French. £79. Oh, pounds. Well done, boys. Yeah, let's just give a well done to the team. You did your best. You did, and you did us proud. Uh, sold out, well done, congratulations. I've got another black jadeite ring. Slightly narrower, this one. Ever so slight, though, to be honest. Um, uh, 12 carats um, of your type A black jade. I mean, look at that. It sits so beautifully. It does, doesn't it? And it, it actually works with those diamonds. It does. Your ring. Kind of sits every, it keeps everything together, doesn't it? Mm. Might have to get one of these if there's any of them right, available yeah. come the end of the hour. Um, again, look at that intensity of colour, that silky light luster. Guess what? Sold out. Congratulations. Um, I've got... Uh, yes. Oh, I love this. Me too. Lavender jade. Ah, there it is. Let me just grab my tweezers. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I should have had this all ready and prepared, shouldn't I? Um, not often we see jadeite with rose gold. No, it's not actually, is it? You're quite right. That is just delightful, isn't it? How have I never seen wow. this before? That is so Oh, beautiful. my goodness me. How have I never seen this, Ross? It's beautiful. I would have absolutely bought this. Oh, my word. Look at that. The craftsmanship of the precious metal. The fact you've got the green accenting cabochons. £99. That's incredible. A beautiful lavender high goo. Again, look at that quality. You can really see how gemmy, um, how gemmy this stone actually is. £99. I've only got a limited quantity. If you don't get this, I, I am definitely. That's beautiful, isn't it? There isn't actually a word that's been invented to describe how beautiful that is. It's perfect. It is it's perfect. Perfect. Yeah, is I like perfect. the fact that the, the sterling silver literally hugs the high goo. It's right mm. up close. You've got your beautiful parve uh, white topaz. These aren't cubic zirconias um, that draw your eye almost to the centre of the high goo stone. There's a lot of interest in this one. Again, certified completely and utterly natural. I'm quite envious. I am. I'm quite envious of those of you that managed to secure this um, because it is stunning and I've never seen it before. So well done. Well done, well done, well done. Um, Okay, shall we do? I've got the Olmec blue. Um, this is the, the the narrowest. So if you want, if you prefer your archer ring to be ever so slight, then this is the one for you. This is the one Claire McDonald wears. Um, yeah, it's the same one that she actually wears. It's it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I like that. Seventy nine pounds. So neat, isn't it? Yeah. So neat, but with lots and lots of impact. Sold out. Well done. Um, a personal favourite of mine um, in terms of the carving, I think this will go down in history as one of our best carvings, comes with the little, little Chinese bag as well. I actually bought this for my niece. Um, one of the most, yeah, just after her GCSE exam results. So um, you've got the beautiful, beautiful carved type A jadeite dragon. And if I just turn him round, because he is 360 degrees, if I turn him round, he's actually wrapped around the circle of heaven there. So you've got lots and lots of connotations and meanings within um, within the carving, even down to these little holes, which as a jewelry maker stance, you know, that's really useful because there's lots of anchor points, um, but they actually have got a meaning. I think uh, um, the number of holes is, is meaningful um, in China. Mm -hmm. um, again, certified completely and utterly natural, I mean, the fact that we're bringing jewellery maker, you know, li little jewellery maker, literally it started in a cupboard Did. all those years ago. And um, the fact that we are now bringing exquisite works of art like this in, in one of the world's rarest gemstones, um, being placed into the hands of the most skillful master carvers. I mean, that that's something to be proud of. Um, yeah, again, in my eyes, this is one of the best carvings that we've ever done. I truly, truly, truly believe. I mean, look, look at, at the that. scales on yeah. that. It's just exquisite. It really is. How many do we have left of these? 
two. There's two available. All these deals will disappear at nine o'clock and then we'll go dive straight into your butterfly early birds. Uh, you can't pre-order on that as of yet. Um, £299. I mean, this is something that really does, uh, belongs in like a gallery or a museum. Oh, definitely. Without a doubt. My, my mum, as well, bless her, when she went over to China many, many years ago, decades ago, she bought a, a, a jadeite carving and it's beautiful. It's very intricately carved, etc. I have to say it's not as skilled and detailed as this. No, it's, 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 it's not. It's just that beautiful, um, what's the word? Um, it's so lifelike. You would imagine the dragon Realistic, to have isn't curved it? itself around um, waiting for whatever. Even the teeth. I mean, look, you can see the jaw structure. You can see absolutely everything. Do make sure you check out, though, if you want to get hold of this. It's, it, I mean, if you're thinking about Christmas gifts, um, it's perfectly presented. You've got the little bag there as well. That is your price. We cannot go any lower on this piece. I do have a couple of you there. If you both check out, I can see you on the phone lines, Rutland. I can see you. Um, oh, okay, I've got one. Well done to you. Well done to you, uh, 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 Simo, is that right, Simo? I hope I pronounced your name right. Um, Moira, you can get hold of it too. Um, if you do check out that basket, there is only one remaining, just one remaining. It may well be the one that I'm actually holding. Every single one will be ever so slightly unique just because these are literally hand carved as opposed to being literally machine carved. Um, okay, now you've got a bit of competition because Hertfordshire's also joining us. Good morning to you, Kerry. I hope you're all well. It's beautiful. And I, I'll say it again. I think I say it every time I bring it to air. I think this is one of the best carvings that we've ever brought. Um, I'll leave it with you because, again, there is, it, it's over-allocated. Well done. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Um, okay, shall we do um, an Olmec Glue Jadeite Donut? Now, if you love that strand, I'll bring it to the back of my hand again. Wow. Yeah, imagine those together. So I'm bringing this to you this hour, right now, for your Type A the lost treasure of Guatemala. Um, and let me just double check before I say this, but yeah, this is the only uh, high goo we have um, in your Guatemalan Olmec jade. Um, blue jade eye only forms in Guatemalan jade. Um, and this uh, deposit was literally, I mean, it's, it's centuries old. It's, it's got a fantastic story behind it, um, literally guarded by the locals that then uh, 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 actually sort of died out when their civilization actually died out. It was rediscovered uh, very, very recently in the sort of 1980s. Um, this beautiful, beautiful variety only, or color, I should say, only forms in the Guatemalan mine. That's crazy. 79 pounds for, for, for Guatemalan jadeite. You know, if you, we've told you the story before of the riding as a husband and wife team who literally traveled to Gua Guatemala to locate uh, the lost treasure. Um, and, you know, it wasn't, a, they, they say X marks the spot and literally they traveled there and found it. It wasn't that simple, quite clearly. We're talking about dense, uh, dense jungle and terrain. Um, and something that has been lost literally for, for, for decades, for dec well, centuries in actual fact. Um, 79 pounds. Even if you go to their own website, you won't find Guatemalan jade of this quality um, at anywhere near this price tag. I've only got one left now. Well done. Well done to those of you that have already pounced on that one. Um, shall we do a floating flower donut? This one? Oh, hang on. This one, yeah. Because you've got a little spot of green. Ah, oh. when you see, um, when you actually, the floating flower is in reference to there's a little suspension of colour, a little suspension of colour within, um, little tiny delicate ripples, especially if you use your, 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 your phone torch, everyone will be different. They might be at the, at the surface, they might be in the heart of the haigu itself. Um, but yeah, you'll see this wonderful, wonderful little pool of intense colour. Um, yeah, just remarkable, absolutely beautiful and incredibly rare. You know, we have your mutton frat description. You've got uh, um, your moss in snow description. The floating flower is sort of just one sort of single suspension of intense colour. 20 carats that you're getting here, £49. £49. Can you see how gemmy that translucency is? 
Again, when it comes to jade, I, and I know so many of you are familiar with this already, but I have to say it for our lovely new viewers. When it comes to jade, I, it's not the four C's like with diamonds. You're not looking for carrot weight, clarity, cut and color. With jade, I, you're looking for color, texture and translucency um, the fact that this almost looks like it's melting ice that's an indication of the quality of the translucency well done i'll leave that one with you amazing um moving on to should we do a little parcel of guatemalan jadeite I like these a lot because, you know, look, if you're not looking to get one particular size and you want to maybe create a graduation, then this is the perfect opportunity for you um, because you can literally just arrange them as you see fit. So, oh, my goodness, me look at that colour, Linda. I mean, that's just perfect for sliders, yeah. isn't it? For slider bracelets. Yes. It's just perfect. You can just have the one larger one or you can have that graduation or just a little row of the smaller ones. Just perfect. I have to say, and I've seen, uh, I mean, a fair amount of Guatemalan jade since being here uh, at Jewelry Maker, but that's the best colour I've ever seen. Mm, it's got some depth to it. Yeah, too. that's the, the most intense Olmec blue and translucency that I've ever seen in Guatemalan jade. Would we all agree? I mean, just look at the reflection of our lights up yeah. there, and it's like a mirror. Look at, the, look, look at the one that's, hang on, I'll wait till it comes around the other side. But next to the very large bead, look there, look at that colour. It's just gorgeous. That's six mil. How many do we have of these? One opportunity left. It is some of the best colour I've ever seen in Guatemalan jade, this parcel. You know, and if you think about it, you'd have to buy, what, four separate strands to get that combination of sizes. Um, so you're getting a fantastic deal on that basis. I've got one left. Swansea, you've got yours. Amazing. Manchester, you're there as well. Um, two, you've got two in your basket, though, I can see Manchester. I've only got one opportunity. So um, I can at least give, we can deliver on one parcel. I'll leave that with you again because uh, there's people on the phone lines too. Coming up at nine o'clock today, you've got this amazing suite of jewellery. Let me just slide in this direction so you can see the two together. Um, bang on nine o'clock. So they're not, you can't pre-order in this hour that we usually do with um, your early birds. You've got this beautiful, beautiful parve butterfly necklace and we also have the butterfly stud earrings. I mean, how pretty is that? I'd like to give that to Willow. Yeah, I was just thinking the, the twins, my twin granddaughters, have recently had their ears pierced and they would love. That would be something. Absolutely that's, love. Those. Well, I can guarantee it's going to a fantastic price point oh, as yeah, well. I need two, two sets of those. Look how pretty they are absolutely beautiful aren't they coming up at nine o'clock today so you haven't got too long to wait half an hour um, for you to make your confirmations or anything that is included um, included in this hour now let's bring you the little tokyo bear he's stunning i love him um and really i think in your in your black jade because we bring you lots, of, we've brought you dragons, no, jade as a whole. We've brought you dragons, we've brought you donuts, we've brought you lotus flowers, we've brought you buddhas. Um, the little Tokyo bear, which obviously is associated, it's, it's actually um, inspired by a particular brand uh, of bear. And I can't remember, I don't recall what it's It's like a care bear in profile. He is like a care bear. Mm. Perfect. Um, but also I think, I think internationally we can really yeah. associate to him. It's weird you say care bears because I've got a friend who's got triplets. And I'm getting them a Care Bear for Christmas each. Yeah, they're Different back. Different Care on, Bears. Hey, yeah, yeah, they're back in full swing. Um, but he's very similar to that. Look at his little bow tie. Look at his little bottom. <laughs> he's got the cutest little bottom. I love him. Look at that. His hands firmly down by his side. Sorry, Mr. K Mr. Bear. We're just turning you around. That's natural type A jade. And I don't know if you can actually notice at the top, he's got a little carving. This is literally carved into the jadeite. You've got a little little bale, essentially, just waiting mm -hmm. there. Um, so This is so popular. And again, I'm going to say, I think this is one of the most in endearing carvings that we've ever actually brought. It's been incredibly popular. Again, I think Claire's got this. Uh, 99 pounds solid type a black jadeite um, you can see it's completely and utterly natural because you have those wonderful patterns those textures that we were referring to just a few moments ago he stands about 30 millimeters uh, in height uh, by about 40 14 millimeters in width shall we take this to a brand new price shall we never been lower than 99 he's too cute to be in our vault you've got 30 minutes to make these confirmations how many have we got roscoe two i love the tokyo bear he was launched by jake 
brand new low 79 pounds only again he's a work of art totally absolutely there's no denying that he's uh, a bear his little his little is outturned paws oh, no he's got so his personality hasn't he, he does doesn't he his little round curvy belly mm -hmm. i can relate to him <laughs> I can't, he's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Make sure you check out the skill that goes into, can you see how the ears, itch, you've literally got that sort of concave, curved ears as well. So he's really detailed. He's got a little, little buttoned upturned nose. Can you see that there? Just the sweetest. Again, I'm gonna leave that one with you. Um, amazing, amazing. Okay, now we've all been absolutely raving about this strand. Again, the quality of this strand is, is impeccable, quite frankly. I don't think it gets any better than what you're about to see. Um, we had four. Two have already gone on pre-order, so well done to you. Um, we are taking it lower, obviously. Yeah, of, uh, of your Olmec jadeite strands, this has to be up there with the best. Again, it's got that distinctive Olmec blue color that only forms in Guatemala. You've got the most amazing translucency, and they're big as well, 10 millimeter rounds. It's such a unique source of gemstones because uh, you know you think jadeite and it comes jadeite comes in lots of different color saturations only in guatemala do you get this blue and that's written documented on the gia them, uh, themselves have actually said that um but it's a very distinctive saturation of blue as well isn't it mm -hmm. it's like in dicolite and, and mm -hmm. uh, grandidurite it is yes very very yeah. distinctive already being snapped up by uh, amazing collectors. I mean, to say that you have this in your family's heirloom um, is is just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. We'll do it in one price crash. One left. Or we're over allocated. Whoa. Yeah, that's what lower a than price I, crash. That, that's way lower than I thought it was going to be, Ross. Oh. You can get this home today. For, yeah, 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 yeah. Ross is just saying, I thought this was a 499 strand. So low. I mean, look, I'm looking at Adam's recording right now. Look at that translucency. It's so gemmy. And that's a terminology that you literally use in the, in the trade. It referring to the, I think it's sold out. Yeah, well done. It's referring to that intensity of color and that gemmy translucency. Beautiful. Well done. Well done, everybody. Um, we've got what, sorry? Yes, I love this strand. I think I've got this strand. I haven't yet used it. Um, so, uh, hmm. I wouldn't call this grey. I would personally call this black. Um, these are 12 mil in their size. Mm. I get it. You've got areas of grey colour, but no black jade is like a midnight black. No. It, it's more of an inky, greeny, mm -hmm. bluey black colour. Um, I love this. I love, it's more silver, I think. Anyway, it's got those gorgeous cloud effects floating in there. Gosh, that's pretty, isn't it? And again, can you see that silky-like luster? Um, with all your jadeite, you almost want it to look like a melting ice cube. That surface luster should literally be light reflective, as we're seeing right now. 12 millimeter natural Burmese black jadeites. Now, on the specifications, it calls these black. I would say these are black jadeites, personally. Um, yeah, and you're going to a full 38 centimetre strand. I mean, imagine this with your Olmec 10 mils that you've just had. Imagine this with the pink rice beads that you had earlier on. Imagine this with this amazing strand that we've still got to, uh, we've still got to bring you. Um, it's just going to bring you that amazing, what, what, 199 pounds? Sorry. Sorry. I know this is last of stock hour, Ross, but 199 pounds. These aren't four mils or six mils. They're 12 millimetres. They've got to be the biggest that we've, uh, that we've had in Black Jade. How many did we have of these? One. I've only got one left now because the first one's been snapped up uh, by Durham. Well done. You weren't alone, believe me, Dorothy. There's a lot of people with it in their baskets on the website. You've got 25 minutes until all of these opportunities and deals disappear. Um, but the reality is, if you, if you look at the website, it's probably going to have sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out repeatedly. Um, so for the last one, I've got Tina there, London there, and Sonica there. So who's going to grab it? Sonica, well done, lovely. Well done. Sold out. Congratulations. Um, okay, moving on. Should we do another bangle? Oh, it comes in the box. Oh, this, this is, for me, this, this is the perfection personified of jade. 
I just just love to gaze at that. It's such a those patterns. Mm, it's so, such a an emotional creation that one. It is. If you go to the website, by the way, click Watch Live, scroll down. You'll see how busy we have been. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Oh, you can still get one dragon, one dragon. The high goose are still available. Sold out, sold out. And we're up to here now. It is busy, busy, busy today. I agree wholeheartedly with Linda. There's nothing light green about this. I think this is actually one of the darker green bangles that we actually have. But also, if you look closely, you've got these really beautiful textures. This is a great example of when we say texture. Um, it certainly is, and it's, a, it's um, an incredible example of the master carving, I think. Mm. How, how smooth um, the outer surface of that is. That's a difficult thing to create. Absolutely. Well, we have to pay for the loss firstly when it comes to a carving, uh, a bangle like this, sorry. So all this area here, nothing can, can be created out of what's lost in the centre. It's all literally done by hand as well. You know, that, that's why, you know, the, the, the bangle, um, I think most would agree, is, is considered the pinnacle. You know, to own the bangle in a jade, it's considered the pinnacle. Um, of luxury and it's expensive they are expensive because of the skill as Linda just said that goes into carving something as perfect as this you know they or they, they, they will actually you know, take time I suppose to navigate where's the best parts where's the best uh, formation of the jadeite where's the best patterning where's the best colors look at that detail um, look at that texture and look at that color again I have to say I don't think this is light green at all I think this is a very deep um, 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 a deep color ignore our graphics don't you worry you'll have that certificate that will actually say um, say that it's completely natural genuine Burmese jadeite from a location which is irreplaceable the mine closed a couple of mines ago, uh, a couple of months ago sorry um you've got what sorry 23 minutes to make your confirmations that's an absolute steal at 299 pounds yes as i say in a, um, a significant jewelers on bond street or somewhere in dubai or something like that you know with air drive you're talking four figures without a doubt. Without doubt, absolutely. Well, one of our lovely viewers actually bought one of our bangles and recently had it valued and appraised. And that's exactly what that, mm. the appraisal came back at, four yeah. figures, all day long. So please know, I get that 299 is still a considered amount of money. However, not in comparison to what it's actually, its true value and worth. Um, how many do I have, Ross? Two. Devon, you've got yours. I've got Fiona. Oh, Dorothy, you've got yours. I've got one left now. Fiona, Maker, Karen, London, and Sonika, you're there as well for the final one. Oh, Sonika, you're going to be dripping in jade. Oh, oh yes. I mean, that's fantastic, isn't amazing. it? Amazing. You can say that. Absolutely amazing. Oh, there's a lot of competition for this one. Patricia and London, you've joined us. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of you with it on in your basket. I think it's gone. Amazing. Look at that. That intensity of colour. Amazing. There's amazing. There's huge energy with that one, isn't there? There really is. Sorry, what? Should we do the uh, these? Oh, these? Oh. They're pretty, aren't they? Look. They look exquisite with the pink that you had earlier. Oh, or the black. Or the black, yeah. Or the green. Or with pearls. Or the omek. Oh, pearls would be lovely. Mm -hmm. um, rice beads, but they're quite voluptuous rice beads, yeah. if that makes sense. So these aren't a tiny carrot weight, as you can see. Um, certified natural white jadeite. Um, as Richard Wise once said, um, white jadeite with a pure hue should be considered the finest of its type. I mean, that's almost linen fresh white. We're at £199. Ross, I mean, massive reductions. The pure white colour, absolutely ginormous in their size. I mean, individually, let's be honest, these could be just individual pieces within a, uh, within a necklace or pairs of earrings, absolutely. Um, Linda, you've got some beautiful pearls coming up in your nine o'clock oh, kits. I Imagine that, that together. Absolutely gorgeous. You can just see that impact of that jade within those pearls. Um, that's beautiful. 
199 pounds i'm absolutely floored by that price because these are massive you know if these were maybe your four to five millimeter right rice beads i kind of get that 199 pound price tag here at jewelry maker but they're not they're whoppers nine to ten millimeters in their size and it's a full 38 centimeter strand how many have i got roscoe two left sonica you've got yours hello Gigi. lovely nice to see you this morning london's there devon you're there as well uh, ladies um i've got one left one left enviable collections of jade but i have to tell you the most unbelievable savings that you're getting this morning well done sold out congratulations uh should we do a little carving of got it got it I got it got this. it ah uh, so much imagination in this you know you can lose yourself within that scene seriously the translucent, you can see my, my finger behind, it's that mm -hmm. translucent. Do you, have you seen on, um, I would encourage you to follow Dave Troth on his um, Facebook page and his Instagram, um, because he actually put, uploaded a video and it's literally, uh, I don't know who it was, but using ice, ice white natural jade out like this and reading literature through it, the translucency was that good. You could do that with this, I believe. Mm -hmm. Look at the quality of that carving. So I don't have my phone next to me, otherwise I would show the light source behind, but you can see you've got a little bigode, you've got the mountain range behind. Um, you've got amazing, I forget what those trees are called. They're very, very architectural, aren't they, those trees? You've got the bridge just here, can you see, in the river? The detailing within this master carving. How on earth is that 69 pounds? Wow. I was expecting this one to be even more expensive because if I hold it on its side as well, I mean, it's, it, 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 it's like those Chantilly carvings that we've brought to you. When you've got something that's this almost paper thin, to create that level of detail just blows my mind. And it's literally done by hand. This gemstone is as hard as steel and is carved and polished with human hands. Are just amazing absolutely amazing I particularly like the fact that this is that much narrower because you know if you are thinking about wearing this then not always you want to have that big carrot weight you might want it to be that little bit more comfortable um this will you still got 100 carats mind it's not a small piece um again I've got I've got a lot of uh, competition on this one how many are there Ross five okay okay so there's definitely time for you to get involved janice fiona in london i can see it in your baskets when do you ever see carvings of this detail with that uh, that width as well you know what the, the beauty of this piece is as well is is within the carving isn't it that um emotional sort of landscape which is typical of um an idealistic view of china I've just, yeah. Look and I mean, look how smoothly it's carved. There's no raw edges. There's no points no. to it. It's just completely uh, tranquil. Am I, am I seeing like a wheel in the water there? What do you call those? Like a turning wheel in the water. Oh, like a millstone. Like a millstone. Am I seeing that? Just to the bottom, bottom right. Yeah, I can see what you're looking at. And there's yeah. a there's a figure as well stood by the river. You've got the pagoda. You've got the uh, a pagoda on the mountain range. The detail. Every single one of us. Adam, director Adam was just going. It's for me. It's the fact that this is almost paper thin. Mm. It's not so thin that you wouldn't worry about wearing it, of course. But again, don't forget this is literally done by hand. Um, here's me wittering away. We're at sixty nine pounds. I've only got four wow. opportunities remaining. Karen, Fiona in London. You're there. Lincolnshire. You. You've got yours amazing. Um, I'm gonna leave it with you. 69's crazy. It is crazy, Ross. That's gotta be one of the lowest price carvings we've done for that size. Now, a shape we really ever see in this gemstone, I, and I love, um, rondelles. I actually think rondelles look their best in jadeite. Do you think? Yes, I love the smooth. Oh, well, it's just a beautiful, smooth gem. And to have it in these smooth rondelles, it's just, icing on the cake oh. I mean there's nothing that you need to do with that you no don't, you just need to just put that onto your um take it off the temporary strand 
and re-strand it. Yep. Um, you could knot that as well on silk. It's gorgeous. You? Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Smooth rondelles, I think, are absolutely stunning in jade eye. Mm. Again, these look lovely with your nine o'clock kit. £49. How many do we have, Roscoe? I've got 15 minutes to squeeze as many jadeite deals as I can. Um, so we'll work together on this one. There's four available. Janice, you're on it. Well done, my lovely. This is the only rondelle strand that we have in type A jadeite, by the way. We rarely ever get the chance to bring it to wear. It's one of my absolute favourite shapes um, in this gemstone. There is a ton of you there. Sonika, you've got yours. Alison, you've got yours. I've got a customer on the phone line. If you've pressed your option one, you've done it. Just stay where you are. Um, should we do those big statement slabs? These are exquisite, aren't they? I, I, I didn't even know they existed in this shape. No. I mean, that is just unmistakably gemmy, oh. isn't it? Can I repeat what you just said, Ross? Can I repeat what you just said? Um, okay. Are we going to surprise you? The price is ridiculous, basically. You're going to see how ridiculous it is. Look at the back of the screen now. These are as close to... I mean, these are tiptoeing towards your imperial green saturations, aren't they? At the very least, apple. Look at that green at the back there. Oh, my goodness me. We don't... I, we don't I've never seen this cut. I don't think we've ever brought... Um, your faceted before. tumbles before, if you can even describe them as that. They are statement faceted slabs, aren't they? £49. Wow. Who, 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 when were these brought to air? It wasn't with us, though, was it, Ross? We didn't do that price, did we? That's way too low. I mean, fantastic for you guys at home. Um, I don't know, I'm, as a, yeah, sold out. I don't know, was that one of a moment when Dave had a little blip? Yeah, probably. Must have been. Must have been. He's quite overexcited, I think. <laughs> I think so. Um, should we do some beautiful red jadeite? Again, I can say this is the only red jadeite that we have. Is that right? Um, I think so. I love these shapes as well. Um, so very architectural, if you like so, which ultimately is what jewellery making is. Your architecture in your, in your ears or around the, uh, around the neckline or on the hand. Um, these are through drilled as well, so you can absolutely strand with these. But again, look at that intricacy of carving. They're like almost little mosaic tiles, aren't they? Wouldn't that be amazing on a rose gold slide oh, bracelet? Gorgeous. They're going to sell out. Earrings. I need to move on. Drums, what, the carved drums? These ones? Yeah. These would be lovely, the white that we had earlier on. See, these are perfect, I think, to be the neckline on the um, cabochon slabs, the uh, carved. Well, as, as you mentioned that, something like that? Yeah. Just that slight contrast in colour. It's stunning, isn't it? Yeah, it literally draws your eye, doesn't it? Yeah. And it tapers down, very elegant. Again, you've got rivers of imperial greens running through this, almost tiptoeing in towards the black, because basically black jadeite once was imperial green. It's transcended through all of those colours. What is that price? Sorry. I, it's me again. I'm wittering on. I don't look up from the, uh, look up from the desk. I've got slightly more quantity of these. So I, I'm so engrossed in what Linda um, is saying and looking at the beauty of the gemstones that sometimes I don't lift my head up and see what Ross has actually done in terms of the savings he did say it was going to be last wow. of stock clearance deals this is actually the most plentiful um thus far uh, uh, in terms of quantity i mean i i wouldn't rest on your laurels just there you've only got 12 minutes to make those confirmations anyway um how many have we got then oh oh we had six now we've got two so they were it was still single figures though still single figures rupal sorry kerry london you've done it um, I've got uh, Maker, Heather, Tracy, Oxfordshire, Anne, Maker and Alison. So for the final two, I'll leave that with you. Shall we do a strand of high goose? Beautiful. Again, I could probably count on one hand the amount of times that I've actually brought strands of high goose. So the high goose is the symbol of heaven, the circle of heaven. Um, historically, it was placed 
uh, on the chest or the waist of deceased uh, loved ones. And they believe that it would help their passage uh, to the life afterwards. It would also keep you communicated and connected together as one. Jade in Chinese literally translates to heaven. So this is the, there's lots of reasons why they love this gemstone, not just because aesthetically it is stunningly beautiful. Um, but you've got an entire strand of high goose here. Um, very conveniently, you've got the drill hole running in this direction as well. So if you did want to sort of position it face on without interrupting, if you like, the, the high goo uh, center, £199. Again, the complexity of carving this gemstone into a high goo is one thing, because obviously you're putting a, a, a hole um, right through the center of the stone, but then also to go in that direction as well. The chance, the risk of breakage is multiplied. I mean, I think that this strand deserves, if it was possible, to be interrupted, each one with diamonds. Oh, round brilliant cuts. Mm. Do it. Shall we go lower? Wow. Shall we? Just because we haven't got, listen, it's a brand new low price tag. We don't have many of these. It's the only high goo strand. Normally we start bring them to you individually and I will count them in a moment. £149 only. You've got 10 minutes to get them or until stocks last. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 20 high goos. I mean, they're earring high goos if you want to. Rings, you could absolutely use things like your, your bezel strips or your gallery wire. Um, I love Linda's idea of literally just nestling a wonderful diamond. Mm. Um, and, and we've got diamonds in today's show a little bit later on. How many did I have, Ross? I had seven. London. Um, London, Gigi. Uh, I think they've gone. I think if you've got a phone in your hand today, we are. Susan, West Sussex. Uh, West Midland, sorry. Yanneth, uh, Maker and Colleen. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Shall we do a lovely lotus flower? Ten minutes, nine minutes to squeeze in as many deals as we can before we bring you your lovely early bird. Are we going to do these as well, Ross? Do you know? Do you reckon we'll... Coming up, coming up, he says. Sorry, I'm just really excited about that strand. Um, the lotus flower, a symbol of uh, rebirth, a symbol of a journey, you know, literally travelling. If you imagine the flower itself is considered to be the most beautiful flower in existence. Um, and that's also because of the story it tells, the fact that it forms in the murkiest and muddiest of waters until it reaches the surface. Um, and that's when you have this wonderful explosion of almost paparazzi oranges and pinks. How is that £49? Again, that's carved literally by hand. Um, very symbolic. You see lots of people with, with lotus flower tattoos. Um, you see it on lots of uh, your... Um, I've gone blank. What do you call it? Your uh, mantras and things like that. Oh, why have I gone blank? The seven colours. The seven colours. Chakras. Oh, Thank chakras, you. Yeah. Chakras. Chakras. Um, you see it uh, connected to lots of, sort of chakras and, uh, and Buddhist quotes as well. It's very, very, very uh, symbolic in its meaning. Look at the quality of the jadeite as well. How many have we got? Five available. It is drilled very discreetly just at the top in one of the petals. We've gone lower purely because of time. Crazy. That's actually crazy. You shouldn't be able to get natural type A jadeite at double figure prices, let alone 29 99 mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't know. If you think about this, if you can, a, a, a particular friend of mine really springs to mind, um, who's just gone. She's going through a terrible time at the moment. She's and you know, and just everything seems to be going against you. Yeah. But, you know, she's you seen like a magnet. For yeah, her yeah. But she's standing strong, and you know, she's she's doing the best for her and her family, and doing amazingly well. I mean, to gift something like this to her, just say, look, it's the journey. You'll come through the other side. Mm -hmm. um, I keep saying to every fo a phone call conversation, every storm runs out of rain. Every storm runs out of rain. Um, that's what this is to me. Um, okay, let's now do another lavender jadeite uh, another lavender jadeite ring um one of the lowest price rings we're going to do apparently that's stunning doesn't it sit well against your rings there yeah i think i think i think i need I think, one i think it's just perfect 49 pounds it's it, lavender jade we only spoke about it yesterday it this is oh Oh, 
ethereal, magical. It's got an aura about it. Lavender jade is one of the most expensive varieties of jade. And again, Dave explained it. It's the fact that it's colored by a presence of vanadium, which doesn't naturally occur um, in, in Burma. That's why you really ever see lavender jade. And here we are bringing it to you at a casual 49 pounds. It's just ridiculous. It's so uh, ridiculous in the best possible way. If there's any of these available, I'm going to be joining you. 12 carats, and that's not, you know, with gold you can mold it. It can be poured into a cast and polished, and, and silver, of course, you can. This is literally, that was once a boulder, a solid boulder. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily of all that colour. Loads of you have this in your basket. How many, sorry, did you say, Ross? We had nine available. Suzanne in London, Elaine, Dumfries and Galloway, Maker and Tracy. There's only nine available. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, lavender jade drop. Um, that will go perfectly with this. I'll leave it with you. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So, yeah, we spoke about it only yesterday. The fact lavender jade, um, it was Roland Schlussel who actually said at the beginning of this year, very much, you know, he's a figurehead, if you like, uh, in the West um, for jadeite, and he's hugely contributed to lots of literature um, about this gemstone. He believes that lavender jade is going to uh, match in the very foreseeable, the prices that we see with Imperial Jade. It, it, it has to. It's, it's not been stockpiled. It's incredibly rare. And again, it's just a presence of vanadium that geologically doesn't naturally form um, within uh, uh, Burma itself, or the location this gemstone once was mined. Again, that's just... I can't say that out loud. No. no. There's eight available. I can't, I, I'm not saying it. I'm not sorry. It's lavender jade. I can't say that out loud. It's type A. If it was dyed or impregnated, fair enough. It's not. It's natural. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. The last five auctions before we dive into um, your butterfly uh, pendant and earrings. I love this carving. It's a beautiful leaf. Um, I'm going to hold it in tweezers, actually, because I don't want to block any of the, um, the detail. It has got a really lovely little drill hole at the top there i also think it looks like some um pea pods yeah looks a little bit like pea pods doesn't it really beautiful again look at that wet luster amazing all completely natural beautiful translucency 29 pounds and 99 pence only imagine these maybe in amongst a lovely tassel mm -hmm. i put a couple i think Maybe yeah, one longer layers. than that. Yes, layered. Yeah, definitely. So it looks like foliage. It's you know I can imagine that on a, on a very fine um, sterling chain. Um, actually, any of the metals, gold, rose gold, or silver, would work with that, and it would just be, wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. Where did you get that from? That sort of reaction. Totally. Um, because it is so exquisitely beautiful. So so unique as well, isn't it? At twenty nine ninety nine. This this mine closed two months ago. That's eight hundred years of mining history done. Done. You know, you, you say the the unique uh, thing about Jay, but if you imagine if do me a favour, next time you're walking down your local high street, if you go past any um, jewellers, just look in the window and see if there's any jade in the window. It's, it's rare to see it Yeah, it now, is. Isn't it? it really is. It really is. Um, I've been absolutely raving about this strand from Incredible. the moment I sat down. There are three have already gone. I've got five left. Again, it's just the skill that goes into carving it. It's a long strand, so all you need to do is restrand that, in my opinion. I don't even think you need to add a clasp. Um, you've effectively got two different cuts. You've got your little, uh, little rounds, which are three mil, um, and then you have these <coughs> beautiful carved columns, these wonderful cylindrical shapes. I love this strand. Again, I think this would look lovely with the pearls that you've got coming up in the next hour. Remember, when this hour closes, um, you won't be able to get any of the items that you've got in your basket if you haven't yet checked out. You still only pay that one postage and packaging. Um, it's a full, sorry, 60, I was going to say 50, 60 centimetre strand for £99. 
I love this. I, I, do you know, if I if I was allowed to choose one strand of the hour, I think I'd go for this yeah, one. I would, definitely, because that just immediately shrieks at me to be a tassel. It's stunning, isn't Using it? Using so the different. three mills and then one of the, the rice beads at the end. Beautiful. Absolutely. Beautiful. We've done columns, I think, before, and we've done the rice bead light shapes and certainly round. I, I've never seen this kind of almost like beehive shape. Yeah, it, it, love it. There's one left, one left. Uh, Rutland, Surrey, Kerry, Rupal, Lorna, Sonika. We've got multi buyers on this as well. I've got Sandra on the phone lines, Shaolin, London, Anne, uh, West Midlands, with it still in their baskets or on the phone. There's one left, so good luck, folks. Good luck to you. Um, do I have what, sorry? A little, oh, yes, I do. A well, it's not so little. It's a lovely colour, too. Uh, do you know what? I almost th I thought this was Olmec. I actually thought this was Guatemalan. That'd be beautiful in a ring. Oh. Just beautiful. Ross is ashamed of himself. And so you should, should be, be, Ross. Right, basically, that's a Merry Christmas price. I mean, Ross, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm angry. But I am a bit disappointed. Yeah. I think that's so much worse than being angry. I, it's it's just, oh, God, I'm I don't want to be a disappointment. I'm only joking, Ross. I'm not disappointed. I'm delighted. I'm delighted. Yeah. Oh, my. Never. Never in a million years should this be 9 99 I picked this up thinking it was Olmec. Thinking it was Guatemalan. It's not. It's Burmese. Look at the colour intensity. Incredible. Unbelievable. So, yeah, if you do things like your gemstone setting, if you do your um, gallery wire, all of those things, how beautiful, as Linda said in a ring. Uh, moving on to nuggets. Nuggets. Amazing. Loads of sellouts this hour. You've got, what, literally minutes now. You've got minutes remaining. 170 carats of type A, genuine, natural jade eye, um, as Mother Nature intended, literally faceted um, in these beautiful free-form nuggets. At £39.99, you're getting a full strand, um, and they're literally shoulder-to-shoulder, shoulder, aren't they? Yeah, so. I think this is very much um, to be viewed as a taster strand, if you've never had jade Ooh. before. I think this, this gemstone is such a, it's a tactile gemstone. And I think if you've not um, felt jade before, if you've not purchased jade before, I think this is the strand for you then, definitely. Yeah, 10 pounds. Well, there you go then. 10 pounds. 10 pounds well spent there. Again, look, just the quality factors of jade are color. Well, that firstly, apple blossom green. Then we start talking about translucency. Amazing translucency. Some of those are incredibly gemmy. Also, texture. You mm. want it to literally have that texture. Uh, see the surface luster, see how almost wet it looks? That's an indication of quality texture. You've got a fine grain as opposed to a, uh, a coarse grain of crystal. Amazing. Now, the last of your jade, after this auction, everything will disappear and we're diving straight into the early bird, okay? So do you want to see the early bird for those of you that have just tuned in? Maybe had a little lion this Sunday morning. Oh, do you remember when li lions were a thing? Um, <laughs> <laughs> if only. Um, look, the little butterfly necklace is so pretty. And we've got the matching earrings as well. Perfect Christmas gifts. If you have a little look at the website, even, um, yeah, they're all disappearing in a matter of minutes. Literally, as soon as this next auction actually closes, these will all disappear. So if you've got anything any, with any of these items in your basket, so the dragon, I've got one, sold out, sold out. The Olmec donut, there's one. The other donut, the floating flower, there's one. Um, the Olmec strand, there's one. I'm amazed. In fact, is there one literally of everything? Oh, okay. Other than the big tumbles in the middle of the screen, there's two of those, okay. So either way, you need to check out because, the, well, the chance, the opportunity is going to be taken from you after this auction anyway. Um, so good luck. Now, the last auction, have we saved the best or last? I don't know. It's hard to say when it comes to JDAC because they're all absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Um, so, oh, can I borrow someone's phone? Oh, my goodness. This is, this is, this is the goddess of mercy and the dragons in one carving. 
Oh my goodness me. Wow. Have you ever seen that level of detail? So there she is, so beautiful, the goddess of mercy. Look at the positioning of the hands as well. And you have your nine dragons, obviously the one here that she's sat on. Can you see that? And then let me just turn it around. You've got your dragons here. And then when I just, if I just turn it around. Wow, that's stunning. And the pearl, which in itself is hugely symbolic. If you, I, don't, I won't have the time now, but if you want me to share the meanings behind the nine dragons, the goddess of mercy, and also the pearl, um, then do get in touch with me because I can forward that literature to you. It's a huge carrot weight, 290 carats. I, I, I've, I've never seen that kind of detail before. That's literally done by hand. It's just mind-boggling, isn't it? And you can also see the intellect behind it, can't you? Of, yep. um, you know, the understanding of jade and how to carve it and what to carve it into. Yeah. They, well, they say, don't they, the jade chooses the carving, not mm -hmm. the other way around. So, I mean, if, when you've got something, again, as gemmy as this, with such a, a wonderful translucency and texture, it was always going to be placed into the hands of one of the most skillful master carvers. Remember this gemstone created by Mother Nature, shaped with the most talented human hands. It is drilled as well. They're very cleverly on a 45 degree angle so that it doesn't interrupt the beauty of this work of art. And that's, that's how we should look at it. It is a work of art. I've got four available. We're not stopping at 499 pounds. The Goddess of Mercy and your nine dragons. What on earth? Sorry, I was definitely expecting this to be a three, maybe 399, I think would have been a great price. 66 pounds and 33 pence. It's double-sided. I mean, can you imagine the, all that detail, which would have taken months upon months upon months, and that's only half done. Then you continue the story on the other side. You know, I, I, I think I think jewellery is wonderful um, to actually sort of tell stories about. I, I just, I've got lots of childhood memories talking to my mum about some of her pieces of jewellery that she, she wears, bought, or, or was gifted, or inherited. You know, imagine the story that's going to unfold with this. I mean, it, it, just the skill involved in carving both sides and not to interrupt either side with the individual carving is just so skillful. Well, this is it. You know, you're not seeing any of the... the, no. the otherwise, that would kind of blur it ever so slightly. Look at the detail. Amazing. Now, that is the hour done. We are going to give you a 60-second clock and then we're going to dive straight into your early bird. So anything from this hour, the Olmec, the, the archer rings, the high goose, the carvings, uh, what else have we done? Um, the slabs, the donuts, the rice beads, uh, the lotus flower, the lavender rings, the parcels of Guatemalan jade. You've got literally 36 seconds. Um, the Olmec strand, there is literally one left. One left, uh, your white AJ, there's one left, your tumbles, there's one left. As soon as this clock runs out, we are closing the hour and we're going to dive immediately into your early bird. Um, and everything on the hour will literally disappear. I mean, some of the best savings, really, that I've ever seen. Some of the finest lineups as well. Good luck, everybody. Congratulations to those of you that got that amazing last piece. Um, stunning, uh, stunning deals and beautiful, beautiful jade. Don't go anywhere there. Check out your baskets back after this. <laughs> Okay, the butterfly. You know, we're in the season right now where obviously you don't see your butterflies. Um, they're all, are they all nice and snuggly in their little cocoons right now? Yeah, I wouldn't blame them for a moment. I, I, I don't know. I'm not David Attenborough. But um, anyway, but they're that symbol. For me, when I see a butterfly, the first butterfly of the year, it's that symbol, isn't it, of, of life and, and spring and summer, you know, that warmer months are coming. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's just almost waking up, isn't it, I suppose, out of the wintry months. But a butterfly is a symbol of transition as well. I know that, you know, from the, from the, the little caterpillar to the cocoon to the beautiful butterfly, and there's hundreds of different species out there. I'm, we're lucky enough to live not far away from a butterfly farm, aren't we? Um, 
the different varieties and sizes that you actually see and the colors that you see. But I, I think we consider a butterfly to be um, very meaningful, absolutely. And, and we're just, uh, I can read that if you like, Ross. Butterflies also symbolize spring, a celebratory time of year, and embody the beauty of symmetry, pattern, color, and shape. These colorful, vibrant, yet delicate creatures can uh, imply freedom, endurance, inspiration, openness, change, joy, rebirth, patience, transformation and happiness. You know, there's not one single negative connotation attached to a butterfly. Not at all, no. They're so beautiful. And we, we immediately, Linda, you and I saw this and went, oh, the girls would like that. Mm. You know, I think whether you're young or whether uh, we're more mature, um, Everybody loves, I think most people love, I know I can think of one person that's not a fan of butterflies only because they're generally afraid of them, but most people do absolutely love the symbol. I know that Tiffy's and Co did, um, did an amazing butterfly design. I know that Mariah Carey for a very long time wore um, a butterfly ring and it became very much her, um, her, her sort of signature look. Now we've got, let me show you both of these pieces. We've got the necklace, and we have the matching butterfly earrings, which I'm just going to pop one of these in because I think they'll actually, you, you'll be able to appreciate them and see them better in the ear themselves. These are butterflies in flight as well. So they're not just sort of static or flat. Um, they have their sort of wings, the movement of wings. Um, you can actually see that. They're so pretty. And of course, 925 sterling silver. Now, I know that you, you will get these in time for Christmas. Um, so if you are thinking about Christmas gifts, I think these would be amazing. I'm going to show you the earrings. Oh, look how beautiful they are in the ear. Perfect, aren't they? Do you say the twins have only just had their ears pierced? Yeah, about, well, they're ready now to be moving on to what, you know, the sort of designs that they want. Um, you know, you have to sort of six weeks wear the earring that's put in when the ear is pierced, but now they're, um, it's funny, uh, Christmas has been taken over by, oh, um, Nanny, you can get me diamond earrings, can't you? And, uh, <laughs> one of the girls is called Ruby. Nanny, you can get me some Ruby earrings, can't you? At 10? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. Yeah, Willow has a pair of amethyst earrings and that's about, I'm like, yeah, you, Amethyst, you've got amethyst earrings and they look lovely on you. Um, yeah, no, she's not having anything like that, no, as much as she might ask. Um, <laughs> are we going to start with the earrings or the pendant, Russ? We're going to start with the earrings. How many have we got? I'm going to do the, the housekeeping first. There's a hundred of each. There's 150 of the necklace, a hundred of the earrings. So, okay. I, 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 I know these are going to be sellouts. I think they're absolutely gorgeous because they're perfect gifts. I mean, you know, perfect gifts for whatever age. Um, again, the meanings, I think, of the butterfly. I think they're really, they are just pretty, aren't they? They're so beautiful. The fact that you've got this lovely detail, the butterfly is in flight. Plus, they're not encrusted with cubic zirconia. These are encrusted with genuine, dazzling, eye-clean white topaz. You know, they're totally all genuine gemstones, you know? So, you know, like I said, one of the twins was asking you for diamonds. This is colorless topaz, so we're still giving that level of luxury. Um, there's one but for, for Linda and I right now. I do genuinely think these are going to be an on-screen sellout um, because they're so beautiful, so giftable. Put them in some lovely little posh, um, a nice little decorative or uh, an earring box. Present that on the special day or whenever you see fit, whether it's a birthday or whether it's, I don't know, christening even, something that they can wear when they're a little bit older. Um, Secret Santa, let me just throw that one out there. Imagine being able to gift 925 sterling silver and genuine gems stones are you ready i'm quite envious because i've almost made peace with the fact that i'm going to miss out on this mm -hmm. and me and i actually need them as much as i want them i actually need three pairs of these yeah i'm with you i think we're going to miss out though yeah i think so too 29.99 you pop into somewhere like pandora well, I don't think you'll get white topaz. I might be wrong, I don't know. Or Ernest Jones or Beaver Brooks and try and find 
detailed butterflies, not just flat butterflies, but encrusted details in flight butterflies, 925 sterling silver. You try and do that for 29.99. I don't think it's possible. And I've walked past those, uh, some of those jewelry retailers where there's queues literally going out the door. All credit to them, all credit to them. Well, here we go. Jewels, 39 pounds. I've not heard of that retailer before, but yeah, I mean, they're nice. They're not as intricate as these though, are they? <laughs> they are nice. And they're 39 pounds. So more money, not gem encrusted. Do you think we're stopping there though? 19 pounds and 99 pence. We're not stopping there either. We found one other retailer. Here we go. Butterfly earrings, sterling silver, uh, a dainty pair of diamonds simulated. Okay, so basically cubic zirconia. Um, in the style of a pretty butterfly covered in a shimmering parve stone set in premium quality sterling silver. Perfect pair of earrings for every day uh, to wear on a night out or understated elegance. Timeless, stylish and delightfully feminine. Uh, they're bound to invite many admiring glances. 50 pounds. They're lovely. They are lovely. They are. They're absolutely beautiful. I'm not saying otherwise. 50 pounds. We're at 20 pounds. Ours aren't cubic zirconia. These are genuine, natural, Brazilian, colourless eye clean white topaz and that clock is ticking away for a very good reason we have a hundred of these available 100 they are not going to hang around you've got a full investment of one gram of sterling silver in these as well if there's any of them left just know this there are two ladies here in the studio that absolutely want to get hold of these definitely, definitely. and i don't think just for younger children i think this is great for adults as well well, um, the third pair is for my 92-year-old auntie. Oh. So, you know, we're going right through, through 80 years of... of 10 and 92. Yeah. 12 pounds 12, 12 pounds and 99 pence. Do you know, some time ago, do you remember the little velvet boxes that we brought here at Jewelry Maker? Do you remember those? We sold them in packs of sixes. It was actually around the same time that I did the Willow and Tig collection. Um, I, I've got some of those boxes I stockpiled on because I thought they were really nice. Um, I just put them in those, in those velvet boxes. There we go. Beautiful gifts to put on the Christmas tree. At this price, you can almost put them in your, in, 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 in your, in your crackers, yeah? Mm. $12.99 only. I have to say, uh, guys with girls, these are lovely gifts for the girls. Because I would all day long wear these. Mm -hmm. For your Christmas presents, if you're stuck on Christmas presents for your lovely ladies, I think you're looking at a great, a great idea right now. Yeah, Ross, have you sorted it? Are you sorted? Oh, he's, he's uh, yeah, but twelve ninety nine, nice little extra. Go on, she deserves it. Go on, twelve. This is like um, a, a Christmas Eve gift. I think it would oh. be so then you can wear them all day Christmas day yeah oh beautiful oh that would be nice really get them excited for the day ah oh, come on guys in the gallery you know I'm talking to you two stop ignoring me these would be lovely lo lovely gifts for the girls you know I'm talking to you two don't worry ladies I've got your back if you're watching right now 12.99 amazing if they don't sell out then I'm all over these as is Linda they're beautiful the butterfly in flight all the meaning behind the butterfly and it just makes me smile Linda does it you when you see the first butterfly of the year oh definitely oh. definitely it's like a symbol of hope isn't it it is it is and again you know we spoke about this with the lot uh, with the lotus flower there you quite often see them don't you in in things like tattoos and they'll have a meaning oh, most absolutely. people who have tattoos have them for a reason don't they yes you yeah. know, it's a meaning of something yeah. um, or, or whether they just particularly like them, whether it's just, oh, yeah, they're my favourite uh, favorite, uh, creature on the planet. Look at the quantity, though. They're absolutely flying out the door. You do need to check them out. Amazing. A lot of multi-buyers on these as well. The matching uh, pendant is coming up straight after. So we've got slightly more of those. Just seven left of these lovely earrings. Um, um, Kerry, Elizabeth, Agnes, Gabrielle, Carol, Maker in Ayrshire, Oxfordshire, Pauline, well done, getting four. Caroline Rona, Barbara Roy, hello to you, Devon, hello to you, Caroline, uh, five, Vera. Oh, just fluttered out. 
I think just fluttered out of my grasp. <laughs> they did. Should we do the necklace? Yeah. Let's do, let's do the pendant, which always goes faster than earrings. Always. Oh, I've just thought of somebody else that I could get this for. You get the chain too? Oh, do you? Really clever as well. Do you notice how he's, uh, how that he, I don't know why he, this one's a he. Um, okay. It's almost like an illusion set bail. Yep, it so is. Yeah. Literally at the back. Mm -hmm. So if I turn it this way ever so slightly, um, you can see there's the hidden bail underneath just there. Um, so that's not in view. Um, it's not distracting or, or, or taking any of the detail away from the butterfly. Again, that parve of, of, of natural white topaz, beautiful eye clean clarity. Do you, have you ever wondered why you get more sparkle in parve topaz to what you do parve diamonds? Um, that, I'll tell you, I can give you the answer. And it's something I learned from Steve some years ago. You can facet um, a, a melee, a, a melee topaz more times than you can a, a melee diamond so they'll have more brilliance smaller fa smaller topaz will have more brilliance than a smaller diamond because they can actually be faceted more times so that's why um, we often here at gemporia often will favor the topaz actually over the smaller diamonds because you get more performance from them ultimately 925 sterling silver we've got 150 of these available amazing christmas gifts or just because, you know, just because, like we spoke about with the lotus flower, if you know somebody maybe that's going through a little bit of a tough time, this is really, uh, it's a symbol of hope and we've kind of covered all these things, rebirth, transformation, beauty, of course. We're not stopping here though, you get the chain. So it's absolutely everything that's on this bus before me. You know, um, ordinarily, for most jewelers, you'd go in and say, I love that pendant, I'd like to buy the butterfly pendant and you'd have to buy the chain separately. Yes, you know, and also because this is, you know, essentially this is a, um, a finished piece of jewellery, the chain also works with that butterfly. Yes, if it was any thinking. heavier mm. or, or a different type of chain, that's what I, it's an attention to detail thing, really. That's the perfect chain for the perfect little pendant. I agree, because you can almost spoil a pendant yeah, with, the, with the wrong chain. Definitely. Um, if it's maybe not balanced correctly. Definitely. Um, I totally, totally agree with you. We are not stopping at 20 pounds. That includes the chain, it's 18 inches. And I don't know if you can see at the back here, if I actually swing this round ever so slightly, you have got the extender there. So if you wanted to wear it longer, you can absolutely do that. Again, you've got your 925 um, sterling silver teardrop finishing as well um so this is top quality top top quality and to be going even lower than 20 pounds our 925 sterling silver is no different to tiffany's and co our 925 sterling silver is no different to ernest and jones in the same way that our 925 sterling silver is no different to the likes of argos but i don't think even argos could compete with that 16 pounds and 99 pence for natural Brazilian white topaz and sterling silver. You know, next time you're in next Marks and Spencers, I don't know, H&M, Dorothy Perkins, whatever it is, and you look at their little accessories, their, 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 you know, their costume jewelry, I think you'd be hard pushed to find something for 16.99 and that'd be base that, metal. Absolutely, and then even in sort of the likes of Claire's accessories. Yeah. And that. Oh gosh, uh, like, like literally, daylight robbery my, uh, sadly that's my little girl's favorite shop at the moment well it would be at, at, at willow's age yes. she loves a bit of claire's accessories mm. and i'm like okay it's fine i get it it's all things girly but let's be honest it's pretty expensive it's quite an investment if you if you even set foot in that establishment and they're not genuine gemstones and 925 no, sterling i mean silver. i uh, i went in um into claire's uh some weeks ago again i'd got the children with me and came out something like 20 odd pounds um, poorer. Yeah. Um, and it's True. just sort of glass and plastic junk, yes, really. Yes, absolutely, it which, is. Um, or squashies. What well, I mean, what squashy yeah. things? I don't know. Now, why is there a clock on our screen? So, wait, for the entire collection, for the earrings and the necklace, right now, we're at, uh, what do we do the earrings for? Twelve ninety nine, so you're talking about what thirty pounds for the entire mm -hmm. collection, and we're going even lower than that. 
If you want to get hold of the earrings, are they still available? Did they, or did they sell out? Two left. I will get them in the break, by the way. If you don't. I'll arm wrestle you for them. Okay, fair enough. I think you'll probably win. <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Fourteen ninety-nine. That's the chain. That's the butterfly pendant with your eye clean topaz. Amazing, absolutely beautiful. Um, there's so many of you getting involved. Again, the meaning and the symbol of the butterfly itself. There's a reason why we found loads of jewelers that actually do butterflies. Oh, absolutely. And I don't think there is probably any establishment that hasn't. Yeah. Or doesn't do that symbol. Yeah, I, I, could, I would put money, if I was a betting person, um, on um, walking into Pandora and oh, saying, yeah. I'm, I'm after a butterfly, and they'll be able to show you one. Yeah. Because it's so meaningful, yeah. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. It's like, I, I want a key. They'll, you'll, they'll be able to bring you a key. Um, I'm looking for a heart, a uh, heart charm. I'm looking for a flower. You know, it's one of those that are absolutely, absolutely uh, um, always, I suppose, desired. What's unplanned, Ross? 50 of these have gone. Really? OK, so we've got 100. He says, right, there's no point, Alan, uh, you know, us bring this to air and only selling a third of the stock. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, in 60 seconds, if there's enough of you there, we will take it to the absolute rock bottom. When we say we work on tiny margins, believe us when we're talking on, we're talking on points of margins right now. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's almost negative, negative margins. absolutely, yeah. considering, um, considering we uh, have still got to pay for the electric and things like that. Look at this one. Butterfly pendant, sterling silver, 45 pounds. Yeah, lovely, absolutely lovely. Is that... Again, they're CZs. These are genuine topaz. If there's enough of you there, we will go even lower. We are reactive. We're a live show. We don't want to sell just one or two. Like the likes of these jewelry, jewelry established, they will. They'll sell, say, maybe one or two in any given day. We want to sell the 152 that we started with literally in a matter of minutes. How do we do that? We bring you uh, like literally the most competitive prices. In five seconds, we're going to match the price of the earrings, making this entire suite, the earrings and the necklace, which includes the chain, less than £26. £26 yeah, and for I the mean, two. you know, let's, let's face it, you know, if you haven't got any gifts left to buy for, for Christmas and that, this is what needs to go inside your present drawer, that I'm saying in inverted commas. Yeah. But because you will always, without a shadow of a doubt, after the big day, Christmas and that, you've got people's birthdays, anniversaries. Of course, it doesn't stop, does it? It doesn't stop at all. So something like this is, is just a perfect thing to just have there, ready and waiting. Yeah, and, and, and it's that time when you're like, OK, breathe a little bit. Then you go, oh, no, it's such and such a birthday next week, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, I haven't planned for that. Whereas ordinarily, any other time of the year, you probably would do. Um, amazing. Keep dialing through. We're going to leave that with you just while we dive into a very, very short break. We've got beautiful kits coming up with our lovely Linda as well. Some stunning pearls. Don't forget, coming up um, as of after this break, L on a shelf. <laughs> so keep your eye out um, for L the elf. You've got to count all your L's. Um, and then at the uh, very top of the show, so it'll stop at 20. It is hard to say. Um, at 20 past 12, um, the first person to text in the correct answer, as we did yesterday, will receive a jewelry maker. Goodie bag, amazing. But don't go anywhere because we've got the most amazing kits with our lovely Linda after this. Join us this Tuesday, we've got Alison Terry guiding us through an amazing new dappling block. We've done circles before, but this time we have got the most amazing hearts, we've got flowers, we've got stars, and to achieve this similar look using an industrial tool will cost over a hundred pounds. Oh my word, the price point on these is absolutely amazing. Don't miss out this Tuesday on Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guests we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. 
If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. From December the 1st, you've got to go to our website where we've got our special Let It Glow promotion. We've got over a thousand lines added with up to 70% off. It's going to be incredible. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. Happy Christmas! Keep your eyes peeled. You need to be looking out for that little mischievous L on a shelf. Do your girls like that concept? Oh, the stress. I know. Oh, God, did you know? I've just had a thought. I don't think I did it last night. Oh, let's hope Tom remembered. Let's hope Tom remembered. Well, the stress that this little elf caused. So you're looking at, this is just an example, not included. You're looking for this little, little, little mischievous elf. 
Um, so glamorous little elf, I think. <laughs> Very glamorous elf. Well, I've only got four fingers though. <laughs> <laughs> That one didn't count. It's from now. And they can be different sizes. It might be big. They might be small. Um, I'll try and help you out. <laughs> so you've seen zero now. It starts from now. There we go. Look out for those elves. Right, straight into your beautiful kits. Um, wow, Linda. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, pearls, <sighs> pearls and more pearls. But these are huge pearls. Mm, they are. Absolutely ginormous pearls. Look, and I love how these beautiful bicones are giving you that warmth. You can't quite see it on the, on the, on the camera right now, but there's a real blush of pink mm -hmm. within these pearls. And you don't just get the single strand, you're getting loads of them. So let me show you what you, what you get, and then obviously we can uh, really talk about uh, Linda's amazing designs. Big pearls, some of the biggest pearls actually we've brought to you in a very long time, even including the likes of, say, your South Sea. Um, yeah, these must be going up to, and I don't know if I can see them. Yeah, I thought so. 11 to 12 millimetres in their they size. Are so significant, yeah. Beautiful. Potato pearls, so they've actually got these lovely sort of... Uh, um, um, it's a little anomalies. Yes, oval shapes, aren't a, they? Yes. I, I'm a real freshman. I'm genuine. Girl. I'm not faux. I'm not synthetic. You're not just getting that, though. You're also getting your six to seven millimeter um, cultured pearls and you're getting your five to six millimeters. So you're talking about just here, well over a meter of genuine cultured pearls across these three beautiful strands. Loving the sizes of these as well. I mean, they create so much. I'm actually struggling to hold those because they're actually that large. Um, plus, you're getting, how am I gonna do this? If I swing the board in that direction, there we go. You're getting all of your lovely um, fuchsia pink, I'd describe that personally. Um, a fuchsia pink, uh, how they, oh, where is it? Sorry, bear with me. Oh, I haven't got it. This yet. is great TV, isn't it? They're like a bicone, aren't they? A yeah, little bit like your Swarovskis. Um, I don't see them on my uh, on my specification details, but I'm looking for the quantity, Ross, that we're actually getting of those. It's a strand. Is, is it a strand? Mm -hmm. Oh, a strand yeah. that we've literally cut up so you can see yeah. all of that lovely sparkle. Okay, so you're getting a full strand of those. Then you're getting your featherweight head pins, so you've got a big pack of those. Then you're getting your usual head pins, two toggle clasps, your crimps, um, your shepherd hooks, your jump rings, and also a length of your chain. A hundred on a strand in your bicones. Um, four millimetres in their size as well. So great for um, yes, doing... Excuse me, they're open both ends. So. Okay, don't drop a mel. No pressure, mm -hmm. no pressure. There we go. Oh, okay. And I've got a fair few of those have come off because I've cut the strand. There you go. Look at that. That's a beautiful colour of pink, mm, isn't it? It is, yeah, stunning. Definite fuchsia. Um, big pearls, you are beautiful. I'd agree. I'd agree. Do you like that? <laughs> It's great. Name. <laughs> yeah, they are just well. It's, I guess that was the inspiration with the name mm. of the kit. That song, forty nine pounds and ninety nine pence only. I, I, again, I think that's a great price for this strand on its own. But the fact that you are getting all three of them, you're getting your bicones, you're getting all of your essential findings and lengths of chain. Um, we're not stopping there. How many have we got of these? 79 so it's quite a limited kit um but that'll be down to the fact that you've got cultured pearls down to the fact that you've had um you've actually got um the size of these pearls as well i love those earrings linda they're beautiful thank you <laughs> oh, my oh dear me it's freaking me out now as well mm. <laughs> very weird um i'm like the best ventriloquist ever aren't i <laughs> if i start to do that yeah at the back there hello <laughs> hello everybody big I'm big, big pearls you are <laughs> <laughs> Lots of good now. £29.99 only. I mean, Linda, again, for that single strand, for the large strand, the 11 to 12 millimetres. Oh, I absolutely. mean, that, that for 29 We used to do strands like this for 29 99 Oh, definitely. Definitely. And considering the fact that pearls are getting more elusive now yeah. as well, you know, um, the supply 
Uh, well, demand is outweigh supply at the moment. I well, they were, it, they were unfortunately very much impacted during the pandemic because obviously yeah. they couldn't be harvested. Weather conditions as well. Weather yeah. conditions, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, the, the supply isn't there like it was once before um, before COVID. £29.99. pence. You can shop out. These are very popular. Even if you think, OK, the, I like the Vikings. I wouldn't use them with the pearls, vice versa. I mean, who doesn't love pearls? You, you could use these pearls alongside the jadeite that we had in the first hour, couldn't you? Um, in fact, that's probably what I would do. I've got another kit to bring you. It is available on pre-order. It is essentially a very similar kit got a slightly different, more of a Baroque pearl um, in the next uh, kit and also your blue bicones. Um, so you can shop ahead and pre-order on those. Know that there's only 20, uh, sorry, 76 of this kit though, 29.99. Um, let me just quickly, I'll quickly show you the pearls just so you can see the difference because they are quite, you yeah, know, quite different actually. Here we go. So you've got your lovely little Baroques with these. Again, full strands. Uh, full strands, large pearls, much more organic. You've got the blue of your bicones and again, the same uh, findings pack. So you can shop ahead on those as well. Talk us through, Linda, your beautiful designs, because as always, amazing creations. Well, um, it's, <sighs> pearls to me shouldn't be, and this is only my opinion, um, and I probably shoot myself in the foot a lot because these are quite sort of fancy designs, mm. I suppose, which you feel as a jewellery um, demonstrator on Jewellery Maker that you can't just restrand them. But I think the full beauty of pearls is just a knotted strand. And pearls of that size, that's exactly what I would do if I was yeah. purchasing the kit. From Jewelry Maker, when I received it, I would think immediately, yeah, just a beautiful, classic... Knotted strand. Knotted strand. Yeah. But obviously, um, I have to do something a little bit more... Not, I mean, they're not complex by any means, but a little bit more detailed. Yes, yeah, a little bit more different, I guess. Yeah. And, and having these little bicones uh, available, again, that can wake up your creativity to a degree mm. it makes you think a little bit more perhaps yes yeah. um which is a really good thing because once you've made your first piece i find that with all the kits i make up the first piece is the one i think more about get that one done and then everything else seems to follow flows yeah definitely um but one i i've kept them quite contemporary i suppose um probably quite linda type of jewelry this is um you know we all have our go-to's when we see or are given a certain gemstone we sort of all have our go-to so you know there might be a little bit of repetition but that doesn't matter because that repetition in technique can be changed in design yeah, yeah. Um, I, I totally agree. I, do, I, I would recognise that these were your pieces of jewellery as well. They've definitely got your style um, on them as well. And, and who doesn't love pearls, especially when they're of this size as well? Again, you can. this kit's for absolutely flying. You can shop ahead on the other kit as well. Maybe even mix them all together. Mm -hmm. um, so which of these lovely pieces are you going to demonstrate? Well, there's the necklace. Not the first one, but the, this that one? one there. Yep. That really has a um, sort of a, a real design to it, if you see what I mean. It's yeah. got the chunks of the twisted pearls and then the larger pearls um, being sort of the full stops. Yeah. And so that's more on design than anything, that particular one. Um, so we'll go through that one, I think. Lovely. Now, your deal of the day is coming up in about um, maybe about 20 minutes time. Amazing, amazing black opal that I also think would look absolutely stunning alongside these kits. It's the first thing I noticed when I came into the yeah. studio this morning. They're stunning. They would look fabulous with these kits. Take it away. Any questions that you have for our lovely Linda, do message in as well because we are live in the studio. So. Right. As I said, there are sort of sections to this particular necklace. You can see the twisted section sections then going up to um, those the sort of three pearl spacer as it were but first of all I did the um, the twisted sections 
So I took some 0.25 wire and I think we do have some in stock. We the do. Um, silver plated 0.25. The thing about pearls is inevitably um, they are very quite shallow drilled, mm. um, finely drilled I should say. So 0.25 is always a good gauge wire to have in your stash um, because invariably it'll always work with pearls of any size, even the larger pearls can have very shallow drill holes. Um, so 0.25, you can virtually guarantee, will go through all pearls. Yep. And is because pearls are quite lightweight um, and will also um, be strong enough to um, keep the pearls in the design that you want them to be in. Yeah. So all I've done is I've taken a length of 0.25 wire, uh, probably uh, in old money, it's about 24 inches I've taken. It's what you can manage um, is the best way to go. Then, taking my round nose pliers, I just got to create an anchor point. So I'm just going to do the good old wrapped loop, push forward, flick it around, take my pliers out, put it back where they fit, and then take the short end all the way around the stem three or four times and then pulling that oh I've just broken that because I pulled it too tightly so back to the drawing board back to my wrapped loop and obviously it is a fine wire so just as you can just see be it, when you do twist it around just be a little bit gentle on that mm. twisting because otherwise as you can see it can break but once it's in situ it won't and then just trim off that little bit of excess so you're just left with that anchor loop on the very end there then it's just a matter of taking i've got the smaller pearls here because i do want to highlight the bigger pearls so i've taken the smaller pearls and just take one right to that loop Okay, and then thread another one on. And this sort of technique is called um, tiara technique in the, in the business, as it is known as. So instead of using, we've only, I've just got this one wire here. Normally in the tiara t technique, you would have two going through it, but we've just, we're just going to be using the one. So I take that pearl within about a centimetre or just over from the pearl I've just threaded and then simply hold the pearl and bring that excess wire back to that first pearl and then twist again gently does it it doesn't matter at this stage um, as the tiara twist continues don't over worry about the shapes that it's forming at the moment because as it's on wire, you can do that when you've finished the length that you require. So I'm popping on another one now onto that residue. And then it's going to sort of sit underneath that first pearl because I want sort of sections of three now. So that one's going to sit underneath that first pearl and then thread on another. Gosh, these pearls are so smooth. I'm finding it difficult to find the hole. It's disappearing. Again, popping on and then coming on to the opposite side to that previous one. Again, about that centimetre or just above a centimetre. Bring that, this sort of spine wire back to that centre pearl and again, just twist. So you can, can, if you want that gap not to be quite so large, just continue to twist it very gently, but don't over twist because the wire can break. Uh, again, I'm going to put on another pearl and take this pearl up to that center pearl again. So I'm forming like a spine of pearls with the little branches either side. So we're getting little groups of three, but it always comes back to one 
to give it that sort of um, look of uh, strength. Pop on the next pearl, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and then again, holding that pearl that you've just threaded and then slide it down to about that centimetre again, pulling that wire back. You can always shorten it or lengthen it before you twist. Take it right back so that you've got a loop just under that pearl and twist again. And then again, I mean, this is something that once you've got the technique, you can design the, uh, your own um, sort of piece, if you see what I mean. But I have taken that next pearl to the base of that previous pearl and then taking it out again to that roughly about the same. If you do that sort of rough centimetre each time, you're going to have more or less the same sort of ladder going down. And then coming back to that centre pearl again, it will just, because it's a fine wire, if you've got that centre spine pearled up, it will um, strengthen the whole thing for you. So we've got that one back on. So again, now we're going on to the little sort of ladders at the side. But it's just it's just repetitive. Um, and that's what making jewellery quite often is. It's if you're if you're sort of doing a symmetric design, it is repetitive. So we've got our pearl on my right hand side now. So I've got to do its opposite number. So slipping it on and then about that centimetre again between those previous pearls, twist the wire back to that length of pearls that we're creating in the centre and twist. And that is how you create um, that sort of chunk of uh, twisted pearls on the design. So obviously mine are longer than that. I think I did about if we just count it from the outside pearls, I think I had about nine outside pearls, so it'll be about this long. But what I'll do now is just take off that excess there and just show you how it's finished again. So again, make sure that you have, when you, you do come to the end of whatever length that you want to create, then just make sure that you've got you cut the wire off or you've got, when you're coming to the end of it, you've got enough wire there to create your last loop to again anchor. So again, little wrapped loop. Take that around and snip off that residue. So now we've got that little section. Okay, this is a small section, I'll give you that, but this one could be a matching bracelet. It could also be an earring, I think. Yeah, could be an earring. I mean, this is the thing earring. about working through your um, pieces of jewellery. Like Al just said, it could be an earring. And then that gives you your next piece, if you see what I mean. Which yeah. Is... So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take actually the larger pearls. Just do, I'll just do... One to show you how to get a little bit of strand. Now I'm going to swap to a 0.4 now. Okay. We um, have got these gauges of wires as well. Mm -hmm. Just before you dive into your demo with um, with the mm -hmm. point four, um, we have got the other kit. So let's bring that to air so you can obviously uh, um, see everything that you're getting just here. So um, I did briefly kind of discuss. You've got the most beautiful pearls. I love the shape. I wouldn't personally describe these as potato pearls. For me, Baroque. these are Baroques, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Baroque pearls because they're much more organic. They tend to have sort of one flat surface and then you've got these, where they've kind of formed on the mollusk shell. And then you've got these really lovely undulations and curves and crevices, loads of luster with your Baroque pearls. That's ridiculous at 29 99 
Um, you're getting three strands. You're getting the head pins. You're getting your chain, your findings pack, and you're getting those beautiful blues. Do you know what is ridiculous, says Ross? What, Ross? Who wants this under £20? <laughs> I know somebody else that would put their hand up to that. I do. I know somebody else. <laughs> somebody else. Under £20? I, I mean, that, I'm, I'm happy for just one of those strands of pearls, but you're actually getting three. Look at the luster. They're like oh, positively almost metallic, aren't they? They are absolutely beautiful. And they're all um, cherry picked as well. What do you mean, hand picked? Well, they are, aren't they? They're all um, they're all similar in, um, in in the shape, in their um, obviously the size as well. So they are cherry picked for luster. Oh my well. goodness! Well, you can natural. see it. You yeah. can definitely see that wonderful quality. Again, so you're getting this side of the board down. You're getting the blue bicones, which come in a strand. You're getting the findings back. You're getting three of those amazing um, Baroque pearls. Your bicones are four mil, by the way, and there's 100 pieces on that one strand. That's, that's amazing. I mean, it's, for me, from the moment we started this morning show, and as if we're two hours in almost, that, it seems like we've just done clearance. Doesn't it? It feels... I mean, as well, I mean, you know, I, I said... Um, to go for the 0 0.25 yeah. on the uh, on the tiara twist piece in within the kits you've got the um, featherweight yep head pins. head pins so again featherweight head pins you always always need them in your stash if you're going to be making pearl jewelry because they will always fit your pearls yeah absolutely uh, 1999. Needless to say, they are absolutely flying out the door. I mean, they would, wouldn't they? They're genuine cultured pearls, baroque pearls, which we, I could probably count on one hand the amount of times I've brought baroque pearls to wear lately. True. We don't often see them, do we? How many? How many do we have? A hundred of this kit, um, but under twenty pounds. Obviously, they're flying out the door. And I, and I need to say this, but you know. I had a conversation recently saying the prices have gone up at Jewelry Maker. I really don't think so. I think they've gone completely opposite way. I think we offer a much broader spectrum of products these days. So there are different price points, but pearls are under 20 quid for three strands. Hello, Jane, lovely. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, lovely ladies. Ah, oh, bless you. Lovely to hear from you, Jane. Jane, I hope you're well. Um, what's that, sorry? What'd you say? Oh, you were talking to Kinga. I thought you were talking to me. Sorry. <laughs> um, hello to you. Elizabeth saying, morning, everyone. Stunning, gorgeous designs, Linda. Love them all. And that's Liz in Thanks, China. Thanks, Liz. Wear. Thank you so much. That's worth a lot. Thank you for that. Look at that. And as if you can make all of these pieces for, what, £20? Yeah. Um, message coming through from Nikki. Hi, Ellen and Linda and Fab JM team. Thank you for your kind words about the peacock. You made my Aww. day. You, they, it really is remarkable, Nikki. Absolutely remarkable. Well done, you. Um, amazing. Back to you. Sorry to right, interrupt. Okay, so I've now swapped. But first of all, I check that the wire that I'm going to choose will fit my pearls. Otherwise, I go back to my 0 0.25. But the 0.4 will go through the larger pearl. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to swap to that now, just because the three pearls that are going to come from here will have this length of the twisted pearls around it. So we'll take a little bit of stress. So again, I'm going to do my loop of choice, which is my wrap loop, but I'm going to only doing it halfway. So you do it to what I call my question mark stage and then pop that through the loop I've created on the tiara twisted piece. Pop my pliers back where they fit and then again, twist a little neck down the spine of the wire, take off that small piece of excess. Um, don't throw away, have a little box by you when you're using wire and keep these little off, off cuts. You might think you will never ever use them, but you will, um, particularly with the neck, with the 12 o'clock kits with resin and things. You're, you can use those little bits of wire within your resin. So I'm just gonna pop on the larger pearl, which is an absolute stunner. Bring that right up to the connecting point. 
and then create another loop and twist around. Always take the wire as, as far distance as you can from the plier to sort of swirl it around, otherwise you will get a build up on top of the pearl, which actually can look quite nice if it's done uniformly. Just cut off my excess and then again a repetition. Halfway stage on the wrapped loop, pop it through the loop that you've just created, pop your pliers back in and twist around the stem. Um, I did three twists so I will do three twists on that one just to keep you know, it might seem sort of strange to think, well, does it matter if I do two or three twists? It probably doesn't, but if you're sort of really into um, your detail of your design, it's always best when you're doing wraps around loops to keep them uniform because yeah. they can stand out if yeah. you don't, which can be quite annoying to you, not from the recipient or... No, I don't think yeah, anybody like, else would notice, no, would they? But, um, it's always best to keep it as symmetrical in design technique as you can. Again, wrap loop right on top of that pearl and twisting around the three times. So then it's just repetition on a theme. You put, pop on another pearl, that's if you want to do this design, but obviously you can change this design a lot. I mean, that could now be, to be truthful, that could be a pendant. Yeah, lovely. So um, it's a matter of then, when you've finished, you can look more closely at your design. And I know there that I can twist that a little bit more because I can see a gap. So I just twist that gently, so I don't want to break the wire and then push those into place. And then we'll need another pearl there in, on my design, large pearl, and then create another length of your tiara twist detail. Um, and what I did on mine, I had two tiara twists um, symmetrically each side, and then a longer piece that, that I can curve around because it's on wire. It, it'll, you can curve it mm -hmm. um, however you like um, and, and then take it all the way around and then I, on mine, I put some chain because it got quite near the point of where I wanted to attach a clasp. Um, I put a little length of chain on that wrap loop there. You can put it via a jump ring. Same on the other side. So. It just makes it easier for anybody when you're doing up the necklace to do it on your own. If you're on your own, you haven't got anybody to help do up the piece of jewellery. But if you have got chain up there, A, it's more comfortable on the back of the neck. And also it's much easier because you've got more give in the chain than you would have if you took the pearls right. Yeah, the yeah it might get caught in your hair, I suppose, yeah, as well. Might easily. It, so. Yeah, so um, it's as simple as that. It's just literally... With jewellery making, when you've been doing it for um, a little while, and I do mean a little while, a few weeks even, um, it's using techniques time and time again, but using them to format a different design. Mm. Um, that's the joy of jewellery making. You've got a consistency of technique, but within that you can create different designs. So it's not always the same no, absolutely. design that you're creating, but you are using those well-trusted techniques. Absolutely. Linda, as always, stunning, stunning, stunning jewellery. Um, and it just got me thinking whilst Linda was demonstrating, you know, we've got diamonds coming up in the show that would look amazing with mm, these kits. We've cool. also got all the, you know, jade. We've, got, we've basically been given the keys to the jade vault. So... Um, uh, we've also got your deal of the day, which is coming up in a few moments' time, the most amazing black Ethiopian opal. Now, just before we dive into that, I have one 
Olmec Jade opportunity to bring you. Do, two reasons, basically. The popularity of the round Olmec Jade strand that we brought you in the eight o'clock hour and the fact that you can't get hold of it now. Um, also, the fact the the rondelles that we had from Burma. So two separate auction opportunities created an absolute frenzy this morning. Um, we thought, right, OK, well, we can actually we can actually kind of tick both boxes here. We've got one other strand of Olmec blue jadeite completely and utterly natural we've got a big quantity well decent quantity of this as well all relative i guess to um uh, to this gemstone and it's in the smooth rondelles that if you were with us this morning you would have certainly heard me saying we rarely ever 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 get and i personally think i love the rounds don't get me wrong i love all the other cuts but if I had to choose just one shape, it would be the rondelles. I, I love it. I just think, think you get this amazing linear smoothness. Um, from the lost, the lost treasure of Guatemala, literally decades, we saw artifacts, ancient artifacts that were, 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 were demonstrated and displayed in the Smithsonian Museum. Here it is. So we knew that Olmec Jadeite literally existed. But what we didn't know was where where it was. We knew the story of your Spanish conquistadors, the gifts that were exchanged uh, with the Mayan people and the Spanish, um, literally gifting each other each morning the most amazing, amazing treasures. But this is a material that the Mayans, ancient Mayans literally hold so, so, so dear. There can be no greater gift than Olmec Jadeite. Here we go, and I can read it to you. Cortes and Montezuma were accustomed to playing with uh, native games, um, which in many ways resembles chess. It was their further custom at the close of each day to present each other with some gift. Um, at the close of one day's game, the Aztec monarch presented Cortes with several large discs of gold and silver, handsomely worked. Cortes was greatly pleased and so expressed, um, so, and so expressed himself. Uh, Montezuma smiled and said, the gift tomorrow shall be such that today's gift will seem in value and preciousness um, when compared with it as no more than a single stone tile on the roadway. The royal treasurer of Montezuma brought in on a, um, a golden slaver the royal gift, four small carved jade beads. The bitter disappointment of Cortes was so great that he couldn't, could scarcely conceal it. So he was disappointed. But that's the reason why we tell you this story. We didn't really get it then. We no. didn't understand jadeite then, um, you know, literally hundreds and hundreds of years ago. I can continue, the, uh, but Europeans had quite different priorities, gold and better known jewels above all emeralds. Thus Mayans uh, kept their minds secret and Spaniards disregarded this. Guards of this mine died out and the location of the mine was forgotten. When Europeans later found the beautiful jadeite artifacts of Mayans and other no uh, local cultures, they did not have any knowledge about the source of this stone. They were not known, uh, they, sorry, they were not known finds of jadeite in this region, and some scientists even considered that jadeite was imported here from China. A closer chemical and structural uh, analysis seemed to testify. The Olmec blue jadeite is different and most likely comes from another place. More careful geologists though noted that the conditions during the formation of rocks can be very diverse even in smaller areas. So fast forward, if you like, to a more current day in the 19, uh, 1980s, um, a couple of gem enthusiasts um, had followed this story, had read into this story and were, were excited about the opportunity of rediscovering it to the world. This couple were called the Ridingers. And here they are photographed here. This literally, the, this couple literally are the inspiration, by the way, to Indiana Jones, mm -hmm. which I think is absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. In 1974, Jay Ridinger was on a trial for the lost source of Mayan jade. He ran across the uh, Smith, Smithsonian publication, Mineralogical Studies of Guatemalan Jade, written in 1957 by William Foshag. The curator of geology at the Smithsonian, Washington, D.C. Foshag published a map which indicated X marks the spot. Riding with his wife, Mary Lou, traveled to Guatemala and found the jade source exactly where he had said, situated it in the Montague Valley. Uh, this is on a tectonic plate boundary between North American tectonic plate and the Caribbean tectonic plate. Now, make no doubt about it, that 
X marks the spot is, is, is not like a childlike map. This is covering a vast area of Guatemalan jungle. So this is, I don't want anyone to, because when I first read that, it, was, it almost sounds like you could program it into your sat nav and pop along there. It's not that straightforward. Dense Guatemalan um, uh, uh, jungle would have had to have been scoured. And, and they did eventually find it um, and relaunch it to the world. But they didn't believe, nobody believed them at first. You know, they'd heard about this story. We had the artifacts that were, that were in, um, in the museums, but nobody believed that the Ridingers had actually found it. They announced their find to the world. No one believed them. They were laughed at and called crazy until 1987. National Geographic article Jade came out and they were vindicated. At the time of the Spanish invasion, the jade sources were lost because of the reverence uh, um, the Mayans showed for jade. Was con I can never say that word. Idolatry. Was con considered idolatry. Uh, thank you. I can't say it. Um, and the source were abandoned. 450 years later, the riding has re-established the jade industry in Guatemala. In Guatemala, sorry. Um, so we are talking about something that was had been spoken about for literally centuries and has only been relaunched to the world recently. This is arguably the rarest source of jade in the world. It, it only in Guatemala forms in this very distinctive Olmec blue jade. And this is one of the few strands we have left in the entire business. Due to the popularity of the Olmec blue strand at eight o'clock, due to the popularity of the rondelles, we have a, a I say quantity, but it's not huge, it's never going to, it's not going to be like, we're never going to be able to offer you a hundred of Guatemalan jade. It's just not possible. I've got 40 available. It's been on air once before. I'm going to bring you the remaining quantity right now. The graphics are live. Don't hesitate. If you love Guatemalan jadeite, then you need to be quick. Immediately three, sold, four, there we go. That's how quickly and in demand this gemstone is. Look, you can look at the Ridingers website themselves. You know, they will bring you Olmec Jadeite there. You can get some lovely pieces of jewelry. And, and I, by the way, could you make that? I know you could. I know you could. It's just a simple lobster clasp and beading with what looks like some French wire. But look at the quality of the Olmec Blue Jadeite. Do you notice how it's quite opaque? It doesn't have that much translucency. They're still beautiful and still incredibly valuable, of course. There's two of these uh, of this ring available at 1,250, or rather it was when we first looked. The, you're getting better translucency, again, completely and utterly natural color, in one of the most exciting cuts, I think. Even if we were to stop here, it's not unrealistic, is it? When you consider the story, when you consider that this is, this is the only known source of blue jadeite in the world. And the world's a huge area. Exactly. It? Look at that color. Ross, can I, can I, tell me what you're taking this to? Wow. Okay. Who loves Guatemalan jade? If you do, I want, join us. You don't have to check out. We want to see you on the web. See you on the phone lines. Just, you don't have to check out yet. Because the 40 quantity, which are already being allocated right now, the lucky, the successful few, you're about to get one of the best deals on Olmec Guatemalan jade, I think, that we've ever done for this level of quality. Look at this recording. You know... This recording has got, it's that distinctive, almost grandidurite, teal blue color, which forms nowhere else in the world. You don't get this blue in, in Burma. Well, you definitely don't now because mining has ceased. You don't get this blue in, in Canada. Um, or British Columbia, or any of the other known sources of jadeite around the world. It is solely from this amazing mine. I'm going to say this in capital letters. If we were to stop here, that would be absolutely mega. Please remember the rarity of this gemstone and the fact that you could literally just restrand this in the most basic, simple techni uh, techniques. Have it insured, and I would insure it. I would definitely recommend that. Please know this is no reflection of the true value or worth. The next price movement 
is still not where we are closing. But I do think this is going to be an incredible call to action for many of you. It is going lower than what you're going to see next. And you've got split play, Ross. Not where we are stopping. Not where we are stopping. Can you see why I said this is going to be an amazing call to action for people? They're going to realise, hang on a second, this is all met Guatemala and Jedi, certified completely and utterly natural. Uh, well, that doesn't normally go into a double figure price tag, certainly not in a strand. This might well be, I don't know, it might well be the only strand we have in a double figure price point um, in our vault. The, the, the one we brought you earlier on this morning was, what, 199 And that sold out. Amazing. And that's an amazing, amazing deal. In a strand, this has to be the lowest price we've ever done historically here at Jewelry Maker. Know that it is no reflection of the true value or worth. You've got your 0% interest split pay. I absolutely adore rondelles, don't you? Well, clearly you do, because I can see you all there. I just love that wonderful linear. It's just seamless, isn't it? It's, I, I don't know, it just seems to have that wonderful flow. Silkiness. Yeah, it does. It, it, it complements the luster of the gemstone. Half the stock's gone. I had 40. You can tell in my voice how excited I am. Today, 60 carat certified natural type A old neck blue Guatemalan jadeite at 79 pounds. It's, it's, it's amazingly way too low. Way, 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 way too low. We're over allocated. It's just down to who, who makes their confirmations first. 19 remain. Sonia, well done. You didn't wait, lovely. You were straight on in there. London, Swansea, Buckinghamshire's got two. West Midland, Surrey, Carol, Rupel's got two. Susan, Valentina, Patricia, West Midlands, Gigi, Heather. Well done. I am going to wait on confirmations. You can still do it. Don't let that quantity put you off. You know, you can literally call that free phone, telephone number or or literally join us on the app or the website. It has to be on a confirmation. So whilst I can see loads of people with it in their baskets, it's not theirs there yet. It's not theirs until they confirm. You still only pay the one post and packaging. It's, 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 I always say it's completely pointless adding something into your basket. We don't, do, and we all do it, don't we? We all do it. But when it comes to something as rare as all neck jade eye, it, 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 it should, yeah, it's pointless. You need to make that, you need to sort of follow through with that confirmation. We are into the single figures. Heather, Patricia, Surrey, uh, Kent, Louise, Kent, new customer, Lynette, Teresa, Manchester, Susan in Essex. Good luck to you. I've got people on the phone lines as well. Down to the final nine. Sorry, seven out of the first 40. If, oh, Alison, if you press your option one, you can do it. Louise, Maker, Kent. Uh, Michael, I can see you there. Louise, see, look how quick that was. Michael, you can do it as well. Alison, you're in the process of doing it now, discussing to our call centre. Um, anonymous maker, I can't see your name as of yet, but um, Fiona, you've done it. Well done. I've got four. Four left. So over allocated. It's just, I think, the most exciting colour of jade. Totally. Um, I mean, going back on the sort of fear of boring you all, but going back to my little trip, I've just come back from in you would you could never York. bore us um, I wanted to go to Grand Central Station I've been there before at this time of the year and they have a fantastic holiday market right and um, I wanted to go back again I mean it wasn't the drawer of the champagne and oyster bar that was like oh. next door mm. it was the the holiday market mm. so uh, we go there and as is normal in American and, and British um, craft shows, markets, whatever you want to call them, there are more jewellery yep. um, little concessions than there are anything else. So obviously I've got this huge interest in handmade jewellery uh, and every single one on offer was all handmade. I finally got to the very last one and I noticed some jade there and I hadn't seen any at all prior to that. And when I actually got there, there was this lady who was asking um, the lady who was selling them, well, it was a, a lady and a gentleman who was selling them, um, about what was that particular um, piece of jewellery. And she said, it's, um, it's jadeite. She gave them some information on it. 
and um, it was something like $480, I think it was, and mm. it was um, a bracelet. And this woman was sort of quite taken aback, and she went, gosh, it, that's if the American form of gosh, yeah. which wasn't gosh. Um, and, and then the oh. lady immediately said, but this is, this is a, not only a precious gemstone, and the woman interrupted then and said, no, isn't it semi-precious? Oh, no, no, oh, gosh, no, no. no. This is precious, precious yeah. um, gemstone. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And, and, and we're still learning, though, in the West, aren't we? We're yeah. still learning um, about, about jadeite. But, yeah, this is one of, internationally, worldwide, one of the most valuable and rare gemstones, and, and Guatemalan jade on a different level. Now, due to the popularity of this, and then we haven't got any more strands. That's it. That's it. Done. Um, I've got two carvings I can bring. Can you imagine? I don't think that that reaction would have occurred if it was Guatemalan jade. No, it don't. I think visually you can it. see it. Exactly. But um, I mean, me being me, I sort of got myself involved in this conversation between the people behind the counter and, and this American lady who was contemplating whether or not she should buy it. So I sort of got involved a little bit with it and gave her the information that I'd learned. And um, she ended up buying three pieces of jade jewellery there. And then I was offered a job. <laughs> Amazing. Thank goodness you, you turned it down. Thank goodness. Otherwise, you can imagine that phone call. I'm staying in New York. <laughs> no. Look at this. Now, there is no way near the quantity of what we've just done on the strand, quite clearly. Um, I mean, that whenever we say, and I, it's not, these aren't my words, this is literally quotes that I've, I've, I've not stolen, but you uh, taken off the uh, Sotheby's themselves. He discussed that, and this is jadeite as a whole, from whether it be Burma, whether it be Guatemalan. Here is a miracle of nature created by Mother Nature under the most extreme and geologically rare conditions. Mm -hmm. That's why this gemstone is rare. Firstly, historically, it's got an amazing, amazing story to it as well. But when you take something that's this rare, this valuable, this precious, even it's in its boulder, and then place it into the most skillful artist, you have two incredible factors. You have an incredibly valuable gemstone and you have a work of art. This is exactly what I'm holding right now. A work of art. There are 10 in existence, 200. Ask yourself this, how many Guatemalan jadeite carvings do we have? Do you notice how this is almost three dimensional? Because just here you've got the flowers. Can you see that? The really beautiful flowers, um, which, by the way, are always on the left. Flower, well, not always, but the, if they're on the left, it's, a, it's, it's meaningful um, of beauty. Well, this is another thing to learn about, um, about gemstones, really. It's not just learning about the gemstone, and in particular with jade, it's, it's learning about the whys and, and why nots, isn't it? Uh, it's fascinating. You know, when you get them home, you can do that research. Now, bear in mind that these are literally one of a kind. They are hand-carved. They'll all be one of a kind. So I've got one here. It's got flowers up the side. You've got the la they're definite landscapes. You've got the big odors in there. You've got the rivers, all the detail. But you can see immediately the difference between the one on the recording as well. They're all worked of art, works of art, all created by master carvings, 10 in existence. One of the few ever master carvings that we've done. I think it is me as well, um, actually, Ross. I don't think we've actually done a master carving in Olmec Jade. Have we? I don't think so. I don't think so. I know we've got very few in the vault. It does tend to be Burmese jade. Um, so if you've got a Marlin jade, you know, considering the rarity and the, the size that you're getting in that beautiful blue, um, I, it's understandable to only have 10 or nine now. Well done. Get your certificate of authenticity. <laughs> Ross says, I've gone low on this first price crash. 
uh, that's an end price, right? Because you could, when we're carving something like this, and in Burmese jade, it forms in vast boulders. They're huge. They, they're, they, they're absolutely huge. So obviously you've got a, an amazing amount of loss during the cutting process and the carving process. I don't know if that's the same when it comes to your Guatemalan jade, but a huge amount of the blue Olmec, you know, one of the rarest colors that exist in jadeite, will have been cut away from this. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why you rarely ever actually get the carvings in your Guatemalan jade, because of the loss. You lose so much of it during that process. I had 10. All, everyone will be unique. Every single work of art, Guatemalan jadeite landscape will be different. So none of us will get the same. I'm saying us like I'm going to be able to join you, I wish. Um, we're, there's a lot of you there. L Rutland, you've got yours. I've got London. I've got Scottish borders. And I've got another greater London. There are six of them left. Uh, does jade come in pink and blue? Here's a question written to, asked to the GIA recently. Jade dye is available in a wide range of colours. In rare cases, some could be considered pink. However, this material is referred to in the trade as lavender. Rare examples of Guatemalan jade in colour do exist only in this one location. There are six left. I can't believe that we've got a carving in Guatemalan jade. There's a reason why it tends to be in your, more your cabochons or your beads. Because you'd have, the loss in something like this would have been significant. And we have to pay for that loss, of course. It's huge, yeah, 220 carats. Six of these remain. We only had 10, it is drilled. Different designs, all unique to you. This one's got almost uh, um, like the hibiscus flowers. Can you see just on the left-hand side? You've got the pagoda just down here. You've got the mountain range. I'm promising you this, a big price crash. Nobody's paying 499, nobody's paying 349. Today on split pay. Oh, goodness. Golly. Golly, golly. You know that I, I would imagine that that piece of Guatemalan jadeite has been carved with the techniques of century-old techniques. Yeah, it's passed down still done with hand in an abrasive decades. manner. Yes, exactly. Still done like uh, in an abrasive manner. Originally, it was um, um, sand glued to a stick. And they used to literally just rub and rub and rub and rub and rub and then polish it with wet bamboo. Um, obviously, we've got, you've got slightly more advanced tools these days, obviously, but it's still done in that same abrasive manner. Mm -hmm. yeah, consider that when you're looking at the detail on something like this. I mean, it's phenomenal. It's just literally 3D, isn't it? You know, it's amazing. It, it's, it's amazing to have that chunk of gem mm. and then to look in and see this landscape which is so... I couldn't draw that, Linda. No. I couldn't, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't draw that, let alone carve it into, exactly. a, into, into a, a rare, precious gemstone. You know, the, the, the skill that goes into something like this, literally, is, is just amazing. Um, I've got one left within wow. the vault. Corinne, well done. Sandra, Melanie, uh, Rutland. Uh, uh, there's Susan, Moira, London, Melanie, Janice, Barbara. People on the phone lines. I've got literally one remaining. Um, and to my knowledge, Susan in Essex, I can see you there as well. Um, uh, to my knowledge, this has got to be one of maybe a couple of, of Guatemalan Olmec jadeites carvings that we actually have within our grass. Um, I'll leave that last one with you just because of time. Okay. One more. I love this. Not everybody wants the big looks, do they? I know that your uh, beautiful daughter, she doesn't like big chunky jewelry, does no, she? No, she doesn't. She just, she's errs on the side of, um, Discreet, let's yes. say. That's the word. Delicate. Yeah. This is perfect. Yeah. Perfect. But also, how about, like we saw the lovely Tiara Twist demonstration, how about these wonderful little foliage blooms, I don't know, interspersed amongst your amazing creations? One on a single chain. Ten carats. I mean, this isn't to be sniffed at. This is a ten carat. Wow. Oh, it's pretty, isn't it? 
absolutely beautiful. I mean, that to me is a leaf, okay, but as it's standing there, it's like a, a little fat Chinese scholar. Oh. Uh, yeah, and also kind of like a wheat. Yeah. A wheat bud. Yeah, and the flower. thing is as well that these will all have significant meanings mm -hmm. in Asia, you know, so you can, you can look at that and research that. I know the sort of pods have got a lot of significance. Family. This is a, um, a variation on that. Look at how beautiful that is. This has also got, can you see, uh, and they are t completely natural, uh, um, um, not treated or pollen impregnated. This one's actually got a presence of the, um, of the red jadeite running yeah. through. Now, I'm going to just re repeat what my um, lovely producer Ross has said. El, this is just wrong on so many levels. I don't know how to explain it. We didn't bring it to air the first time round. We will absolutely match it because I mean, it's ridiculous. That, I mean, if you love this, imagine just on earrings, on a lovely little shepherd hook or on a nice little delicate sterling silver chain or imagine them in amongst a tassel. Oh. £79... For a 10 carat solitaire of Guatemalan type AJ. How many have we got there, Roscoe? 22. Okay, that's more than I was expecting. But there is a clock on the screen. Okay, now tell me again. What are you doing, Russ? Oh, shall we? Because these would be lovely if you could get like three in a tassel. Just three of them in a beautiful moving tassel or if you like, just on a single chain um, and a pair of earrings. What a beautiful suite of jewellery that would be. You shouldn't be able to get Olmec Jadeite at anywhere near 70, double figures, full stop. It shouldn't be at double figures. Did you see any on the Ridinger's website at double figures? Did you see any at triple figures? Yes, yes, there was one. Still 500 odd dollars though, wasn't it? I don't know the carat weight of that, does it say? 1,250. It's not as translucent, it's not as beautifully carved, and it's definitely 100% not under 50 pounds. Lariat necklace ends, lovely idea, Alison. Absolutely beautiful. At the end of a mala, amazing. I think they'd be really nice in earrings as well um, because they're not too large. Uh, you know, it's not often that we actually get to bring you jade out from any location in sort of these smaller, uh, smaller sizes. Yeah, I love that idea. £49, completely and utterly natural. Worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity with any jade out purchase. I will always recommend that um, because look, if you if you do want to sell something, if you want to maybe pass it on to future generations, um, I guess, and I've learned this, mustn't assume that they know. They know what, what, what we know. Um, so, for example, Tom wouldn't have a clue what this is if I was to place it in his hand. But if I actually gave the story and gave the certificate, then he'd appreciate the value of, the, uh, of its rarity. £49. I had a quantity, but they're absolutely flying out the door. Well done. Well done. Well done. Now, I know the deal of the day is delayed, but it's worth the wait. Um, we have just found one item because we will get essentially Ross was given the keys to the Jadeite vault today. It's mm, nice, isn't it? I don't think he'll ever be given the keys again, do you? Probably he? not, no. I've not seen this before, Ross. Ye listed as yellow. Yeah, because I can see that. It's got both. It's got the blue and the yellow. Sorry, my I I've literally only just seen this for the first time. Oh, it's the Buddha, isn't it? He's the, he's the wealth. He's, yeah, he's literally sat on um, a pouch of money. So he's a symbol of prosperity. You've got a Buddha of happiness, a Buddha of luck, Buddha of prosperity, Buddha of wealth. This is 20 carats of... Sorry, 25 carats of Olmec jadeite, both in the, uh, sorry, of jadeite, Guatemalan jadeite, both in the Olmec and the yellows. So you've got that beautiful blend. Contrast is beautiful. I've never seen that before. Mm -hmm. This is the last off finale of your Guatemalan jade. Um, this is new to me. He's gorgeous. He's holding, can you see he's literally holding the pouch of money? 
So um, it would be fantastic if you want to give it to a nearest and dearest. I don't, I, I'm trying, where do I hold him? Because I don't want to put the tweezers across his face. There you go. So, um, you know, if you're gifting maybe to your family, um, your loved ones. Um, yeah, he's the Buddha of uh, prosperity and wealth. 25 carats. But for the first time ever, I've actually seen the fusion of the colour. Why are we doing a closeout deal on this? Because we've got 70. Is that a reason? <laughs> it is today. Have you ever seen what is essentially bicolored Guatemalan jade? Mm -mm. No, not me. Not. Does it have all those quality criteria that we look for? Does it have translucency? Does it have that fine grain texture? If it didn't, it would be quite opaque. I'm sorry to say this. It would be like that ring that we've shown you on the website. Right, so the ring is quite coarse. Do you see where I'm coming from? The, the, the crystal structure is coarse. You get it with like quartzite, for example. I'm not saying that is quartzite, of course. But this is a fine grain texture. That's why it's not opaque. Plus you've got your amazing blend of colors. And then you have the artistry of the carving. I've got 70 available. I've never seen this piece before. Do you want to do a closeout deal on one of the world's rarest, certainly most exciting sources of jadeite? Probably one of the, the, the greatest sources of jadeite now. Now the Burmese mine is closed. Now, I want to see at least 50 of you on the phone lines at this next price crash because at this next price crash, that's when you're going to realize just how low Ross is, is taking this, piece of, uh, this piece of art. And that's exactly what it is. You know, go right the way back to those ancient pieces of Guatemalan jade that were displayed in the Smithsonian Museum for, 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 for decades, literally. They were, they were found, they knew it existed, we just didn't know where. When you look at those ancient artifacts and you think, obviously, with the development, I guess, of, uh, of tools that uh, um, the master carvers are using, the level of intricacy that now can be, be applied um, to a, a gemstone like this. Again, it's almost wafer-like thin. Um, when the light actually gets behind it, you can see the curve of his cheeks. You can see the clutch of his hands around, around, the, around the money bag. Sorry, Ross, what have you done? $49.99. No way. No way. Why is there not 50 people on the phone lines? Yes, it, what? I, I, sorry, this has shocked me. I didn't know this was included in today's show. Ross, genuinely, I thought this was going to close at about 149, and that would be, that would be absolutely amazing. Literally, I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a collector as well, um, as much as so many and familiar names I can see on the call screens and on the web as well. Did you expect it to go under £50? Absolutely not. Well, it shouldn't have done anyway. Um, we're going to do another 60-second clock. Because I think, I think I've shocked, well, not me. It's not me. I can't take any credit for this. This is all Ross. Ross has shocked us all. You've certainly shocked me, Ross. He says, when I say close out deal, I absolutely mean it, L. So 60 seconds, if we're going to justify even a little penny off that price tag, which is already way too low, we need to, really, Ross, we need to sell out of that 70. Uh, you know, we can't just be having a, a handful of them going. That would be just ridiculous. The rarity of this opportunity, the fact that it is, well, personally, the only bicoloured Guatemalan jade I, I've ever brought to air. It is bicoloured. You've got your yellow and your Olmec blue. Uh, Rutland, Carol, Helena, Geraldine, Karen, Sonia, London, Karen, uh, Janet, Julie, Karen, uh, Christine, Tony, Carolyn, you're with us as well. I'd be multi-buying at this price tag. It is drilled, literally, Lark said not on some leather cord. The Buddha of, uh, of prosperity and wealth, who doesn't want to gift that to their nearest and dearest? Do you know, his, uh, his face changes from like, on that one then you can see the full face of, of Buddha, like adult Buddha, and then when it comes around, you've got the baby face in there. Yes, he does, doesn't he? Yeah. He, he looks quite happy and cheery in one angle. Yeah. yeah. Look at that detail, though. All done by hand. Incredible. You've shocked me, Ross. 
clearly a brand new low price. Yeah, never been anywhere, never been anywhere near thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. And I don't think anybody, in all honesty, was expecting that. Were you? I, I certainly wasn't. I was expecting this to be because it's bi colour. It's bi coloured type A jade I, from Guatemala. You know, literally relaunched to the world just a couple of decades ago. There are 29 of these left. Never in a million years would I have said 34.99. In fact, you know what, Ross? You, because you took it so low, you could have played tricks with me then. You could have said, L, guess the price. And I, there's never, I never would have said that low. Never, never, never would I have said that low. It would have been probably 149. I think that would have been my price. And I would have been absolutely amazing. It's, you know, it's bigger than the leaf by 15 carats. And we've gone 15 pounds lower. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. I love this. As, and I love the Buddha. I love all the Buddhas. I'm always fascinated by Buddhas and the story and the beliefs associated. But this... Um, He's a bit different. We haven't had him before, I don't think. We haven't had the Buddha of prosperity and wealth. Look at him clutching his little money bag. Yeah. Love that. Down to the final 12. Caroline, Jeannie, Julie, Gigi, West Midlands, sorry. Uh, Berkshire, Kent, Somerset, Julie. Hello to you, Rutland, Maker, London, County Durham, Helena, Margaret, Paula, Shirley, uh, Wiltshire, Gloucestershire, Julian, Tyne and Ware. Shirley, you've just got yours. Surrey, Chantal, Hampshire, Isle of Wight, Karen, Carolyn. Make sure you check out your baskets. Keep on dialing through. We're down to the final seven. Your dealer day is coming up just after the break. Lovely jewelry makers. We've still got loads to squeeze in between now in the top of the hour your master class is all about resin road woohoo brand new molds we're very excited about that and that's going to be a lounge hour so we'll literally load everything don't go anywhere lovely jewelry makers we'll turn after this Join us this Tuesday, we've got Alison Terry guiding us through an amazing new dapping block. We've done circles before, but this time we have got the most amazing hearts, we've got flowers, we've got stars, and to achieve this similar look using an industrial tool will cost over a hundred pounds. Oh my word, the price point on these is absolutely amazing. Don't miss out this Tuesday on Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight, or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker.
From December the 1st, you've got to go to our website where we've got our special Let It Glow promotion. We've got over a thousand lines added with up to 70% off. It's going to be incredible. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. A little later than originally planned, but so worth the wait. Do you know, sometimes gemstones need absolutely zero introduction. Sometimes all we need to do is just bask in their splendor. And that's precisely all we have to do when it comes to black opal. Most people, oh my goodness me, Seriously, firstly, they're faceted. We don't get faceted opal. Uh, do you know, never mind here at Jewelry Maker, uh, on our sister channel, Gemporia, we don't get black faceted opal really ever, 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 ever. Because, I mean, you think of this as a blank canvas. When we, imagine you, you are sat in the chair of the lapidarist. You have a, a, a rough stone, which is basically a blank canvas. And if you put two little facets on that, on that gemstone, you hide the play of color. If you put too much, then you're cutting it away. So normally what they will do is leave it in a cabochon or leave it in a plain round, because then with that domed effect, which of course these are, these are rounds, um, you're always really gonna see that play of color. But when you start risking facets as well, the potential is that you lose all of that. But my goodness me, the Lepidurus that has embarked on that challenge has delivered tenfold, don't you think? What is black opal? Because most people think that opal solely comes in that sort of more traditional, I don't know, sort of white opal that you might find, say, in Cuba PD um, or Lightning Ridge. Well, opal comes in um, from a few, few locations around the world. I think the most recognized these days are, of course, Australia and Ethiopia. But Ethiopian opal is, is actually a baby in the opal market. Um, Australian opal dominated um, literally for, for, for centuries until within our generation, Ethiopian opal was actually discovered. Um, it was in the 1990s that a deposit was found um, literally and they used to abseil down vertical cliffs, working in little, little groups, little teams to source this amazing gemstone. Now that main, main uh, deposit 
mined out, completely and utterly mined out, and without any, without zero investment from any large corporation. It didn't have De Beers behind it. It didn't have Tanzanite One behind it. Just solely on its beauty has it raised itself to the, uh, to, to the pinnacle of success and desire uh, that we know right now. So consider that for a second. You know, Tanzanite, when it was found, it had Tiffany's behind it. Had Tiffany's and Co. to launch to the world. Everybody knew about Tiffany's, and all of a sudden, this gemstone was like, "Oh my goodness!" Everyone wants Tanzanite because it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. But no brand, no brand really had uh, was responsible for launching this. The gemstone put itself on the map. We are talking about, make no doubt about it, one of the world's rarest varieties of opal, but. Particularly, I'm particularly fond of Ethiopian opal for many reasons, because what, once upon a time, when it was first found, it was considered, if you like, the underdog. But actually, I've always preferred it. And I think I know I'm not alone because Ethiopian opal, and I'm talking generically here in any any color, because it has a level of translucency, it's far less opaque than the uh, some of the examples that you might see in Lightning Ridge or in Cooper PD, um, because it has that sort of jelly crystal structure. Uh, when you've got quality Ethiopian opal, you see the play of color right the way through to the heart, not just the dusting across the surface of it. Um, but black opal in particular, very rare, very rarely found. There are, and I'm just going to talk to you, uh, show you, this is an article, a couple of paragraphs that have been taken from a very reputable um, gem guide. Um, and they literally say the many colors and types of opals. Well, there are five major types of opal white or light opal, which is what I was just discussing, translucent to semi-translucent with a play of color against white or a light gray background called body color. The opal specimen seen in uncut gem appears likely to be a representation of white opal, despite its description as a black opal in the, firm, in the film. Um, I'm just gonna quickly talk about that for one second because well, so you haven't had Tiffany's and Co. literally sort of throw this to the world. The movies can play a massive part in um, highlighting the desirability of a gemstone. So we saw it with Amalite, with Kate Winslet's film. We saw it with Amber, with Jurassic Park. And on the back of the Adam Sandler film, Uncut Gems, which if you've ever seen it, um, I think you'd all agree it's actually, uh, I was quite anxious watching it the whole way through. It's quite an uncomfortable watch in all honesty. Um, but on the back of this Adam Sandler film, Ethiopian opal was literally the gemstone of the moment. And it still is to this day. But I'm just going to go back to that paragraph because then it starts to talk about black opal. Black opal, translucent to opaque. Now, ideally you want translucent with a play of color against a black or other dark background. They often sell for higher prices than white opal because the color contrast is much greater against a dark background. Every time I have the privilege of discussing opal, black opal in particular, I always mention this. And we've what, had bonfire night not long ago and there's still fireworks going off and around my house even now. If you let a firework off at daytime, you might well see those colors but they're not as vivid if, as if you let them off at nighttime, are they? That's the difference when it comes to opal. If you love the, the, the main characteristic and the main desirability of an opal is the play of color. The more play of color, the better. So obviously any way that we can appreciate that performance more, the better and the more desirable, hence the more valuable, the more expensive. Black opal is more expensive than white opal, no ifs, buts, or maybes. Now, there are ways and means of taking what... These will have been a dark opal, no doubt about it. There'll have been a dark opal, probably black as well in their description. And you can encourage and in, in enhance that beauty with uh, sort of developments of treatments in the same way that we enhance and encourage the beauty in a tanzanite, the same way that we enhance and encourage the beauty of, say, a diamond. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, if you've got something that is on the cusp of looking absolutely incredible like this, you'd want to showcase that, wouldn't you? So of all your varieties of opal, black opal is the most desired and the most expensive, but we rarely ever see it in faceted form. I'm going to start with these rounds. I don't think in the year of 2022, 
I've brought you more than five black opals to wear. In fact, let me ask the team, because Adam, you record both, not just for ourselves here on this shift side, you record for the other shift side as well. Adam, how many black opals have you recorded, do you think? Probably m maximum five this year. Yeah, absolutely. And from experience, whenever they do come to air, they fly out the door. They're enigmatic, they're magical, they're astonishing. When they're this degree of quality, it's, it's really unparalleled to any other gemstone that exists. You know, here in this little light box, that's a daylight simulator, you are seeing the quality, everything that black opal aspires to be. As I said earlier on, your deal of the day, yes, it's late, but it's so worth the wait. Imagine these maybe, I don't know, positioned in between some amazing jadeite or some amazing pearls. Imagine these just literally on a fine precious metal chain. Now, how many do we have, Ross? Really? That's a much bigger quantity than I thought. I've got 100 opportunities. Faceted for probably one, a handful of times that ever in jewellery makers' existence. I could probably count on my digits how many times we brought faceted opal to air, whether it be black or otherwise. The most sought after colour, the most desirable, the rarest and the most valuable colour is black. And that's what your deal of the day is today. Are you ready for this opportunity? The graphics are live. This is your call to action. I don't think anybody will be uh, straight away. Straight away, there's collectors and connoisseurs adding this to their basket. Do you know, I, I, I could tempt you. I've brought you more Grand Digirite than I have Black Opal. I've brought you more Jadeite than I have done Black Opal. I've brought you more um, Indicolite. I've brought you more Pareba Tourmaline. I've brought you more Paparaccia Sapphire, some of the world's rarest gemstones than I have Black Opal. And if you were to look at the, at the top 10 rarest gemstones, guess what you'll find situated right in there? Black Opal. Black opal is in, one, in the world's top 10 rarest gems. So it shouldn't ever come with an affordable price tag. But you're tuning into Jewelry Maker. And there's a reason why you tune into Jewelry Maker to source some of the finest quality gemstones possible to own without spending the extortionate thousands of pounds that most of us would expect. I could easily show you four-figure prices. I could, I could do that, couldn't I? I could literally say, look, one thousand five hundred pounds. There's a there's a jewelers that that's, I don't know. If, I wouldn't say they specialise in them, but there's a jewelers in Stratford, not far away from where uh, we are here in the studio. Um, if you ever came to Stratford upon Avon and you walked along the, uh, uh, the town centre, you'd probably find that jewellers. And it has the most dis amazing display of Ethiopian opal. Not, not Australian, not, not Cooper Pedy, not Lightning Ridge. It's all Ethiopian opal. Um, very few black opals, of course. None of their pieces, even the smallest maybe stud earrings, would be a double figure price tag. None of them. They would all be high three figures more likely to be four figures. The fact that we are just starting here and the fact that every confirmation that has been made by collectors, connoisseurs, retailers as well, by the way, are multi-buys. I'm not surprised by that because we've, we're, not, we're not messing around. We're on immediately down to a double figure price tag, which is just ridiculous. It had to be today's deal of the day. It had to be. We have 100, and that is why we can drive the price down. We're, yeah, yeah, sorry, in my ear, I've just heard a, oh, a reaction to the, look, never mind outside these four walls, if we make a comparison with ourselves, some four or five years ago, certainly when we were under the immediate umbrella, this deal of the day would have been probably 150 pounds. It would have been, and we'd have had maybe about 30 opportunities. Because we are part of the Gemporia partnership, you know, we've got a bigger budget, we have. We can buy more of them. These are very saleable on our sister channel as well. Um, so you could literally just put these onto a, um, I don't know, an 18 karat gold chain, and they probably would sell at the three figure prices that we were discussing eight carats of uh, of amazing genuine black ethiopian opal a third of the stock already gone so many multi-buyers 
West Midlands, Berkshire, Jane, Christine, Tina, Richard, Maker, Barbara, Sue, Eleanor, Richard, Anne, Hilda, Karen, London, Manchester, Sussex. I can see you all. I can see loads of you there. Names already disappearing off the bottom of the screen. At £49.99 pence for Black Opal. It's an unfathomable price tag. Do you know, I knew, I had a funny feeling, Ross, that you were going to do what you're doing now. Because on my, I'll, I'll show you my star by sheet. He emails this to me. You emailed email this to me about four o'clock yesterday afternoon. Yeah, yeah, about that. And I don't know why he does, to be fair. Because he never does what he says he's going to do. Our lovely Ross. But look on my star by sheet. Just here. Deal of the day. Item code. Eight carats, black Ethiopian opal, graduated fasted rounds. There we go. I've got 102 available, 49.99. I knew that you were going to go lower than that. I knew it. I knew it. I just knew it. I'm not saying you're predictable, Ross, but I just knew it. This is the biggest quantity. It's one of the, one of the few times we've ever brought you faceted Ethiopian opal. I'm not saying never. I know we've done it before. But every single one of those rounds, it's not just one solitaire or one calibrated size. This is a, a strand, and I'll count them in a few moments, a strand of faceted rounds. To even take one of those at less than £50 is just amazing. To be taking the entire 15 centimetre strand any lower than 50 quid is just, I mean, unmissable, isn't it? Absolutely unmissable. In 16 seconds, it is happening, though. For all of you October babies, this opportunity, or if you know somebody that is an October baby, it doesn't get any better than what's on your screens right now in my eyes. I, I, you know, in terms of location, if you were to ask me the question, where would I choose? Ethiopian. All day long. All day long because you have translucency, you can see the play of colour not just on the surface but right the way through to the heart. But faceted black opal? Faceted black opal at £39.99 is just Silly, you know it. That's why the call screens have literally lit up. Liz, Alan, Pauline, Christine, Anthony, Gabrielle, Barbara, West Midlands, well done to you. There's people who originally came in for one who've said, you know what, I'm gonna have two of those. I'm gonna have three of those. Christine and Lincolnshire has just snapped up four. Um, I know this will be an on-screen sellout. We don't get black opal full stop very often. That's because of the rarity of the gemstone. We really, uh, and, and to, to multiply um, you know, that statement, we seldom ever, 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 ever get it in its faceted forms because it's a risk. You know, you could potentially cut away some of that wonderful performance, which is the number one priority when it comes to this gemstone. There are so many of you with it in your baskets that this could already be a sellout. Oh, Ross. He says, but time is against us. Let me ask you a question out loud. If, 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 text in, and there's a little bit of wiggle room, and it's the smallest amount of wiggle room, believe me, I can't believe we, I can't believe we bought this at wholesale anywhere near what's on your screens right now. There's a little bit of wiggle room. Do you want this a little bit lower? Because there's a lot of you with any baskets. We don't want it in your baskets. We want it checked out. Done. I want to be able to move on, to the, on from this to the next amazing opal opportunity. There's multi, but Rich has just got five. Christine's just got four. Do you want a little bit more? You know if we can, we absolutely will. We will always deliver the best possible prices to you. Working off, I, I, like I said, if ever you're in Stratford, which is a lovely town to, village as, uh, uh, town to visit as well, have a little walk along the high street. You will find the jeweler that I am describing. I don't think for one second, in fact, I am so confident, I don't almost, if I was a betting person, I put my more on it, that you would not find black opal of this grade, eight carats of, for anywhere near a double figure. I tell you what, in 60 seconds, we will take it lower. 
But my goodness me, I do hope this is a sellout because otherwise I think there's going to be a very strongly worded conversation being had tomorrow. This was not meant to be a single penny lower than 49.99. And even if we had have stopped there, that would have been absolutely amazing. Linda in Cornwall, you've got yours. Well done, lovely. Grabbing a couple of these. Venetia, well done. London, well done. Lynette, every single one of you that's made your confirmations already, don't worry, you will, sit, you will still benefit from this price drop. Everybody gets that final low black opal again google it the world wide web you've got information at your fingertips one of the world's rarest gemstones is black opal you know and the price can be astronomical to be even entertained bringing it at double figures like i said just comparing with ourselves somewhat four or five years ago when we were under a media it just wouldn't have happened it wouldn't have happened we wouldn't have been able to no, 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 we wouldn't have been able to get, we'd have got a quantity of probably 30, 40 maybe, and there'd have been 150 pounds. That would have been a great price, by the way. That's me, not me being derogatory to sort of the immediate partnership that, 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 that looked after us. They, we, had a big, we have a bigger budget now. And also we've got much more contacts now. That's, that's fantastic for you guys at home because we have those, that contact, we have that respect. It's much broader in the gemstone market. Make no doubt about it. When I went to Tucson, it was a real eye opener for me. Um, and the one of the reasons why I go is so that I can share my experiences with our lovely viewers. Um, look, I went there, I, I'm not even joking. When I, I walked into the AGS, one of the biggest, biggest events in Tucson, um, behind uh, um, behind uh, Jake and behind Dave. Do you know, literally everybody turns because those traders want to do business with Gemporia. Why? Because they'll buy quantity. Um, so it's literally done and dusted. Their, their work is done. They can literally pack up and go home. And instead of hiking the prices to 300 and 400% that we share, plus VAT here in the UK, we literally work off tiny, tiny, minuscule margins. 34 pounds and 99 pence only. You've just sourced a parcel of faceted black Ethiopian opal for 34 pounds and 99 pence. It's ridiculous in the best possible way. Now, a little bit of a call to action because quantity is flying. Um, uh, can I show that actually? Can I show the call screen? If your name is on um, on the left hand side of the call screen right now, you are successful. Congratulations. Sit back and enjoy and know that you've got black opal on its way to you. Look at the quantities that people are buying though. They recognize how amazing and exciting this deal is. Christine, you've got five. Corinne, you've got three. Linda, you've got two. Richard, you've got five. London, London, you can see. Venetia, Jill, Caroline, Renfusha, you disappear off the bottom of the screen. Um, yeah, literally working into um, our fifth row of names. If you've got your name on this side of the call screen and you can see the quantities as well in the brackets, um, we are getting quite limited now. There's been a, a big proportion of our collectors actually purchase multiples of. Um, multiples of June, Maker, Tina, London, Zoe, London, Lynette, Gillian, Pat, Lindsay. Check out those baskets now. I'm going to move into a different cut of black opal. A different cut. These are, I don't know, are they described as wheels? I think so, yeah, faceted wheels. Now, if this was, you know, we, we, what Adam's done, our director, he's taken a photograph of it as, on the strand as you will receive it. Look, oh my word. That's the best play of color I've seen yet. That's the best color, black opal, play of color I've seen in any strand that we've brought to air. Gemologists will say that an opal, whether it be black, white, whatever, an opal that displays anything over 80% play of color is regarded as exceptional. But we know how good this is, and we, we, we benefit from being able to physically hold it in our hands. Adam took a photograph of this stranded, as you'll receive it, but he also took it off the strand. Because what we need to remember is when it's stranded up, you don't see the table facets, do you? You don't see that flat surface. You won't see the play of color. Oh my, it doesn't get any better than that. How many have we got? Okay. A more 
real quantity. We've got 55. Do you know what? It doesn't get any better than that, than what's on your screens right now. To be starting at 50 pounds is just, look, look at, that's neon green. The different colors, obviously they'll all vary because they're not painted on. That's literally down to tiny little, little uh, uh, um, silica, um, tiny silica spheres within the gemstone itself that are sporadically positioned instead of being sort of bunched together and clustered together. And I'm talking mic microscopic here. But when they're sporadic, um, basically light will reflect off those silica spheres and that it equates to play of color. Some of the rarest colors in opal are red and you've got an abundance of red within this strand. You know, literally pillar, pop, pillar box reds, haven't you? You're going lower, Ross. Do you know one of those should be $49.99? Just one of those, those wheels? I don't, th I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why we're going even lower than 50 pounds. It is happening though. Good luck to each and every single one of you. This is more limited. We've got half the quantity of the previous. Again, faceted, 34 pounds and 99 pence only. You don't have to take my word for it. Look, you'll find loads of articles out on the web talking about the rarity of black opal. You'll see loads of articles. Look at this piece. This is from AJC, a very respected jewelers, Art Deco, 18 karat, white gold, platinum, black opal and diamonds. You know, do you think it's the diamonds and the platinum that makes up the bulk of that? Uh, the, the price of this piece of jewelry or do you think it's the quality of the black opal in the center well compare the play of color that you're seeing here with the play of color that adam is showing you in your strand it's literally like for like isn't it literally like for like and that also looks like a doubler doesn't it? You, do, you, do you see how it has this kind of uh, glossy resin-like surface? Um, that's probably got some um, quartz over the top or maybe a domed resin to amplify the play of color. And there's a slice underneath of the black opal. You're not getting any of that. These aren't doublets or triplets. It's solid black opal. Um, again, straight away, lots of collectors getting involved on the phone lines and also on the web. Absolutely amazing. The reality is you're looking at it in its worst possible light. I, you know, Adam, we, it's such a difficult gemstone to record, isn't it? So difficult. When you get Ethiopian opal home, it, you really, really, really will be uh, uh, knocked off your feet. The color, the performance that you see of play of color is so much better in, in, in actual person. Um, stay where you are again, getting quite limited on those. Now the last of your Ethiopian black opal are your smooth heshies. I love, or smooth rondelles really. I've got a big quantity of these. We said it earlier on, actually, about the old mech, and we said it about the, the uh, jadeite, didn't we? The Burmese jadeite. I, I love them. A rondelle without a single facet. I just think they create this really beautiful linear-like design. It goes back to what we originally opened the deal of the day um, in that you've got those sort of smooth curves that can really amplify and magnify the play of colour. Um, this is the biggest carat weight that we've brought you of your deal of the day. We've got a really lovely graduation from three uh, by one to six by three. So again, Adam's de-stranded this on the recording so you can see uh, the, the enigma that comes from that play of color. When you think about firework displays, you know, and it's, the dark is, is it, it, you know, is, is jet black. And you see this blaze of color. You know, we, we pay to go and see that, don't we? These blazes of color in the sky. You'll have this in your hands for eternity. I'm going to open the auction purely because we've got a hundred of these. Imagine, imagine your Sunday. Oh my goodness me. Being topped off with black Ethiopian opal, but not just any black Ethiopian opal. In amazing quality Ethiopian opal. We're starting this auction opportunity at $49.99. The next price point, even though there's a bigger carat weight, in fact, it's quite a big difference in terms of carat weight, we're going to max the previous auction. So that means you're taking it to what? $34.99 for 15 carats. I'm rubbish at maths. Can we work out the price per carat here? 15 carats, £2.33 per carat. I mean, there was no mention of that price tag in Uncut Gems. 
It is worth a watch, but I will tell you, it's quite an uncomfortable watch. In 60 seconds, we'll take it to its final price. The biggest carat weight. A very, very, very uh, versatile strand, I think, as jewellery makers. You could literally just feed this through maybe a beading thread or a silk or incorporate it into things like your Marla style necklaces or your knotted pearls. Can you imagine these literally punctuated in between some amazing pearls like Tahitian or South Sea or Akoya or some of your amazing naturally coloured freshwater pearls? Can you imagine these kind of punctuated in between those? Or maybe at the bottoms of tassels in amongst those. How beautiful would that be? be in 26 seconds we are going even lower um which is just madness when it comes to black opal again you know I, I encourage you to do your research find out the rarity of black opal it won't take you very long and they will uh, and you will see widely documented as one of the world's rarest gemstones natural black opal is astonishingly rare and astonishingly expensive If, if they don't sell out, I'm going to need to actually, if they don't sell out at $24.99, I'm going to have to sort of reflect back in and think, have I, have I demonstrated these well enough? Have I described the rarity of black opal well enough? Have, if we don't sell out of these guys, I think we need to maybe review no review, <laughs> review, maybe I'm not, I, no, they, they look like they will, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of people there on that phone line, because never in a million years, not one of those solitaires should be 25 quid, never in a million years, for black opal, if we, if, if we, if you and I literally went to, I don't know, Tucson, or Hong Kong, or at Switzerland, any of the biggest gem fairs in the world, you know, even your usual coloured Ethiopian opal was more than what's on your screens right now. Ross, no, 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 no. Uh, listen, I love you all, but we, I, have to be the, I have to be the sensible one here now, Ross. No, we can't go any lower. No. You know, is it my name next to this auction or is it yours? Is it all of ours? Triangle of trust. It's not, it's all of our names, isn't it? I don't know what to say to this, but uh, okay. No, I do know what to say. I do know what to say. <clears throat> I might be giving my P45 come the end of today's show. That's ridiculous, Ross. You shouldn't be going any lower than 25 quid. It's ridiculous. It's black opal. It's black opal. It's not, no disrespect, this is not a jasper. This is not a quartz. This is not a quartzite. This is not a plastic crystal bead. This is opal formed from, 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 from silica over millions of years. Millions of years, Ross. I'm all about, I, he's, you're reveling in this right now. He is, he's properly enjoying this moment, how uncomfortable I am. You, we, you know this. I'm all for you getting an amazing deals, but there's, this is beyond that. This is beyond amazing. This, quite frankly, is irresponsible. <laughs> please, please know this is no reflection of the true value or worth. Please, 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 please know Ethiopian opal does not go to 20 quid. Ethiopian opal doesn't go to double figures, it, 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 particularly the black. What are you doing, Russ? Did you bump your head in that in that in that break? <laughs> uh, that's a nervous giggle, by the way, Linda. I don't know if you've noticed, but that's a very very nervous giggle. We've got some diamonds coming up. You know, just put some diamonds in there. At the end of the day, from what you've saved from this one strand, you might as well. You might as well put these on an eighteen karat gold. From what you've saved on this strand, you'll buy yourself an eighteen karat gold chain. Because yeah, that, that should have a digit in front of it. It should have... It. Absolutely, definitely. I mean, Ethiopian opal is my favourite gemstone, bar none. You know, if anybody asks me that question ever, it's poof, Ethiopian opal, but black Ethiopian opal. 
That's a step up the ladder. 20 quid though? Well, that's, that's obscene actually, to be truthful. It's very naughty. It is very, 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 very naughty. Believe me. I, I know somebody else that thinks that as well. Very naughty. Again, if they don't sell out, then I need to sort of maybe evaluate. Uh, well, no, it's, not, uh, it's nothing I've done, I don't think, Ross. That's you. Or it's all down on you, that is. He says, I'll take the blame on that one. Yeah, I know you will. <laughs> Amazing. Ah, oh, Ross, we do love you. Well done. Congratulations, everybody. Absolutely awesome. Truly, it doesn't get any better than that. It does not get any better than 20 quid on Black Opal. And I have to say it like 20 quid because it is 20 quid for Black Opal. Unbelievable. We've still got so much to bring you. Resin Road at 12 o'clock. Um, should we do some closeout deals on a chain? Shall we? Is it this one here? Oh, it's beautifully sparkly. Is that diamond cut? Oh, it looks like silk. Look from there. It certainly looks like it is. Um, love the link on this. It looks very quite, quite close and compact. So you've got amazing, like a river of luster, um, almost white because it is so, oh, it, classico cable. There we go. So this is Italian made. Um, this is one of the chains that we launched quite recently um, during like a chain showcase uh, um, that we had a couple of weekends ago, wasn't it? Something like that. Um, they absolutely flew. This is really silky. It's a really lovely silky chain. Do you know, you have your chains which are a little bit more robust and a little bit more, I don't want to say clunky, but you know, which are a little bit more, say industrial in their style of link. This is like silk. It's literally like silk, like a fabric. You've got 1.33 grams of solid nitrogen Two five sterling silver close out deal. How many do we have? Big quantity. Bearing in mind this is Italian made, we're under ten pounds straight away. You, you sort of your traditional trace chain can't compete to that price tag. Shall we use show you another price that you're not going to pay today? Not stopping there. Italian made. These are literally beautifully woven together. This fine, amazing, precious 925 uh, um, silver. Beautifully woven together. £8.75. pence. Again, I looked online the other day just because I wanted to find a 14-inch chain for um, uh, um, my, my friend's daughter. And... It was significantly more than what's on your screen. It's not Italian made. It's 925 sterling silver. It was a classic chain, a classic curb. We're not stopping there though. When you say you've got a big quantity and we want to clear that quantity out, right? So this is, this is where you almost take your Christmas hats off if you want. You know, we're going to need, we're going to need sterling silver chains indefinitely, whether it's Christmas, whether it's Easter, what for birthdays, for celebrations, for just because we always need sterling silver chains. Take your Christmas boots off as well if you want. Random Christmas boot in the studio. Are you happy at £7.99? Now, um, when we first launched this today, there was people getting quantities of 10s, of 13s, of 14s, and that's not an exaggeration at all. Um, stocking up their stashes, because it's something that we'll always need. I truly think, and I always position chains like this as an essential finding. That's exactly what they are. They are a finding, aren't they? So if you do seed beading, like those lovely... Uh, um, we saw some on the Wall of Fame this morning, didn't we? That really nice... Uh, Christmas, I think they were Christmas tree decorations. You know, you could turn that Christmas tree decoration into a piece of jewellery, couldn't you? Literally just by uh, creating a bale. You know, all of your amazing sea beading, all of your amazing gemstone setting, silversmithing, um, resin work that's coming up. £7.45, pence. you've got the perfect luxury chain. It's a classic 18 inch, which sits just, below, depending on build, just below the nape of the neckline, um, in Italian quality. But we are going lower. We're not even stopping here. Um, straight away, lots of collectors saying, right, okay, I might as well get a few of those. Put them in the present drawer. Do you have a stash of chains, Linda? I wish. Do you need a stash of chains? I do need a stash of chains. I mean, basically, as soon as I've got a stash of chains, they've gone in a heartbeat. Yep. 
They do. Listen, I'm not a designer. I'm not a, um, a heavy, you know, big jewelry maker. But these always go for me as well, because you buy a pendant, like for example, I don't know. Maybe you want to turn those butterfly earrings earlier on today into multiple uh, pendants. I don't know, just one example. You're always going to need them, aren't you? I think they're as essential as a jump ring. I think they're as essential as a featherweight head pin. I think they're as essential as your shepherd hooks. And at £6.99, you are getting Italian-made quality. Your beautiful Classico chain, which um, when you get this home, you'll see a really beautiful, intricately linked um, woven chain. £6.99. Dorset's just got six. Diane's just got four. Sarah's got two. London, you've got yours. West Midlands multi-buying. Diane, Nicolette. Gillian, well done to you. Uh, Carolyn Barksha's just snapped up for amazing. Keep on dialing. Like I said, it's a closeout deal, so we're not going to stay on this very, uh, for, for long, but you can obviously shop throughout the course of the day. Now, we did promise today lots of closeout deals. If you were with us in the 8 o'clock hour, there were lots of sellouts. Um, we have got the keys to the very, very, very closely guarded jadeite vault, uh, vault. Now, I brought you some Olmec, so I've brought you some cots that we don't ever see. Um, haven't got any more Olmec. They're all gone. Um, I have got some rice beads, though. Um, you've really no we noticed today, and we were quite reactive in terms of, or Ross was rather, rather quite reactive in terms of what to allocate into the show. Um, we recognised today that you're really after the sort of, you know, you're, you're unusual. You're looking for the unusual. You're looking for your high goos on a strand. You're looking for your columns, your carved columns. We don't see rice beads very frequently. And as Linda said earlier on, they really draw the eye, don't they? They draw the eye down maybe if you're trying to sort of direct it towards maybe one of your master carvings or uh, a, a beautiful pendant or a tassel at the bottom of your, um, of your necklace. 220 carats of certified natural type A jadeite. It's that really beautiful, soft, um, sort of spring blossom, I'm going to say, like green. They're big individual stones. You've got really generous drill holes running through these as well, so you could use them individually. Um, I, I would always suggest, and I had a conversation recently, actually, with one of our lovely viewers saying, and she said about the, the certificate of authenticity, is it worthwhile getting? Would jadeite? Absolutely, yes. Please, please do. Because if ever you do want to sell it or you're passing it on, it's going to cost you a lot of money to get it uh, laboratory certified, which is what we do for you. So you've got the certificate of authenticity. It's invaluable, quite frankly. And for the additional, what, 25p, it's so worth it. We're at £199. I'm going to show you how serious the closeout deals are going to be. And I've got faceted jadeite rounds coming up next, which is just amazing. Closeout deal, 220 cat. Oh, goodness. That's, gosh, that's a big reduction. Double figures. Double figure prices. £99. Do you know, if you can, this is one of those that I would multi-buy. Can you imagine really beautiful, like a rope long line necklace in type A genuine jadeite? But do we have quantity, Ross? No, he says. I'm going to leave it with you. I do. This, uh, this would be absolutely gorgeous alongside. I'm going to move those out of the way a second. This would look absolutely beautiful. It's on pre-order, by the way, um, with any of these strands. Now, pure white jadeite remember what richard wise says richard wise is he's extremely wise yeah absolutely he's he's he is the number one in the gemstone world so for example when i was doing my accreditation with the gia steve bennett gave me a book written by richard wise and said read it literally read it front to back to try and uh, retain as much information as you possibly can Richard Wise says, it's coming up, not just yet, um, that a jadeite with a pure white hue and a fine texture and translucency, it should be considered the finest of its type. Look at how pure and white that is, even from this amazing distance. Not yet. Can we pre-order on this? That's linen white. Announcement. We launched this Haigu at 49 pounds and 99 pence, which is amazing. 
Absolutely amazing. Today, is there, Ross? I mean, listen, you're, you're being pretty brave already today, aren't you? We've got one of the biggest quantities in our jade vault of this. If you go to jewelrymaker.com, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, click watch live, scroll down. There's me looking a bit nervous. Coming up on today's show, click on there. Right. Taipei Jade, completely ignore 999. That's 10 carats in the purest, and, and I have to say, this is probably the cleanest and the purest white jade I, I've held. Um, we've got one of the biggest quantities of this, and we've launched it at 49.99. Today, shall we, just before midday, should we do a mega auction because of the quantity? and also the fact that it is a, a white high goo. Shall we take it under 20 pounds? Do you know what? I, I, I don't care if I've already got white high goos in my stash. I genuinely don't care. That's unpassable, completely unpassable. A one-time deal, never to be repeated, launched at an amazing 49.99 today and today only, because after this auction, this mega auction, it will go back to the original 49.99. Do you know what? Take one of your round brilliant cut. I don't know, we've brought you diamonds recently, haven't we? We've brought you amazing rubies recently. Um, any round brilliant cut stone, secure it in the center. My goodness me, you've just made some amazingly high end jewelry. Shop ahead. Please know though, that under 20 pounds is no reflection of the true value worth. At that price tag, do you know what? I'm going for earrings. They'd be amazing stud earrings, literally just pop. Um, a stone or a finding through the center. Look at that, even from that distance. It's, there we go, we've announced it, we've said it, we're gonna do it, we are gonna do it. Shop ahead, we have 260 of those, which is amazing. I am so in love with these next two opportunities. Oh. Can I show them together? Can I buy these, Ross? Have, have we got quantity? I want these. Do you know what I'd put? Do you know what I'd put them with? Like a black spinel, a faceted black spinel. Oh my goodness me! Look at these. That black opal would look amazing, wouldn't it? With them. Linda, well, they're faceted rounds. The black opal with those. Oh. Oh. We've got how many? I'm doing the black, the large ten mil first. Did you say thirty? Thirty-five of the ten mils. We're under 100 already and we're not done. Do you know what? I didn't think, you know, jadeite is quite a humble stone, isn't it? It is a gemstone of um, a symbol of, uh, of moral integrity as well. Um, but when you start bringing facets, you know, again, this is a gemstone that's is physically as hard as steel. But when you start bringing facets, it really takes on that high glamour, doesn't it? Um, takes on like a completely different, I, I think, visual appearance to maybe in its smooth round. The fact that it literally just ricochets light from facet to facet. I love this. Um, again, and I think absolutely the case with this one. We must have launched, I don't know, maybe 10 maximum, 10 faceted strands um, of jade in, in, in the past couple of years. We don't see it. You just don't see it. For the same reasons with the black opal, you don't see it because you're cutting carrot weight away with every single one of those tiny little angles. It might only seem, it might only seem minimal, but you, you work that out across the entire strand then it is quite significant. We've got 32. Listen, my bag is right there, right there. I would so buy this if I could reach it. £59 for 10 millimeter faceted round jadeites. Oh my goodness, 29 seconds. Will these last for 29 seconds? I don't know. 29 seconds? Sorry, minutes. If there's any of them left come the top of this hour, I'm all over it. Um, and I would literally, literally just put it with maybe, I don't know, another really dynamic, quite a showy, quite a high end, maybe high glamour gemstone. That's why I said black spinel. Um, hello, Elizabeth saying, I have this strand and they're amazing. Oh, I'm jealous, Liz. I'm so jealous, lovely. It's so beautiful, isn't it? What about with maybe that spinel, that, that zircon strand? You know, that zircon. Can you imagine those, the ones with all the refraction and the brilliance and the sparkle? Can you imagine those just dotted in between? That's how many are left. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm genuinely sad, Ross. Taipei, I know. Totally natural. <laughs> Beautifully faceted, full of sparkle, so different. I love jadeite in its smooth rounds. I love it. I love it in whatever shape, cut, form. It's just, it's jadeite. We always love it, don't we? But there's just something so beautiful, so romantic, I feel, about your faceted rounds and so different. Liz, I am so jealous. Surrey, Nicolette, Karen, Rutland, Richard, London, Janice Maker, Karen. I mean, imagine this with a haigu. Right, stop it, Ross. No, don't stop it, actually. These are really, this is really good. But, uh, right, I don't know if I'm in the right position, Adam. Just look at that. Imagine that. Wow. Yeah. Wait, wait, I can make it better. Um, <laughs> Kinga, yes. have you got a big blackboard, please, darling? Yes. Oh, my goodness me. You can pre-order on the pure, what, the purest white haigu ever. If you've managed to get hold of these, again, very, very, very jealous. Imagine this, imagine this, and imagine this, all in one piece of jewellery. Remember as well at 12 o'clock... What, so none of these items will be available? They'll disappear until one o'clock. Right, okay, okay, I get it. Thank you, lovely Kinga. Thank you, darling. Um, because, now imagine this. I mean, I know I'm, I would literally put eight mil either size. Hang on, what am I doing? Come on, Al. Come on, Al, figure this out. I did think that last one was a ridiculous price. He says, wait till you see what we're about to do. What about that then? What do you think to that, Linda? You're a designer. Definitely. With some black silk. Mm -hmm. Oh. We're bringing you the eight mil faceted rounds right now. How many have we got? 35 again. It's almost like, the, you know, when these were first launched, Everybody bought the two sizes. And I think if you can, if your budget allows, um, do get both sizes because it just lends itself to the most beautiful, um, elegant, long line necklace. Right now, the graphics on your screens are for your eight millimeters. You can still get hold of the Heigo. Um, you can pre-order and shop ahead today. And today only, we are taking this to a frankly ridiculous to under 20 pounds deal. Eight millimeters of faceted luster. Uh, again, you know, lesser quality jadeite looks quite matte, doesn't it? It looks quite opaque. It's still lovely, don't get me wrong. Um, your jadeite should look like melting ice cubes, I guess. But then actually when you start putting your facets on there, it sparkles, doesn't it? It's giving you that beautiful luster that you might find in gemstones that you know, would, would, would say, I don't know, like the likes of your spinel. Black spinel, we always call the paparazzi gemstone, don't we? Because it has that constant, you know, uh, flashlight effect. I'm seeing that in this strand. I almost rolled my eyes then. <laughs> 39.99. Just think of the gemstones that we normally bring you to for, for $39.99. Jade I ain't one of them, is it? Not one of them. That, that, do you know, can we do a little tally up, Ross? $39.99. So, £120 for all of this. £120. For the, for the high goo. Yeah, we're taking that under £20 today. You can shop and pre-order on yours. You can get hold of the beautiful 10 mil faceted rounds for, what, 60 And you can get hold of this strand right now for £39.99. The only issue right now is that there were just 30. Did you say 30 of them um, available? 185 carats. It's, ir it, it's irreplaceable. This is a gemstone that's mining location. Literally has been... Oh, yes, yes, stop. Oh, yes, Ross. Yes, look at that. Look at that together. Have we not just made the most beautiful kit? 
That's coming up. Make sure you're checking out on the eight millimeter rounds. Oh, Linda. I bet you'd like a little bit of that kit, wouldn't you? Yeah, I have a lot of that kit. Not yes, really, please. Me too. Let's do it. Type A black jadeite, six millimeter rounds, literally that idyllic desert island size. Oh, I'm curious now, Ross. What, what though? Go on, say. There's 30 available. Who wants black jadeite? Look, any black jadeite isn't black like as in jet or onyx. It, you know, under close examination, it's more of an inky greeny color because black jadeite takes three times longer to form than any other color of jadeite. It has transitioned through every, from the white, it's transitioned to the darker greens, it's transitioned through the yellows and the imperial greens. These were once imperial greens. They take millions of years longer to form. Um, and they are normally equally very, very, very expensive. Remember what we said earlier on, a black jadeite should be deep and intense in color I look at that as black rather than dark green and should feel like silk. We've got 30 available. Oh, can you imagine? I'm quite, that kit would be lovely. It's a soft monochrome, isn't it? Yeah. 59 pounds and 99 pence only. Certified natural type A black jadeite. Just amazing, amazing. And if I had the time, I'd, I'd happily show you sort of pieces, black jadeite pieces that have been at auction houses that are, have been commissioned by the likes of Cartier for literally tens of thousands of pounds. Um, I'm going to assume right now, because there's so many of you there snapping up these deals, you know, you know that's fabulous. You know that there's no, there's no brackets. These aren't impregnated. These aren't dyed. It's natural black jade eye. To be able to get an entire strand for 60 quid is absolutely amazing. London, London, Richard getting three. Janice, Maker, West Midlands, Deborah, congratulations to you. Um, Edinburgh, you're there. I only had 30 opportunities, though. If I can, I'm literally treating myself today to that kit. And I'm going to absolutely secure the... Uh, um, uh, take advantage of the uh, one-time deal. We are taking this beautiful pure white Haigu under twenty pounds today. We launched it at forty-nine ninety-nine. Did you? How many have we got? Two hundred and seventy-six. What's going up? That's that's the only reason we can quantify that price. So today we're going to take this under twenty pounds. So now all of a sudden this amazing kit is under 200 pounds. Just awesome, absolutely awesome. Amazing, thank you. Um, ooh. Where to next, Roscoe? Coins. Do you know, when we, we have 40, when we first brought, introduced Jadeite to Jewelry Maker, um, that was probably, I don't know, six years ago, was it? Something like that, do you reckon, mm -hmm. Linda? I would have thought so, five, six, yeah. We first start, launched them in rounds, and I think we went then into the coins. Um, and they're beautiful, beautiful quality. They really were. But the quality that we get now is on a different level. It really is. And I bought some of the jade as well when it first launched. Um, when, and particularly in the coins, you can see that difference because they are literally silky smooth in their luster um, and really intense in their color. Again, this mine literally has announced over the past couple of months that it's closed. Um, that's 800 years, <clears throat> excuse me, 800 years of mining done, done. You know, the history, the legacy that is Burmese jadeite, it still absolutely stands, but it's irreplaceable now. You know, this is not something we go, okay, we'll just pop along and get some more. It's irreplaceable. Much like your rice beads, much like the uh, strand of high goos, much like those uh, faceted columns that we saw earlier on, we don't see kind of shapes like this. Um, then they're not, they're, they're not plentiful, if you like, in, in availability, because if you think about it, you know, that's gone from around and we've cut a a fairly significant carrot way to, to turn it into a flat coin. They lay beautifully though, when in finished jewelry, they lay beautifully on the wrist line, amazing around the decolletage, perfect in rings as well, because you can treat them like cabochons. Down to the final 20, 
Clock is ticking. Ross, I don't think anyone knows what on earth's going on right now today. It's, it's, it's just the deals have been amazing. Um, I don't know if you'll be trusted with those keys again. <laughs> oh, Ross. Is it because you're not in tomorrow, Ross, that you're feeling this brave? £29.99. pence. So, Linda, you'll have, you'd have probably been part of the launch when we first brought Jade to Jewellery Maker. Were they £29.99? Absolutely, definitely not. Do you remember it was about 90 wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think in the early days, when we just after launching Jade, virtually everything was three figures and flying out the door at the speed of light. Yeah, £30. And, and, and those years ago... The mine was fully operational. The, the, there, was, there was deposits coming out of the ground. That's not happening anymore. No, if demand is higher than the supply, then it's just going to escalate price. Well, yeah, absolutely. Sally Hewer said to Dave, he, she believes that this will be the generation mm -hmm. who can't afford jadeite for the very first time, which is massive in terms of Chinese history. You know, the first generation that literally can't afford to buy this gemstone. And here's us, little old jewellery maker. We've got people that literally shop from Hong Kong. They source their jadeite from us. Why? Because of that, basically. The deals that we can offer you. It will be an on-screen sellout. There's tons of you there. Kerry, Jane, Surrey, Pauline, Cheshire, Caroline, Valentina. Hello to you, Janet, London, Gillian, June, Gail. Uh, hello to you, Simon. Hello to you, Sheila. Wendy, Pat, Manchester, Yvette. Hello, Janet, June, Sheila. Uh, Hampshire, new customer. Kevin, I can see you there. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Now, just in the lead up to your Haigu mega auction. So it, for those of you that have just tuned in, um, we're promising. Now, this launched at $49.99. We've got a big quantity of it. Um, today, we, and today only, mind, this won't be repeated. Pure white natural jadeite we're going to take it under 20 pounds for you today shop ahead launched at 49.99 um, it's on pre-order right now so you can really help out our call center we had 276 okay already dropped under 200 so yeah it's uh, yeah i don't blame you though why wouldn't you um okay let's now bring you is that this one i, I love this one it's it's amazing. It's amazing. Do you remember, I wore it as a necklace. And Susie, Susie was like, oh, you need that necklace, Al. You need that necklace. I never got that necklace. Um, and these sold out on the original launch. This is the Sacred Lotus. It's one of the, uh, how do I word this? One of the dense, yeah, densus. Densus, is that a word? I don't know. Denser, yeah, master carving. Um, and you've got these beautiful folds, these lovely layers um, of your petals. I mean, look at that intricacy. It's absolutely beautiful. It is drilled. Um, this was literally suspended, if I remember, on a strand, which is alternating jadeite and pearls. Yeah, it's love. It's so beautiful. And I literally wore it on the neckline. So it wasn't a long line necklace. It was. It sat um, on the decolletage. This is uber limited. I love this piece. And it's one of those pieces that, uh, um, being completely, completely honest, I didn't think I'd love it as much as I did until I put it on. You know, it was one of those, literally sat there, and it was like, oh my goodness, it's amazing. It's really comfortable to wear because if I turn it round, you see you've got this really beautiful, smooth, um, smooth background. Yeah, you've definitely got an area of lavender and also some red. You've got some of the red jade out running through. There's the drill hole, which is very discreetly positioned within the petals um, of uh, the Sacred Lotus. Um, very, very, very limited. This is one of, a very popular one during the launch. I think Dave launched this piece, so well done. Um, uh, okay. Oh, it's a double-sided one. Oh, I love it. Love it. And I seem to think, yeah, the drill hole's different on this. No, it goes through as opposed to that direction. Are you ready? Look at that detail. 
These are last of stock. Oh, look, you've got the little, little house at the top, the bridge, the flow of the river, the pagoda just here, the layers. Yeah, it's a massive carrot weight. There's the little man in his boat just there. Um, literally along the river. Can you see? Can you see him there? Wait a minute. Let me just turn it over. The story continues. Again, there's another little figure walking across, uh, across a bridge. This is all literally carved out of one amazing gemstone. It's just incredible, Linda, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. Like even the detailing here on the, uh, on the circumference, if you like, of this work of art. Remember what Sotheby said. Jadeite is a miracle created by Mother Nature and shaped with human hands. That should not be £149. Please do stay where you are on the phone lines. Ah, uh, yeah, this is, again, amazing. Um, you've got this beautiful suspension. Uh, I forget the name of this flower. Is it like a hibiscus, would you say? It runs with the Hawaiian flower. Um, that's literally suspended within your circle of heaven. So again, lots of meanings behind this. Um, circle of heaven, I believe, is, is protection. Um, the flower uh, is, is symbolic of love and beauty, young love in particular, and I learned that off Susie. This is very limited, has been one of the most popular carvings. Um, I launched, uh, I, I was happy, um, privileged to launch this as well alongside Dave. It launched at £199 today, purely because we've only got a handful of them available. You don't hear art galleries doing that do you oh well there's only a couple available of this or there's only one available so i tell you what we'll drop the price that's not you know that's what basically what we're saying right now there's only a couple available so i'm going to literally bring you as many of the carvings as we can at close out deals it is going to be quite um quite quick now let's i love it love it this is beautiful this one i'm trying to think it, it is a lotus flower but this is probably one of the look at straight away i want to really show you but look at the detailing of the flower i love this one look at how beautiful that flower is can you also see the birds so the carving that my mum there it is you got almost like a swallow can you see there's the head just here there's the wings and there's the tail that's symbolic of love young love in particular um, I only know that because, again, Susie actually educated me on this because my um, carving that my mum brought back from China many years ago is birds and flowers, and that's, that's what she was saying. She said, you have the flower on the one side, the birds on the other, and it's symbolic of love, in particular young love. I love this piece. £129. You've got that really beautiful wet light luster, top quality, top translucency, amazing, amazing artistry. This, this one for me, and I think that, that art always has got like an impact on your emotions, hasn't it? Um, when I look at this, it really resonates. It really pulls on my heartstrings. Maybe that is because of the, um, the piece that my mum bought all those years ago. I might have to join you on this one. How many do we have? Nine. June, Maker, Rutland. I think I'm going to join you on this one. I love it. I'm a, I don't know why I haven't bought it already. It is beautiful, really beautiful. It's really detailed, that one. You know, if somebody was to draw or to paint the most beautiful flower, that's how I imagine it. Um, okay, let's bring you the prancing deer. Um, oh. And I had to do my research with this one as well. So lots of meanings. I, I, I can share all of those with you if you do want to know. If you love a piece and you buy it, um, um, send me a message on my Facebook presenters page and I can happily share my research with you what they mean. Um, the deer, um, I found something and then Susie found something else or discussed something else. But they are considered the protector of the forest if we talk about for, from a Western connotation. Um, again, prosperity, I believe, there and longevity. There we go. Look at him. Isn't he lovely? Look at the detailing on his legs. The fact he's prancing as well. So beautiful. £99 for your prancing deer. Yeah, apparently the deers, um, you see a lot of them in Chinese paintings as well because they were a symbol of longevity. Uh, oh, can I choose one? Can I? Yeah, chosen. Just be I've never seen this before. He, he's, it's the, um, it, yeah, the Pijou. Did you know I was going to pick it? 
He's so cool. So the Pixu, sorry, Pixu, which is half dragon, half dog. There he is. There's his little money coins. Three is the magic number, yeah, absolutely. He's also, he's uh, um, staunchly loyal. There's a little story behind the Pixu. Um, literally protects his wearer. Very lucky and believed to bring you prosperity as well. Hence why a Pixu will ordinarily, uh, here we go, here's another Pixu just here. Um, but if I actually show you on this one, there's the money coin underneath. So can you see he's literally sat on the money coin? So usually you see a Pixu alongside your money coins. I've never seen this one before. It's lovely, isn't it? Look at that beautiful detailing. 99 pounds only. Uh, yeah, Brave Troops is your Pixu, basically. Um, he's very protective. Uh, it, 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 the story, and I don't know it off the top of my head, I apologize, but um, the Pixu even followed, the original story even followed his owner um, to life beyond. So guarded him up in heaven as well. Um, fascinating. He, they're quite ferocious beasts, apparently, but also quite endearing in terms of how, how staunchly loyal they are. In 14 seconds, apparently something's happening. I've never seen this piece before. It's, it's just beautiful. Look. It's, almost, it's, it's like wafer thin. But then yet you've still got that detail. Oh, I love this one. £79. I think I'd literally just put a bale on that. Wear it on the decolletage. 50 centimetres, but because it is, you know, slighter, um, more intricate, more delicate, um, I think you could wear this on a, on a sterling silver chain. I don't think you need it to be on a beaded piece. Just beautiful, the intricacy on this. I've never brought it to air. Um, I gravitated it straight to, to it straight away. Beautiful. Um, yeah, Pixu, very protective, very loyal. Um, again, I'm no expert. Please know that I'm no expert in this. You'd be better off actually speaking to lovely Susie about it. Um, but from the research, yeah, I know that they're believed to bring you sort of prosperity and wealth. £79. You can get this home today for £39.50 pence on your 0% interest split pay. Um, I'm going to bring you one more. D please check out your baskets um, just before we dive into your mega auction on your pure white high goo. Uh, first time ever. We're going to take it under £20 for today and today only. Um, oh, can we do the yellow jadeite strand? Yeah, please. It's the last one. It's the last of all of our Burmese um, jadeite yellow strands. That's it. We've only got a single figure quantity of them. This is completely and utterly natural in its color. Completely natural. Look at that. And it's literally like a, an amazing warm honey color. You know, jadeite, as we said earlier on, there's an amazing diagram on Mason and Kay's website. Um, showing all the different colors that jadeite forms in. Um, this beautiful honey-like yellow, it, it charges a premium. Of course it does. It's, yellow is a very cheerful and uplifting color. This has occurred completely naturally. It's not dyed or impregnated in any way, shape or form. Um, the fact that we only have, is this the last strand of our yellow jade? Yeah, as far as we know, yes. I don't believe we've got any on order. How many have we got left? Nine, single figure quantity. Six millimeters. I know, you, uh, you want it, I want it. Listen, little elf, you just gotta. <laughs> Doesn't look likely though, does it? If there's nine available and there's as many people with it in their baskets. It's not yours though until you check out. Um, close out deals. The last of our yellow jadeite strands that we have currently within our vault. I'm not saying we're never going to get it moving forward. We will absolutely endeavor to, um, but it's not a guarantee when we consider that the Burmese mine is literally closed. And this is also one of the rarest colors that it forms, uh, forms in. Swansea, multi-buying, Richard, London, Karen. Hello to you, London, another uh, anonymous maker there. I only had nine. It might well be the last chance for us to um, bring this to you. So snap it up if you've been admiring it um this will be a lovely addition alongside i think any and oh and it's like butter isn't it yeah like melted butter mm, yum 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 um this would be really beautiful alongside your pure white high goo it would be amazing as well i think alongside any of the strands that we've brought you black opal again how beautiful lovely are you ready jewelry makers 
Shall we get into some trouble? Shall we create some mischief? I know Linda will be game for that. Absolutely. Shall we rock the boat? Definitely. Oh, yeah. Um, lovely, lovely call centre team, though. I'm ever so sorry about this, but we are about to completely and utterly bombard you because we have a major mega auction. Thank goodness already, yeah, thank goodness already a big proportion has been uh, allocated on pre-order. Um, I'm just going to dive straight into it. There was 263. We have less than 200 now. When we launched this pure white haigu, we don't need all the singing and the dancing and the regalia to launch this, do we? You know that under 20 quid is just amazing. It's a star buy and then some. When we launched this beautiful, beautiful haigu to our jewelry maker audience, we launched it at an amazing 49.99. Now, don't be disappointed if that's what you paid. It's still mega. Today and today only, <clears throat> let's go under 20. We're going to do it in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Oh, my goodness, you should see the multi-buying. So many multi-buying. You know, I, I, I could show you the likes of Christie's. I could show you the likes of Sotheby's. I could show you First Dibs. I could show you Roland Schlussel. I could show you Mason and Kay, all using pure white jadeite high goos. And, of course, they're not £20. Of course they're not £20. You know, one thing that we really, really, really need to uh, remember when we are talking about white jadeite, Richard Wise, who really is the biggest name in the gemstone world, uh, around the world, you know, if you, do, if you study to be a gemologist, if you study to do any accreditations, you will be encouraged, like I was, to read his book, The Secrets of the Gems Trade. He said that a jadeite of pure white color with a fine texture and translucency, it should be considered the finest of its type. Yesterday, when we were with Dave, we showed pieces, didn't we, that had linen, pure white color, like I have literally in my hands right now, for huge price points. You know where it is going. We had 260, did you say? Sorry, 76. I'm going to show you the launch price just because we have to almost stagger this auction. There it is. In modern connoisseurship, a jadeite jade cabochon, cabochon, strand, whatever, of pure white hue with a fine texture and a moderate translucency would be the finest of its type. That's precisely what I am holding right now. And that is precisely what you can get hold of for a purple note. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to, and I, I'm going to steal a Davism right now. You shouldn't be able to buy jadeite with cash that you might have in your purse. You shouldn't be able to buy jadeite of any color, particularly the white, with cash that you can get from a, a cash point. This should be wire transfer. That's the rarity of what we're holding and what we're looking at right now. Imagine for a second if I said a half price deal. Imagine that. That we were literally, we sold, we sold a triple figure quantity on launch at 49.99, rightfully so. Imagine if I then said, tell you what, 50% off. 50% off, come on. That, 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 that's, that's, that, that's a clearance deal. On a gemstone, we don't want to clear. We, we can't replace it. We could easily close the auction here at $24.99, seriously. I've promised that it is going to go under 20. 60 seconds, that is exactly what we are going to do. Can I show 
Can I show the amount of people who have made confirmations and the amount of you that I've chosen to multi-buy on this? You're literally in three rows now. I'm, I'm just about to start making three rows of names. But it's not just about sort of the, the rows. Look at the quantities that people are actually buying. Linda in Staffordshire, you've just got two. London, Lucy in Berkshire's just got two. Jane's just got two. Uh, Saima, you've got five. Maker, you've got two. Patricia, London, well done. Patricia's getting two. Teresa, London's got two. Susan in Essex you've got five um, Richard I think you've got five as well we can't just see it you will in a second oh there you go I think you've just clicked round. Richard in Dorset there you go you've got five and every time that this call screen literally moves more people are making that confirmations the reality is though there has never ever ever been a better opportunity for you to get hold of pure white natural Burmese jadei irreplaceable at 49.99 completely irreplaceable at £20. After today, it will go back to the original forty nine ninety nine if there's any left. Crazy. Amazing. Congratulations, everybody. £19.99. You should, we shouldn't be able to just literally take it out of our purse. We shouldn't be able to go to the cash point. Yeah, I'll have 20 quid. Please, can I buy myself some natural type A Burmese jade eye in one of the most symbolic uh, uh, carvings with a pure, literally a pure white hue. London's just got three. Sarah, Andrew, Fuchsia, Sandra, Fife, Annette. Linda in Staffordshire's just got two. Uh, another London, Gail, well done in Shropshire, getting two. Gloria, Melanie in the Scottish Borders, you've just got two. Uh, Kath in Tyne and Wears got three. Lancashire's got two. Anne in Cardiff, you've got two. Heather in Middlesex, you've got two. Suzanne in Tyne and Ware, you've got three. North Yorkshire, you've got two. Susan in Essex, I'll have six, thank you very much. Gary in Gloucestershire, uh, Jackie in Leicestershire, London getting three. Amazing, it sounds like I'm reading the, um, the football results, doesn't it? That's what it sounds like. Um, that's the, the quantities that you're all snapping up, and I do not blame you at all. I do not blame you. We had 276. I don't have that quantity anymore. Keep dialing through just because I'm, uh, we're, we're just cutting to a break. We've got a big quantity. It's a mega auction. I am down to a double, figure, uh, double figures, though, so less than 100 remaining from that 273. Um, but just as I make my way over to our lovely Linda, I'm really excited about, uh, about this next hour um resin road is back we've got brand new molds yay we've got all the tools that you need it is a lounge style hour so so i'm not interrupting linda every five minutes what we're going to do is we're going to load everything to the website so you can shop ahead shop along any questions message into the studio so i'm not constantly interrupting our linda um during the demonstration do not go anywhere the return of the fabulous medium medium that is resin after this Join us this Tuesday, we've got Alison Terry guiding us through an amazing new dappling block. We've done circles before, but this time we have got the most amazing hearts, we've got flowers, we've got stars, and to achieve this similar look using an industrial tool will cost over a hundred pounds. Oh my word, the price point on these is absolutely amazing. Don't miss out this Tuesday on Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, 
everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. From December the 1st, you've got to go to our website where we've got our special Let It Glow promotion. We've got over a thousand lines added with up to 70% off. It's going to be incredible. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. Oh, we've got a lot to squeeze in. That's why we're doing literally a lounge hour. Linda's gloved up and ready with Resin Road. Now, if you've never heard of resin and the medium that it is, um, it's so much fun. I think we're going to uh, start a new little addiction. Well, it, it is very addictive, particularly um, UV resin. Yeah. Because it's immediate, really. Yeah. You don't have to wait a couple of days to have your finished piece. Not that I'm not a fan of epoxy resin, but I just find epoxy resin is mm. great for some things, the bigger things, but UV resin. Well, so you have to do measuring, don't you, with yeah. that? A lot more measuring, and it has to be point precision, whereas mm -hmm. that, now, nah, not so much with this. Yeah, now, courses for courses, really. It is. Shall we open the advent calendar? Yeah, should we do it? In fact, Linda, this is the first time that you're first opening the advent it, calendar. Yeah. Now, these um, are... What are um, Alan and Sue have actually turned the, the components into something? So, what date are we today? Uh, 11th. 11th today. So, number 11. 
which comes after 10 and before 12. It does. We yes. haven't jumbled it up for some reason. There we go. Mm. I'll let you open it. because. Ooh, it. here we go. Okay, okay. So, basically, you've got some of your gold-plated essential tulip needles. These needles are game-changing. There you go. You know, well, I know you think a needle's a needle, but these needles are game-changing. They are considered around the, uh, around the world as some of the best in the world, aren't they? Yeah. Um, amazing. Also, on social media, um, we've been asking, uh, asking you to send in photographs of your makes of the year. Um, and, oh, wow. oh my Nikki goodness me, Nikki, that's incredible. It's just oh my amazing. God. The that... bead train I made for my dad. It took me eight months and he loves it. Of course he does. Oh my is that is your dad eighty-four by any chance? Oh my goodness, that's incredible. Nikki, can I make a suggestion so to you, lovely? You need to enter that into a magazine. Yeah. Yes, that needs absolutely. to be on a magazine. Definitely. Unbelievable. Amazing. And I totally agree. The best of, gosh, that could be one of, the, for me, that's the best of my life. That would be amazing. Um, hello to Sharon. Hello, lovely Sharon. Morning jewelry maker team. My poppy was the best make of the year with 25 made and sold. None left. I also made extra purple ones for animals. All sold out too. Sharon, again. Oh, amazing. Just phenomenal. Beautiful. Such delicate work. You know, it's, really a commitment when you're making something with seed bees like that and that is so committed oh but you know again you made 25 of them exactly. as well um hello linda good morning to all the fantastic jm team please accept for best make of the year this suite of jewelry i made for my daughter to wear to a works christmas party last night um it's not the most my most complicated or intricate make but it is my best because it made her feel so happy ah oh, uh when my daughter sent me a picture of her wearing it saying thanks mum oh bless oh, i'm welling up now linda that's so lovely um i feel like a million dollars wearing this jewelry i purchased the cup chain from jewelry maker many years ago and never got round to using it until earlier this week um it is so beautiful and looks as good um as when i first received it added jewelry maker findings to make the necklace earring and bracelets picture shows the suite i made and my daughter wearing it thank you to uh, uh jewelry maker for all your beautiful products and deals wishing everybody a happy christmas genuinely linda it's stunningly beautiful and that's made me well up a little bit that's so nice it's made it just um, that's what that's what's special about it, making it's jewelry. very high end isn't it yeah it's very high end oh and just how happy you made her feel as well linda oh thank you for sending that in <gasps> goodness me angela i think this was my best make i love it oh my goodness me incredible they're just incredible do you know my um down, I've, we've just redecorated the uh, our downstairs loo and the wallpaper is hot air balloons. Oh, lovely. That sounds amazing. And um, that one just looks so right. Yeah, you need, a, you need uh, Angela to, to make you one. Do you, do you take commissions? Do you take Angela? commissions? Yeah, you need a little hot air balloon <laughs> in your downstairs loo. Amazing. Thank you, Angela, for sending that in. Uh, you literally, when we say that you are such an inspiration to us yeah, all, please totally. know that we mean it. We really do mean it. You're so clever. You really, really are. Thank you. Oh, we've got another one. Um, this is from Barbara. Hello, Barbara. Um, this is my best make of the year pearls, which I love. Always buying them. Put with black jade. Oh, um, thanks. Couldn't afford all my uh, pairs without jewellery maker. Uh, again, so stunning that combination you can't go wrong can you with you, you and black imagine jade. you know um that that suite of jewelry how much that would retail on the high street yeah <coughs> so you it's, know, it's an ultimate luxury it is totally amazing absolutely amazing um lovely we've also got remember in what four minutes l on the shelf yeah uh, four minutes the closing of that also we've got past the parcel as well um, to bring you and it's a lounge hour um, so shop ahead in fact they're already flying uh, lots of <laughs> items so me. 
Shall I quickly show the kit? Yes. Do, um, and please. then we can you can obviously talk us through what resin is and how you go about it. Um, so which which one first? The embellishing. This one. So we've got the we've got all the tools and things like that that you will absolutely need. But in terms of embellishing, um, with this you've got some really beautiful little glitters that you saw, I saw definitely in the dogs and the bangles, the pieces of jewellery, which, which again we will show you. You've got some of these really beautiful pressed flowers. You're getting a couple of those. I mean, they're quite expensive pressed flowers, they aren't are. they? Yes, they are. They really, really are. I mean, I've tried doing some myself, but... Um, my niece got married in July and um, I tried to press some of the flowers from her bridal bouquet to set in resin and do you know what? You've only got to have a little bit of moisture left in those flowers and, and they rot. The resin. Yeah, they do rot. Um, plus then you've got your alcohol inks here as well, which will what, completely transform the colour of totally. a piece, won't it? Yep, totally. um, so this is all about sort of the textures, sparkles, colours that you want to add to your resin. Um, £39.99. And, 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 and Linda, these will last ages, won't they? Absolutely ages. I mean, when did we launch Resin Road? It's, what, oh, well over a year ago, isn't mm. it? And I'm still using the same pots of glitter. Yeah, I don't, yeah, th I don't think I've replaced a pot of glitter since yeah. I've bought it at uh, no. Jewelry Maker. You only need a little dusting. I mean, if you look at these bangles at the end, sorry, Adam, um, the bangles at the end or maybe some of these lovely... There you go. You only need a little sprinkling, don't you? It does look like sunstone. Yeah, absolutely. What? Nine ninety nine. Ah, yeah, actually, do you know what? That moment of realisation. Um, resin Road is not an expensive medium, is it? No, not at all. No, it's um, incredibly creative. I mean, you know, talk about a blank canvas. That is literally what you start with. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, you know, whether you're using moulds or whether you're going freeform, it's just such a relaxing, relaxing It is. Hobby. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun, isn't it? Um, OK, make sure you, you check out on those. Uh, again, add it to your order. We're bringing you all of the components um, um, for Resin Road. And again, any questions that you have for Linda, text in, because we are live here in the studio. She's gonna, uh, so Linda will be able to um, help you. Can I so, have those two alcohol inks? Because course you I can. didn't bring mine with me. Thank you. Of course you, you can. Just, it's quite amazing what alcohol inks do. Um, I'll just bring the other ones while I'm here. <laughs> so other one being... Hair slides, aren't they? Hair slides. Uh, some time ago, I think when we first launched Resin Road, you made Willow some of these and she loves them. Yeah, I bought a few in today, actually. I didn't realise we'd got that kit in, but I, unfortunately, I... There they are in the end, yes. Yes, so these make hair slides and you've got the little grips just here as well in different, mm -hmm. um, in different sizes and shapes and colours as well. You've got the finer ones, literally, that you just secure in the back of... Um, your hair slide. Love the hair comb too, so you can actually create your own little hair comb. £7.99. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Love it. Absolutely love it. And you're getting a good stash of those as well. How many of the clips do we get within this uh, kit? Pardon? No, how many of the clips do you get? We've got a big quantity of these, though, so I can imagine people will probably multiply. And it doesn't hurt to have multiple moulds, does it? Because actually, when you've poured your resin and mixed it, etc. Well, the thing about UV resin is you do have to work relatively quickly. Yeah. Because if there's any UV lights coming into the room or within the room, then it'll start to cure. So, um, as Els just said, it is better to have multiple moulds because if there's some resin left from the previous one that you've just done, you can move <coughs> those on to the next one using that up. Absolutely. Um, OK, now we've still got like extra additional tools. Um, we've still got sort of jugs and etc. We've got the alphabets. We've got the dogs and cats still to bring you as well. Remember, it's lounge hour, so you can be literally shopping right now. It's only available until one o'clock. So you can't leave these in your baskets unchecked out. You need to make those confirmations. Okay, take us right, away. Okay. What is resin? Well, uh, resin really is um, a form of an adhesive. Mm -hmm. um, and UV resin is a quick fix resin to make anything that you want to make. Um, ultimately, it's best to use your UV resin on the smaller items like making jewellery, etc. 
um, and then stick to the epoxy resin for larger, let's say, home accessories. Yeah. We are going to be launching epoxy resin um, it, within the next few months, hopefully, um, so that we can go on to be making home accessories. And things, things like tables and... Yeah, yeah, coasters. Floors, they're doing with. floors and I've things had now. my uh, patio um, resin, the slabs are resined in because um, the weeds can't get through it. Love it. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea. It is. Great idea. It ultimately saves a lot of work. Um, and I don't, in terms of what to learn, is there is there a huge amount to learn? No, um, you sort of learn on the go, as it were. There's just a few uh, little things to remember. The first one is the fact that, as I said, um, be aware that UV light is everywhere, ultraviolet light. So if you work during the daytime and you're working near a window, which most of us would prefer to work in natural light, you will get your UV light coming through. So um, if you leave a little pot of resin open in your little dish of the UV resin, it will cure with that little bit of UV okay. light. Um, so I always mean, put the lid back on. Yeah, and uh, well, I sort of... As I go through mixing resin and uh, details, etc., then um, I'll, I'll mention all that then. I mean, resin, another thing to remember is resin does not like humidity. It doesn't like water. So if you work in um, a room that is very humid in that, mm -hmm. then ultimately the resin will not cure properly and it will probably end up being quite sticky. So you just have to remember normal working conditions in the home, um, round about 70 degree temperature. But if it is a humid day and you can't wait to do your resin, okay, it's winter now, so we don't get those days. But um, just put a couple of dishes of water in the room just to lessen the humidity. But as I just said previously, do not let any water get anywhere near your resin so if and when you clean your molds I mean you can see under the, the sort of uh, magnification here that my, the molds on this they're quite well used and um, the cleaning of them I use and I, okay I, I was using this last night so it's not the greatest clean I've ever done um, but ultimately, I use the isopropyl alcohol, which is otherwise known as rubbing alcohol. Okay. Um, you can get it between 91 and 99 percent for if you're using if you do a lot of resin, get the 99 percent because that will remove the little bits of resin that you can see around. And I guess those cause here. pitting, would they? If it, if it, if you don't quite clean it up properly. Yes, yeah. you'll you'll reflect that in uh, in your resin. Uh, we've just put this mould on your screens right now. Three ninety nine. Uh, the the moulds are incredible value. They really and truly are. I mean, I've obviously done quite a lot of research on, on moulds, looking for new moulds and things, and they can be extortionate. They can be expensive. And, of course, it has to be silicon. Yeah. You can't sort of have, not with anything that you want to demould, you can't use anything other than silicon because it just will not demold okay um right okay take it away right let's well, do some resin i've done a few um of the the lessons i've, I've sort of christmas them Ooh. up a little bit just they can be attached to presents they can be put as table um decorations know, yeah um and you know sacks uh christmas sacks and things you can put them on anything that you want to personalize I mean, my ultimate thing when I, I'm home next week is to do Merry Christmas in the letters, and then I want to drop them from my garland over the fireplace. Ah, lovely. So, you know, the sky is really the limit. Now, I believe what, that we have got this, this small bottle of resin um, yes. today. So what I'm going to do initially is take my little pots, which I think are coming up in a moment. I'm going to take three little pots, again, incredibly well used, and I'm just going to see what I mean. The resin is cured on the end of this little uh, spout on there. So it's coming out quite slowly. So what I'll do is I'll remove that. So there again is another lesson. Every time you use your bottle of resin, which I did do actually with this, but not very well, obviously, is to take a kitchen wipe, put your isopropyl alcohol on it and then wipe all the way around 
the rim of the bottle just so that it doesn't seal the top of the bottle to the bottle and also the little spout if you've got one of the little spouts on the bottle. So I'm just going to pour not too much into all three. The so resin bad. is on your screen as well to get hold of it. 14 99 for 200 grams. Yeah, um, I mean, it, it, to be honest with you, that is a really good price. It is. This is 60 grams, this one. So I'm going to use this up fairly quickly. Oh, so it's bigger than what you're using right yeah. now. Okay. Yeah, that one, that 200 gram one is. Yeah, this is the 60, I believe. Oh, okay. Look, there you go. We have got the smaller one as well. I mean, if you, you know, you're trying resin for the first time, then obviously this is a sort of the sample um, to decide whether you want to progress. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm putting two of those little pots to one side and I'm working on little silicon mats. And then I'm just going to take one of these coasters and I'm going to pop the coasters on the top. Anything at all, you can, it doesn't have to be a coaster. Um, you just cover it so no UV light can get in. Now, on the one that I've poured here, I'm now going to put in a little bit of glitter. So, initially, I'm going to put in some green glitter. God, please. So if I just get my tiny little spoon here. Just you so you know, L on a shelf has finished. Text in your answers. Go, 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 go. About... So With so your account number. About... You can mix... Mix and mix glitters, so you can put more glitter in there. Oh, I love that you've got um, chunky grains in there. Yes, this is one that I've got at home, because um, I packed up really quickly last night, and I've got the, um, the other ones here, actually, which I'm going to put into another um, pot of resin. 449 for the smaller 60 gram resin that you were using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the... We've got a kit with these in. It's basically the lollipop stick. It's a good old, old fashioned lollipop stick, which are just the right thing for mixing your resin because you can get right to the edge to make sure everything gets mixed in. Now, when you're mixing your resin with any mica or glitter or anything that you add, um, just do it quite slowly uh, to avoid bubbles. I'll come on to that again in a minute, but do it really slowly. It needs patience. So not resistors. whisking. No, not whisking, just stirring, folding in the culinary terms. Okay? So I'm just going to put that one... I'll put that down on my silicon mat. I'm going to move that one back and get another, because I'm going to pour at the same time, put my lids back on. Then Here's that toolkit, Linda, that you've just been referencing. So you actually get five of, of these little mm -hmm. jugs that you're using. Um, two large ones here. Lollipop sticks, you also get some almost cocktail sticks and some tweezers. Um, so that's on your screens right now. Would you say they're a must? They're, well, you can't work without them. Okay. You know, because um, resin will stick to anything. It is ultimately an adhesive. So it will stick to anything but silicon. So at the end of the day, you don't want to be putting it in a plastic cup or um, into any, any other medium. You need silicon, silicon and more silicon. So now I'm just going to fold that glitter in. And not to bore you with the mixing, I'll leave that one just as it is. I find it therapeutic. It is very therapeutic. The thing is as well, when you're using glitter, um, this is quite a heavy one, but the glitters that we had in um, the kit previously, it's fine glitter, so that will stay in the, um, the resin and it won't sink to the bottom because it's light. But if you use the, more of the chunky glitter, that tends to sink to the bottom. So you just have to be aware of that because of how you... Um, Cool. I don't want to interrupt you, well, so you I'm literally on. going to go, one time code, first, per, per, first person to use it. This hour is only available to one o'clock anyway, so type that in and check out. Massive saving. There you go. Sorry. I'll just keep that's randomly fine. popping no, these that's up. that's absolutely yeah. fine now. I don't no want to do the whole fast pass, so I'll just fling them up. No worries at all. Right, I'm just going to mix that 
slightly and then we're ready to pour as it were. So these little silicon cups are absolutely ideal. The larger ones are obviously you can do exactly the same as far as the mixing is concerned but with larger volumes of resin. So I'm just going to whip my resins over. Now I'm going to do the letter K because I promised Kinga at the, when I arrived this morning to do a K for her. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour quite slowly again because I'm trying to avoid any bubbling. Just pour and let it make its own sort of journey down um, in through the mould. And then I'm going to pour again on this side and let that make its own journey and just merge with the other. Just let it do its own thing. Don't be scared. Don't be frightened of it. Just let it do its own thing. Always have some kitchen roll handy for little uh, clearing ups along the way. Right now I've got the, the red which I'm going to pop down here. Again, letting it fill itself. Not to the top of the mould. Um, about just over halfway up. The reason being is I want to put a clear layer of resin on top of that once that one's cured. Now I bought in my UV lamp today. Um, now as far as I am aware, we have got, these lamps are on the way and this is the larger one than the first one that we did. So obviously you can put more underneath it. So I'm just going to slide <coughs> carefully underneath my lamp. Okay. I'm going to, it's come, it tends to come on on its own <coughs> when you move anything underneath it. But I'm going to press my 99 seconds um, button. The, another point is with cl clear resin cures quicker than anything else. Mm. When you mix glitter with it, you just need a few seconds longer on the clearing. When you mix mica powders, you're making the resin far more dense. So you need to at least double the, um, the curing time under the lamp. And when you're using mica in particular, then cure it under the lamp um, on the top of the mould where you've poured into. And then after the 99 seconds, I mean, you can do... You can, it'll cure in 25 seconds, a clear resin will. But with additives, I always go... It's just a matter of getting used to what it does in the time it does it, if you see what I mean. I might be talking a bit rubbishy there, but it's just something that you It's get ready used when to. it's ready. It is ready. That's what, that's what I say every day at tea time. It's yeah. ready when it's ready, yeah. <laughs> and, um, but with my, if you put mica powder in any of your resins, then cure it under the lamp. Then flip your mould upside down because the top will have cured and then cure the bottom uh -huh. um, underneath as well. Otherwise, you, ca you can get a little bit of leakage when you use mica powder if it's not cured properly. Okay. And, and um, in terms of, what are you using here? UV lamp? Yeah, this is a UV lamp. Okay. Uh, it's this, exactly the same if ever you've been to the nail bar and, and had your gel nails um, done. It's exactly the same product. Okay. It's gone off on its own now, so I'll remove that. Do we have the UV lamp today? We're going to put the graphics on your screen for this. Very limited. £9.99. Wow, that's an incredible... This one was over £20. Yeah, it's not exactly the same as Linda's, but it does exactly the same exactly job. Exactly the same job. Yeah. Yep. So now, with the cocktail stick, I'm just going to make sure that that is cured on the top, as you can see. That is. Ooh! That's cured on the top. I could actually remove that now, but I'm not going to because I'm going to take my clear resin mm -hmm. and I'm just going to pour straight from the bottle. Oh, so you haven't filled it right to the top? No, I'm going to fill it up now and let it make its own journey. Now, if you do get any bubbles, um, then... A heat gun, just literally a heat gun, just okay. from about two or three inches, um, wave it over the top and then the oxygen in the bubbles will pop. Um, another little tip is, again, using a 
cocktail stick or a kebab stick is just to just come around the edges of whatever mould you're using to make sure that that resin has reached all perimeters around. Okay. Now, if there are any bubbles in there, you can also, you, you drag them to the side, they'll pop. Once they hit the sides of the mould, they'll pop. Oh, okay. So you can drag them and then they will pop. If you've got like a creme brulee, there's any way to describe it, the gas um, gun, you can use those as well. I'm going to just slip that back underneath the lamp and put that back on. Just for safety, I'm going to put it on for another 99 seconds. The lamps will count down and go off automatically. Um, the more resin you do, the more you get to know the medium, the more you get to know the product, the more you get to know what sort of... You can add anything to resin, um, UV resin in particular, you can add anything to as long as there's no moisture inside it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So you couldn't put wet flowers in there, for example? No, no. Um, they must be completely dry. Yeah, okay. Um, and I, as I say, I've tried my own flowers, but I haven't been that successful with it yet, so I buy them now. Yeah, it's not especially at the jewellery maker prices. Now, stop texting on the L on a shelf. We are, have a winner. Lots of you came in with the right answer, actually. But we did say the first person to text in, winning a jewellery maker goodie bag, well done, to Suzanne in Tyne and Ware. Oh, well done! Yeah! Well done. I you, you had to be on it today to count all... There was quite a lot of L's on the shelf, wasn't there? There was, yes. There were quite well, a few of them. There were. Um, right, we're nearly there now. We've got 80-odd seconds. 12, oh, by okay. the way, was the answer. So the thing is, what you can do now is, um, while you're waiting for that to, to cure, then you could be working on a different mould, um, but keep, while the UV lamp's on, keep a fresh mould well away from the UV lamp because there's, it will transfer. Can I ask, with these decorations, how have you attached the, the string? Right, it's, it's, it's just simple, I've got a Dremel. Oh, okay. So it's just a simple using a, a drill, a Dremel drill, or you can use a little manual drill. Okay. That'll go, it's quite, Easy to drill through resin, to okay. be honest. And um, a few moulds will come, a few of the jewellery moulds, pendant moulds and things like that, will come with a little upright um, silicon, which will then create the hole for you. But with things that haven't got that, just drill it. Right, so let's see whether I am satisfied with that. So that was the clear resin, so that's gone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we're ready to demold. So demold. All I do is put my hand underneath the mold and then just push upwards. Oh, it's very satisfying. It is very is. satisfying, and oh. then just remove. And now, Kinga, we have your K. Ah, oh. <laughs> Christmas. K. Look at how beautiful your Christmas K is. But you see how it's how a nice key ring. How beautiful that clear resin is. Um, when, you, when you do um, a piece of UV resin, no matter what it is, okay, always leave room for that top coat of clear because that top coat of clear resin defines what's yeah, underneath absolutely. it. Yeah, absolutely. You don't it, need all, too much glitter, do you? No, it just pinches in. So that's how to use your... Um, alphabet mould. So now I'll you've got 20 minutes remaining to get hold of these. Remember it is a lounge hour masterclass so don't leave it in your basket. Um, we will be bringing you, look, just keep your eyes on the graphics because we're bringing you lots of brand new moulds. We've got the doggies, the cats, the flowers, they're all coming up so keep your eyes. Make sure you check out before the top of the hour though because like I said they'll disappear off the computer system. Um, he's right, I've got he's the lovely. Doggy. He's like a he's, schnauzer. He's gorgeous, isn't he? It's all the detail that's in that mold. All of that detail in there will be represented on the final piece. Um, is he the corgi? I think he is. Oh, no, I think I know. There's, no, he's yeah, schnauzer, definitely yeah. schnauzer. Yeah. 
So with this one, what I'm going to do is just sprinkle because I can. If you, no, I'm not. I'm not going to sprinkle. I'm going to place into my larger silicon mould. I'm just going to pop in, take another lollipop. Are you going to make it more sparkly? Now, I think we have some of this, Ross, some gold leaf. I think we do. So I'm just going to pop... 99 for the schnauzer. Oh, this gold leaf just... Don't, for goodness sake, use gold leaf where it's a little bit drafted. <laughs> yeah, you can speed it, it up a day. it just goes everywhere. Ah, and you only need a little bit, don't you? Yeah. So I'm just going to pop that into my mould. And always put the lid back on your gold leaf or you will find it everywhere in the house. 2.95, that big yeah. old pot. Brilliant. Then I'm going to pour in to my little silicon cup. That's finishing off that resin, so I might have to pinch some of yours on the next demo. There you go. That this one that I've been using on the last two, um, the last two demos was only a quarter full anyway, because I'd used the rest at home on all the other things I'd done here. So I'm going to push my gold leaf in now. As you put gold leaf into the resin, you don't have to. Um, sort of pull it into its small pieces because as you stir it should break oh, up. Oh it naturally into, breaks yes, up. Yes, it okay. it's very delicate. Um, so we just mix that again, again making sure that you scoop all that resin that sits too well uh, around the edge and fold it really. Okay, now I'm going to use this straight away. So. <coughs> If you, when you're doing your resin, if you remember that resin is going to stick to any surface other than silicon, please, uh, I don't think we've got any silicon mats in stock at the moment. They're on order. They just haven't turned up, um, but they're definitely on order. So I'm just going to pour this now. Again, so could you just put it in one of those little pots then? Whilst yeah, just keep it. it, whilst you're not using it, just keep it, make sure that it's covered. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to let that, this mould is quite deep, so consequently it takes quite a lot of, this is the one I just used, quite a lot of resin. So the 200 gram is a great buy. That's um, when I first started doing resin, I started with the 60 gram and very quickly went on to the um, the 200 gram. Yeah, I can see why. So especially when you, start to, when you start thinking about bangles and... Yeah. And, well, once and you start using resin and that, you want, you know, it is very addictive, as you said originally. Um, so I'm just scooping out as much as I possibly can. I don't want to waste any. From the pot... Well, we've got a 500 gram on your screen right now. Well, even better. Yeah, 500 gram for 29.99. So you're actually... The, the 200 gram was, what, 14.99. So you're getting an extra 100 grams, really, aren't you, for, yeah. for free, which is a great, great, great saving. So again, I'm just going to make sure that, because we've only, we've only got the face covered here, but that's fine, because I can make it a little bit different on the, on the ears then. So I'm just going to make sure I try to get rid of as many bubbles as I can. Um, but as I said before, the best way to get rid of all bubbles is just the heat from the heat gun or from, um, you know, like the creme brulee gas one. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to worry about these two blobs on the side here. I could take them off, but they're not going to interfere with the design. And once they're cured, they just you can just pick those off quite easily. So I'm quite happy to leave those on. Put, Put that under again there. under the lamp. And is there any particular time that we have to put this lamp on for? I tend to use between 60 and the 99. If there are is any additives, you know, like the, um, the gold leaf glitter, I will go straight to the 99 okay. on it, the, the longest. That but you can't over cure it, can you? No. 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 OK, there we are. So not gonna, it's, not, it's not like toast. You're not going to burn it. No. Oh, okay. gosh, no. No. Um, now what I'm going to do is because I have got I've used this pot here to mix the gold leaf resin. Now the best way of cleaning these pots ultimately is by setting it. So I'm going to pop that under the UV light. 
and then that will set and it's easy then it's just like demolding you just sort of press the mold at the bottom and then pull it out it's by far and away the quickest and the cleanest way of cleaning your silicon pot yeah i guess rather than bothering wiping just stick it under do there do not put it do not think about washing it in your sink for goodness sake um if you've got wet resin in there because you will make a horrible mess with the sink and obviously resin ultimately it's it's an adhesive and it will set very very hard you don't want that down your no your, you don't sink, do yeah you? yeah so so definitely yeah. don't put it down your sink Absolutely um, let not. it cure it off and then dispose of it absolutely there we go right and we just put the corgi on it. as well ah 3.99 for the little corgi well you know that they are um you know the british are a great nation of animal lovers yeah aren't they? And again, you can customise these perhaps for your to your own animals, or um, you know if it's a, um, you're gifting to somebody who loves dogs, loves cats, etc., etc., then they really appreciate something like this. I mean, it's quite nice to go because they're very lightweight to pop onto a dog collar, perhaps. Ah, lovely. Um, a key ring, as you said. You know, there's lots and lots and lots of ways that you can use. Your resin, right? So let's get. See, that's cured. Yeah. On the top there. So now, what I'm going to do now, as she says, thinking on the, um, is I am going to use. Let's see what we've got left here. Let's give him some gold glitter ears then shall we because we've got some left oh he's going to be truly fabulous so isn't he He is definitely going to have some bling <laughs> nine minutes to make your confirmations before we close out this hour remember they will not be available come one o'clock so anything that you have in your baskets needs to be checked out has anybody made made use of these codes anybody want to take advantage you've got nine minutes I think out of all the things I've ever made from resin, the hair accessories are my favourite. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just, they were up there, that's all. Um, it's a one-time code on both of them. All right, pop that back under the little lid. <laughs> you look like you're on Strictly or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they won't want me on there. <laughs> right, just making sure that that goes to the edge. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to take my new bottle of resin, which is that one. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to take the top off of this one because this one hasn't been used, so it's nice and clean on the top. And then I'm just going to... Do they Actually, need, is there a seal? A, it may have a seal. Do you know, I do this all the time. I, I pour a bottle of wine and think, why isn't it coming off? Because I haven't taken the top off. <laughs> yes, there's your seal. We won't read too much into that, Linda. No, don't, don't worry. No, don't. Right, there we go. So I may as well, because I've got a large area here to cover. I'll just pour straight from the bottle. So I'm going right on the top of that that I've just cured. Basically, the... The face. I mean, the exciting thing is on the demold is it's just, you know, you hold your breath when you demold because you've got such expectations of what you're going to get. Um, it's brilliant. Yeah, so it's kind of like a surprise every time, isn't it? Totally. And they're all unique. So pop that on again. Um, every piece is unique. If you're mixing... Micas, if you're mixing anything or putting in any additives to your resin, it's virtually impossible. Uh, I'll qualify that in a minute, though, but it's virtually impossible to make the same piece twice. Yeah. Um, they will all be quite unique, which is the beauty of it. Unless, of course, you want to make your matching earrings, in which case then you just need to take a little bit of extra time over it and an, an extra bit of sort of thought process. Um, so the best thing to do is to have your mould ready and just limit the amount of detail if you're going to make matching earrings. What's the octagon silicon moulds? The octagon ones. Is that the ones on the, on the hair clips? Is a part? 
Oh, okay. Oh, oh. right. Yes. No, I hadn't. Did, I wasn't sent that one. That basically, you fill the side. You see around that centre. So it's actually octagon. like a little pot. Yeah, and then when you demold it, you've got like a tea light holder. Or a little, I don't know, pencil, pen holder, something like that. Oh, OK. Um, so as that's demolded, you've got your sort of centre where the resin hasn't got to. Like, it, like a tumbler, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Right, we need I can't there. believe how affordable resin is, because like, going back to when we had the epoxy resin, it was quite an expensive medium, wasn't it? And you needed scales yeah. and you needed to be literally 0 point so many, I don't know, decimals accurate in weight yes it's normally with the epoxy resin you're going to have a one-to-one -one or a two-to-one measurement whereas this is far um, more straightforward this is just mm. you just open the pot of resin and go for it yep oh um, oh are we going to see the schnauzer hopefully right that's just cured so again i'm just going to take just to make sure i mean i do get caught out quite regularly um, but it's always with mica powder i get caught out and i love it because it gives that gorgeous shimmer yeah like powder well it does. takes that a little bit longer uh, but it takes that longer to cure so you just have to be aware of that so when if you have used say that was mica in there then i'd cure the top like i just did for 99 seconds then i'd flip it over and put it in upside down and cure it again okay i think we'll be all right with this because it's basically so again pushing love schnauzers i always the think back. they look a little bit grumpy and oh he's got a wibbly bit he's got a wibbly bit there that just needs to be taken off uh -huh. um, I'll talk to you about trimming so we've got our little schnauzer here with his gold glittered ears and his gold leaf little face and what you can do now is if you've got any metallic uh, marker pens okay um, is you can then just sort of bring them over the parts that hasn't picked up the gold leaf or that and just put some top decoration on just drag the pen over those little styrations in there um, or just around the edge to give it um give it perspective really so we just leave that to one side now once that is um i'm quite happy that that has completely finished curing and it will do just in the in the room then to get that definition on the little schnauzer's face i will then pop it back onto the mold not in the mold but on the mold like that so it doesn't sink in and then put some blobs of clear resin on actually we might as well do it put some clear resin on the top just some blobs oh and you can see now that that gold leaf is is more defined and consequently have you not lost the shape no no not at all no so you can use a paintbrush. Now, don't forget, that if you don't use best paintbrushes, just get some cheap and cheerful paintbrushes. Oh, he does. He looks much more glossy now. Yeah. So just get that sort of covered all over. So a paintbrush will give you more coverage, but trust me, um, you're, you just need to use really old ones that are disposable, really, because you can't wash the resin off. So we just put a little bit on from there onto his ears but you can see now it's gone it's got more um sh it's gone a little bit more shiny now i'm just going to pop that on the mat inside so take it off the mold pop him under there you've got a matter of minutes to make your confirmations now with any of your uh, resin road items uh, we locked it, uh, we loaded them up to the website um, beforehand so that you could shop ahead during the demonstration as well. But um, any top tips, would you say, because we're, we're about to run out of time, but have you got right. any sort of top tips, really, for people that are starting this journey? Yeah, just go for it, because it's, it's a very easy craft. Um, it is very addictive. I mean, mm. I just got totally and utterly addicted to moulds. Um, you can, of course, make your own moulds yeah. with the, um, the mould-making product. Yeah. And um, it's, as I said at the beginning of the demo, just choose the times that you use your resin, your UV resin in particular, um, particularly if it's summertime, springtime, summertime, and it's warm and humid, 
or it's raining outside, trust me, that humidity builds up really quickly. Mm -hmm. So um, just be a, leave it to another a dry day, day or something. Yeah. In the evening, obviously you can do your resin in the evening. There's far less UV light around, um, naturally. Um, but you do need, a, I've got sort of a, a lamp, you know, I, I think we may have some in stock, I'm not sure, mm. but one with a long arm mm. over the top that because you do need light oh. but essentially not uv light oh we're running out of time i've loved it thank you so oh, much linda pleasure. you have a lovely day we'll see you soon